sure. I'll give you guys a second to formulate your thoughts. Let me know what you guys want to talk about in the chat, by the way. I got a few topics. I'm still watching the Machine's live stream. Spicy stuff. I'm sure this is not going to cause any problems to anyone. by John Mayer. And we'll discuss some of wristwatch collecting philosophy. This is what I, I think this is what interests me the most. Like watches alone, yeah, they're great. But collecting philosophy is uh it, it just transcends all like it's just it's just all people can uh, can relate to. Uh, like just talking about philosophy, like why why do people collect? Why do we hoard these things? Why do we need them? And uh, I finally watched the video, okay? And my God, the ending especially is very thought provoking. Hey, Gorilla Time, welcome to the show, George. Good evening. How are you doing? I'm doing well. I'm doing really well. Feeling a lot better. Oh yeah, me too. Me too. I'm feeling fantastic, but uh, yeah, I got robbed today. What? Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know how the hell. What do you mean you got robbed? Physically robbed or? Uh, no, no. My credit card got stolen from mail, oh, no. like from inside the mailbox, I think, or somehow. And then the son of a bitch was able to activate it. Right. And was there, I, money, was there money taken? Eight hundred and fifty dollars. Oh, you're covered by your credit card, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I call them. They, they're going to cover it. But it's just such a pain in the ass because I ah, need that yeah. card to, you know, I'm, I'm doing all these Dubai purchases, right? Booking flights, uh, booking rooms. I, I haven't booked the rooms today because I had to cancel the card. Yeah, it's just annoying. For where? Uh, to go to Dubai Watch Week. When's that? That's a... No, oh, actually, let me pull it up while we're here. I can see it. This is my... Backyard. Oh, dude, it's you have to go. It's free. It's uh, November 16th to 20th. Okay, I'm gonna meet you there. <laughs> dude, let's freaking go. Oh, we can. Uh, I'm going with the roommate, by the way. Roommate is coming with me. No problem. You know, you know, um, obviously, limited alcohol and, you know, gotta hey. be careful where you stream, etc. A little bit, you know, funny, but I. I you know, I should be in town. Freaking excellent. This is going to be a really cool show. You know, it's going to be Rashep Rashep is going to be there. Tim Massa, Waco, all the industry guys. Yeah, and, it was, well, it sounds yeah. good. Yeah, this is a must attend uh, watch show. It's like uh, I remember two years ago was the first time I went to um, the London watch show. And that was scheduled, kind of thing, like a week before this one. And I couldn't make it because I was so, when I came back, I was freaking dead. Uh, I was just so exhausted from all the, because I, I went to London Watch, then Vegas. And then I was just like, ah, I can't do it. And now two, two years passed. And I'm like, okay, no excuse. I have to be, I have to be there. I have to see and meet these people in person. Uh, it's going to be great, great time. Yeah, and you're in a different part of the world. Have you ever been? No, no, no. Never been oh to Middle my East. Yeah. Gosh, it's well, you're going to a very Western place of the Middle East. This isn't exactly a typical Middle East, but I think you'll have a good time. Yeah. I think there's a lot of things that will uh, will blow your mind. Mm. You'll you'll see you'll see a lot of nice watches in the wild. It's not a thing there mm. to have a great watch, as you can expect. 
And because uh, the crime is so like non-existent, uh, like people probably wearing these watches out in the public, no issues, right? No, the, the, no? It's, it's, you'll, you'll see a lot of the local Emiratis wearing killer pieces, a lot yeah. of RMs, etc. But it's not about that because there's so many different cultures there and people just get on. Uh, if, if, if we are there the same week, I have to check my schedule. I will take you yes. to the supermarket just to see what goes on there and it will blow your mind. You have never been to a supermarket that's got so many different levels of products and so busy. It will blow your mind. But pe people are there just to get on with their stuff. They're not, yeah. crime is not a thing. I'm sure there's some type of crime, but mm -hmm. I think it's very minimal in terms of the type of crime. Mm-hmm. What are the rules for photography there? Do they have kind of a First Amendment right where you could just film in the public anywhere you want, like stream? Yeah, I mean, you, you, you can stream, you can, you can film, but if you're in a public place yeah. and if you're in a hotel lobby and stuff like that, if uh -huh. you're going to do the kind of gonzo streaming that you do, you're going to have to ask their permission. You right. can't gonzo stream free because obviously they're security conscious so you know you got to let them know i think that's the right thing to do right right of course but no one's going to really say to you don't film they're not you you got to remember dubai is based on you know welcoming western people they're not going to give you a hard time now if you're in a different emirate like sharjah there that that would be a definite uh be careful how you oh. deal with these people so okay. um you you just gotta you you um you're not a rude person tim so yeah I don't think you're gonna have a person you don't f and blind you're very uh respectful for females and and men to be honest so i don't think you're gonna have a time but you can't really walk around drunk and stuff like that right That's a problem. <laughs> no i i'm gonna stay away from all kinds of like thing i don't want to get into any trouble you know when i'm overseas so uh, I'm going to be just, you know, extremely cordial. We're just going to be going around talking watches. I'm going to be focused on watches. And... I think you could do the yeah. gonzo in the mall and have a good response to people. Because yeah. people, people are very sort of, uh, they like to communicate. Yeah, yeah, I so I think you'll, you'll have a good time. Yeah, I want to bring our viewers who are not going to have opportunity to go or, you know, they don't want to go. Maybe they found out too late. And... Uh, Bring them there. It's it's a long flight too. It's fourteen hours. It's brutal. Now not everybody can go there, so I really think that it's my responsibility to kind of bring us a slice. You know, you guys have been so incredibly generous with me. Uh, I'm gonna try to get as much as much uh, content for you guys as I humanly can. So I'm, I'm psyched. They they got some amazing food there as well, Tim. Uh, amazing so i'm sure you'll have a good meal it's a little bit expensive mm -hmm. compared mm -hmm. to the states um never used to be back back in the early back in the 90s but evolution is a bitch at times when it comes to prices but i think you'll you'll see some amazing pieces in the wild tim you know there's there's you know there's these tiktokers that stop people and say hey I love your watch. What's on your wrist? Where did you get it from? You could be doing that all day because it's quite normal. You know, people, it's one of the safest places to wear a, a timepiece. Speaking of professional TikTokers, Red Shovel, welcome to the show. Evening. Hey. How are we? Hey, Red. Hi, Red. How are we going? Uh, we're doing fantastic. You know, uh, we were just talking a little bit about going to Dubai. I, I announced that I, I'll be going. Uh, Red, you gonna join us? I'm tr I'm trying to arrange this. I'm I'm trying to arrange. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I'm trying to get things organized for it. I'm trying to. Okay, cool. It's uh, difficult. It's difficult, but I'll, but I'll try to get things organized for it. Call me tomorrow if uh, if you want to talk about. I can I can I help actually, you. Out. I will, yeah. yeah. I'll yeah, actually yeah. Bring you tomorrow. Because today I freaking I got woken up by my neighbor. They needed an emergency. They 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 were cleaning windows. And they accidentally pulled them out, out of the frame. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. What the hell? I'm like, what is going on? So I, I spent like two hours trying to help them fix the windows, and then I, I come, I come back home, uh, start you know, doing some some stuff uh, regarding you know the buy watch week, and then I I open my credit card, bam, eight hundred and fifty dollars stolen from my card. Oh. 
Yeah. What a what a way to start the oh, day. Bitch over there. I had just a bitch over there. And then I, I just I, I was so tired. And then the roommate, because we have this heater, roommate is just freezing to death right now. Uh, I think temperature in New York dropped so quickly and we have this Dyson fan heater and it broke and I said, I'll fix it. But the, the roommate took it apart by herself for no reason and lost all the screws. Jeez. It's what day disaster. is it Tim? Tim, what date is it today? Today is Friday the 13th. Everything oh. is going wrong. It's just a bitch, but... Hey, we got Ashin back. That was a spicy show, especially. Damn, yeah. man. I'm surprised Paul was like keeping his cool on the panel. He, Paul kept his shit pretty cool. I, I could take my hat off to him. But yeah. I did, his, um, I did his watch um, um, Paul when he was on JJ's stream there last night? No, I you didn't know, watch it. Do you want to you you tell well, us something that right? was said? Well, it, there, well, there was, there was, there was the other guy from the digital watch. Well, I think his name's Steve Allen, was it? Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. And, um, it was it was they answered a few questions about it but to me the big one still remains is that i simply don't understand how the watch vault's going to make money because they're saying they did i did i did put in a few comments um on the stream and eventually someone did pick up on one and sort of half answered it in that they're going to sell advertising and they're going to get people to come back onto the app or to the site mm -hmm. by by having these sort of crime hotspots, you know, you know, sort of listed. But look, like, once you once you upload your stuff to the vault, right, yes, why would you ever really come back to it again? You know, why would you why would you load up the app? Why would you go to the website again? There's nothing to bring you back. It makes yeah. It makes no sense. They're so going to basically, would, the users are going to look at the ad one time when yeah. they're inputting, and they're going to be inputting their stuff, and there's fucking ads popping out in their face. Hey, you want to buy a Jacob & Co? No, I'm just trying to register my watch. It's like, no, 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 yeah. buy Jacob & Co. What? Yeah. There's nothing wrong with having the, having the service for free, mm -hmm. um, but... There has to be a hook to get people to come back to that, you know, site or app every, at least every week. But no one can answer that question. What is the hook that's going to bring you back? So how does it make money? Right. Right. And Paul, Paul said on, on, um, on JJ stream, and he said, I think it was him speaking earlier on Oshins when he was. When he's in the chat, that they're not going to sell any of the user data. Right. So yes, he did. In yeah. the chat, Paul said that they're not going to be, they're not selling data now and they will never be selling user data. So, how does the service make money? But, but no, no one can explain this. It, it's ridiculous. I mean, okay. I, I mean, I, I'm okay if it doesn't make money. Like, that's that's fine thing. I mean, Paul Thorpe has always, the way he has been phrasing the Digital Watch Vault is was like a way of giving back to the watch community, right? Like, oh, this is my this is my thing. I, I've been passionate about, you know, he was a victim of a watch crime and or watch like, crime. I, mean, I think it was like, just running crime. this, like, running this service. It's going to have a cost, and it's going to be a right. significant cost. Yes. If you look at Paul's face at the minute, Paul looks like a man who's stressed out the fuck, right? <laughs> you, know what, you know what? When I when I watched a bit of this yesterday, no one had a clear a clear message on how it's gonna make monies and etc. And they were asked about when they're gonna break even and stuff like that, etc. And I just think that uh, I think it's a high burn rate. Of money so i don't know if i don't know if they're ready for this because to get their reputation out there and their trust is going to take many years that's my that's my thinking on this wish them the best though if they can pull it off yeah i i mean i i just don't i don't know they're gonna need a lot of help more than more than this i mean you know my biggest criticism with stuff like this is uh i i was hacked today right a cat capital one like Someone got into my Capital One 
credit card. Okay, uh, and that's a, a Capital One is a trillion dollar uh, entity, right? With top top level security, and still that was pierced. So yeah, that, that happened you know, to me. The first time that I the first time that I experienced something like that was actually with Capital One as well. My first credit card. Mm -hmm. When I was 18, was with Capital One here in the UK because they give a Capital One would sort of give credit cards to people who have maybe no sort of credit rating or yeah. you know. And I remember one time opening up my statement, looking, and there was like a, a transaction to pay someone's gas bill for 89, mm. 89p or 89 cents, right? Yep. And then there was another one for 70 pounds, and then I sort of. I phoned them up, but they I sort of had to prove to them nearly that it wasn't me making the Jeez. transactions. Jeez. Are you sure that you didn't pay your gas bill with it? I went, Are you I sure? Even, I don't even have gas. Oh my god. Anyway. Uh Nick, thank you so much for being a member for three months. He said he got the call this morning. What was the call for? Tell us. Tell us in the chat, Nick. What did they call you? He got the call. The uh, says is red undercover again. He's he is. Hey, Alex. Good evening. Hey, you were in the chat and you were listening to Sheen talk. You know, talk about the 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 D digital watch vault, right? Yeah. And he's he's got a lot of criticism there for 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 Paul. Um, what, what do you think? Well, quick uh, questions, I suppose, rather than criticism. I mean, oh, yeah. there are. There are some questions like not so much digital watch vault, but any blockchain thing. Mm -hmm. How does that actually deal with data privacy with GDPR? So, you know, if you're if you've got your record stored anywhere, you have the right to have your uh, details to ask to have your details removed. Now, if everyone starts asking for their details to re to be removed, doesn't that sort of destroy the you know the purpose of the digital digital watch vault or any equivalent process. So it's uh, <clears throat> I don't know. I think Oshin was alluding to you know like how many Eskimo brothers, sorry, how many uh, previous owners? Uh, oh yeah, the body count. <laughs> yeah, the body <laughs> the body count. And the, the risk, risk count. count. The risk count. Yeah, the yeah. risk count. I think. Because one yeah. so once so there's what they're saying is that the watch when it's registered with the digital watch vault is also going to be registered on a blockchain which i guess is just it's like a digital digital spreadsheet right that yeah and it's a public spreadsheet that everybody has access to so well, that's that's a privacy that's a that is out and out a data privacy issue yeah right there because right? no, you but, GDPR but, means you have to delete data after seven years or earlier if the person asks to be removed. Now there is a way to to do it in such a way that the the data when it's displayed on the blockchain is private. Yeah, like, like anonymized, that. whatever. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, I, I don't know if if Digital Watch Vault is going to have names uh, and stuff like that associated. You know. If the, if the if that type of information is going to be added to their blockchain, I hope not, because I don't know. I I just feel, or or maybe if there's a way to do it in the in the secure in a secure manner, I'm not sure how that will be handled. I, I like like how would you how would you have a a way to simultaneously record the previous owner, yet not disclose who that owner is right like but, yeah. but tim, tim not not to talk about it but have we not seen something very similar to this that has solved all these questions uh yes yeah we can't talk about <laughs> it yet <laughs> i know i know it's <laughs> you know it's Red, I it's because we know we know something that we can't talk about yet, guys. It's just looking at digital watch vault is so sad compared to the other thing we know that's that's in the works. Uh, that's much more uh -oh. comprehensive. But are we talking about the elephant in the room? Maybe, maybe, yeah. 
Yeah, there's a, there's an elephant in the room, a big elephant in the room that can't be talked about yet. Uh, and I, I I just want to say that elephant in the room is tech savvy, correct? Right, extraordinarily and tech, tech savvy. savvy, and he's got history to prove how tech savvy is. So I wish everybody good luck with their businesses because yeah. you know I, I was watching Paul doing an interview in Brighton, not an interview, mm-hmm. one of his. Uh, uh, Q and Q and A's, whatever, and he he didn't look like Paul. Paul's usually calm, chilled, enjoying life, and he looked like he had troubles on his head. And when you launch something, which is a pioneering thing, and you're giving birth to a baby like that, it's not easy because you've got a cash burner, you've got people to run after, and you trying to build it is really hard. And I I don't think he comes from that type of background. I think he's a trader. A trader and a person trying to build something out of nothing and a new concept are two different things. And I, I, I like, I like Paul Thorpe. People may not like me for liking him, but I like him. He's a London boy. Respect to him. But I think he may have bitten off more than he can handle with this. And I just hope, I, I hope it comes okay for him. But the way those people were talking yesterday, they didn't give me an air of confidence. They didn't have a game plan. They didn't put things down and say, this is where we're going. This is what's going to happen. They seemed a little bit, a little bit off, let's say, but we'll have to wait and see. But on the flip side, the elephant in the room, we won't open and say anything. And I know nothing about it. Just the feedback that I get from the streams is that yes. that, that guy's a monster and he comes from that background. So let the games begin. Right, exactly, exactly. Uh, it's it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. But you know what? There is a way where both of these uh, things can exist, right? Uh, they can even share the data between themselves because this could be, you know, digital watch vault. It could be uh, a very good and successful platform. What? Or it, it could be Tim. Yeah, it could be Tim. Sorry to interrupt. It, it, it yeah. could be the, the VHS and Betamax war. Do you remember that, guys? <laughs> Alex yeah. must remember that. He's older than what me. The, what the fuck? Yeah, of course I remember. <laughs> what did you have? A Betamax or VHS? Uh, what was the? There was another format from Philips. Oh, uh, that was horrible. That VCS was it or something? That oh, was really. That was dreadful. That was really but, bad. That's why. That's how I see it because the tech will push the client to it, and if it, if the tech is you know, everybody was talking, what is the unique selling point of this product? What will make it profitable? Why should people come back to it? What will it offer? What will induce the guy to come back and put his piece, put his piece, put his piece? I've got a few answers, but I'm not going to obviously mention anything. But yeah, there has to be an advantage for people to come back. Will they get a discount of something? Will they go and will you give them something that they can take away and say, oh, I put my watches in and now look what I've got. I've got this advantage to get this much service done free of charge or what have you can't just put it out there and expect people to log in people in 2023 are not the same people as in 2000 they're more smarter than they were so they're very very um cautious of things like this exactly well, yeah. you... go ahead alex yeah i was just going to say look you know it may not be the end it may not be the end solution it may be just something that moves the conversation on to perhaps version two or version three. You know, look at social media, uh, Facebook um, sort of pretty much killed off MySpace because mm-hmm. it offered something better. Um, and it wasn't originally intended for for social networking. It was uh, for creepy guys to check up girls in, uh, <laughs> in the fellow dorm rooms. So um, hashtag, uh, you know. Me too movement. Anyway, so <laughs> Paul, okay, so Paul is a salesman. Okay, he is a salesman, and the tactic here that's used to sell this product is: if you don't register your watches, you're gonna get robbed. Your 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 ass is gonna get beaten. Okay, and your watch is gonna sto- get stolen. So if you don't want your watches stolen, so that the tactic is to use like fear to get people to sign up, right? Isn't- isn't that what how the mafia works? You know, we'd hate to see something happen to well, you. All. <laughs> Paul <laughs> Thorpe is not saying that I will personally, I will personally come to your house and Please beat your ass Friday if you don't sign up. <laughs> but it is an implied fear, like, hey, 
This is free platform. You have to use it because watches get stolen all the time. So use it and then, you know, you, we might help you get your watches back. But unfortunately, like people are, they're, they're clever. They know that that's not going to solve watch crime as Paul is suggesting it will. Because look at Dubai. You want to solve watch crime? It The watch crime cannot be solved by uh, making it less enjoyable to collect watches. You know, like, oh, the, this all this fear is just so frustrating. Do you, you guys understand? Like, we're trying to live in the world. There's nothing wrong, Tim. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with them using fear as, a, you know, as a no. sales tactic in order for you to, people to get the what you know, in order for people to get on there and register the watches. What I yeah. want to know is how does it make money? How, what does it? It's long term play. Right, it's a long term play. Learn, why would you ever go back to the site? Why? The only time that you'll ever go back to the site is that if you are unfortunately robbed of your watch. Hello, That's the only sorry, time you'll ever go back. Sorry to interrupt, Red, but I mean, you're assuming that it's just going to be a, a registry for people to log their details. They may end up building a different, uh, different platform around it, like uh, forums or videos or who knows what it may they may evolve into something else so this is what i'm saying version one is build build out the database version two is let's launch a an ecosystem or a platform on top of it like let's say we can advertise for watch insurance or we have a forum or we have uh, videos on service guides or or whatever there may be a whole plethora of reasons it could be building up into something more than just a digital watch fault. So let me show I you. Yeah. I, I yeah, agree with Alex. I think yeah, once they've got the way. database, Red, once they've got the database of people, they can make it a multi level platform where they yeah. have whatever going on. They can sell, as Alex said, insurance. They can have sponsors because sponsors come to where there's a lot of crowds. And I think they just got to get the plane off the ground at the moment. And that means getting people there. They're definitely going to market the hell out of it. But they got to get those people on the plane and off the ground first. Sorry, Tim. Look, folks, mm -hmm. this, look, this is a business, right, that, look, is not going to cost hundreds of thousands of pounds to market. This will need millions to market. Millions. And it's going to need millions to market. And mm -hmm. I, I, I just really hope that Paul, Paul personally hasn't went all in on it and that he does have serious investors maybe like producer Michael, maybe like other people with that sort of wealth level. That I don't know. Producer Michael comes off to me as a really stingy fucker. <laughs> like, I, I don't, say I don't think. It, Tim. Tim, say as you mean it, bro. Yeah. I, I'm sorry. I, I just, it, it just, sound, it just look, he's, looks he's to me like. He's a guy. He's not yeah. going to waste his money. You know, this type of operation has probably got, a, to be successful, is going to burn at least, at least three to 400,000 dollars a month minimum in marketing r d lots of stuff if you're not prepared to burn that type of money how are you going to get the message out there and i don't know i i've i've seen this all before that's why i said the other elephant in the room is accustomed to it is a little bit more tech smart which will save in marketing dollars so i i don't know i know this sort of stuff to get people on board it's not just marketing it's the trust and for me, if he had a if he had a big partnership with IWC, what would you think if you went on there? We won't say Rolex, and you mm -hmm. saw IWC as a sponsor and supportive body, you'd feel a little bit more comfortable, wouldn't you, Red, to maybe put in your details? Yeah, I would. I would, to be honest with you. But it's just that it's maybe because I know a little bit about business and about how much you know it costs to get. A name, a product out there, you know, even on like a fairly local basis. But what they're trying to do here is go global with this, and it, the amounts as you have mentioned are true. It's going to cost millions to get this out there, and I don't honestly know if they if they really have the funding for it. Well, it, he's, it, he's only going to have a successful launch. Where he taps into Nico's um, audience and Roman Shaft's and Luxury Bazaar's audience and all those ones, they'll start referring people to to them, and it will just get a bit of a groundswell. Then we, you know, like it's it's easy to judge because 
we know we probably have an, an semblance of how costly it is. We don't know the funding of the digital watch. Well, I'm I'm hoping it's not. That's what I want to know. Paul Alex. Thorpe's money that's in it, and it's uh, backed up by the people, as you mentioned earlier, um, guys. So you know, we just the guy. The guy looks ha haggard and knackered because he said the other day he's never worked so hard. <laughs> now this guy is supposed <laughs> to be enjoying retirement, and yet I he's... believe that. I believe but, that Paul has never yeah. worked so hard, and yeah. I don't. I actually don't. People, people are saying to me, "Oh, you want Paul to fail?" I actually don't want him to fail. I want it to be a success. But mm. I yeah. think that you need to have, for people have confidence in it. There needs to be, a, you know, you need to see some sort of a roadmap. And at the minute, and listening and watching that whole interview and sort of thing that he done with JJ, there was there was no roadmap there. It was just let's see how it goes. Let's just take a risk. Get in, get into this untested car, and let's see what where it goes. Yeah. Um, it's just that other, and I know I'm not going to talk about it, but there's other things that I have seen that have a roadmap and that have a hook to bring people back to certain services all the time. And the digital watch world doesn't have that currently, but they're not even, they're not even given an inkling of what that might be. Well, it, it, it's probably in all the negotiations, and it's they're probably going to see initial reaction uh, before they say, "Oh, the likes of IWC or whoever is involved," or is it going to be smaller scale like BQ watches? You know, you that's see, not, that, that's not going to run. A lot when of dealers go, are not going to run. When you go, yeah. when you go to these, when you go to these sort of advertisers or other services, one of the things that they ask you is that right. How many signups do you have? Right, yeah. signups is one thing, but active users is right. another thing. It's the it's that act. How many people are coming to your site on a daily or weekly basis? And it's going to be pretty much zero because once people sign up and give their you know and give their details across, that's basically it. They've nothing to come back for. Do you think that we'll see Paul Shark, Paul Thorpe on uh, Shark Tank talking to David O'Leary? Trying to trying to push the digital watch bolt. More yeah, like yeah, <laughs> yeah I, would love, I would love to see. Ke it. Kevin's a huge watch uh, nerd, isn't he? Yeah. So there seems yeah. to be a fundamental misunderstanding of how uh, people today interact with technology. People don't want to like if it's free. People don't want to do it, even if it's free. They want to get something out of it as well, and they they do. Here, the way the, the digital watch vault is structured right now, there is no incentive to go there and actually put your money in, uh, put your put your information in there. Like you get nothing in return immediately. So there's no motivation. Why would anyone go into digital watch vault and spend their time? You know, it's fucking pain no, in the ass. No, no, putting no, no, no. your data. So I disagree slightly yeah. with that. I disagree slightly okay. with that. There is there is an incentive to put your to put your information in, and people were saying earlier that that Paul's gonna be selling it on fear, which is which is actually okay. It's just a sales tactic, right? Yeah, yeah. And people will. There's no problem with signing on and putting your details in there and putting your watches in. It's the fact, but that they're funding it on advertising, but there's nothing to bring you back again. So how can the service possibly survive unless somebody's doing it as a charity event? Yeah, it doesn't make any business sense to me. I I do see I, Red's point. I do see Red's point in terms of if I had five pieces and I went and registered them, and I got my registration confirmed, I went off into my life. Why would I come back ready saying unless something was stolen to trigger off something else? He's trying to say there's no hook to keep him there, and I think the. We don't know yet, and the only thing I can think of is a multi-level service, meaning that if there's yeah. a forum or is if there's an insurance company, if there's storage or what have you, et cetera, et cetera. I don't know, but I know one thing, and I've got the scars on my back to prove it. Yeah, That's why my name's Gorilla. If you launch something like this, 
if you haven't got your funding line there so you don't get stressed so you can burn rate through 18 months and have your seed money or pre-seed money you're going to have issues and you don't as a planned business it never goes tickety-boo there's always things that come in and throw you off path so i don't know it's a challenge and if i'm up against a different type of animal that's launching at the same time who is tech driven and is savvy and has had a success and has had an ipo uh, i don't know but again i repeat myself i wish paul all the best and i think if paul gets a little bit stuck he should reach out to some uh, heavy marketers because the concept is good he's just going to overcome the trust and i think he needs to partner up with a big brand like iwc that will give people security but red is right once you put your products in you got to stay within that ecosystem you know don't come out of it like we're in your ecosystem tim we're Gorilla. we are yeah how long do you think it would take you to register five of your watches to a digital watch vault tell me how much time minutes. would it minutes? take you i think 20 i don't five know watches? I yeah no no, no. they got hour. they they need like pictures from all sides let me see okay, let me, so let me that's, try to that, log that's, in that's, a, that's an easy hour and a half isn't it it's probably more okay so here we go here's the inside of this is the dashboard of the of the website uh, as you can see dashboard my watch collection you can register a watch so if we click register a watch that comes up a warning says claiming false ownership of a watch may result in legal repercussions i wonder what what are the legal repercussions and the permanent loss of your account okay so this is the most important thing like they're just gonna block you if you if you submit false information but what if you accidentally mistype like there's no there's no way to like it, the system doesn't warn you that like you know, you're inputting a serial number you could accidentally click a, a wrong number it happens to me all the time uh, are you sure you would like to continue? Okay, yeah, sure. So then look at all the requirements. I mean, God damn. Look, acquisition date, case size. That, and this is all required information. Uh, it won't go through if you won't put everything. So watch serial number, uh, watch model name, watch brand. Do you have box and paper? And then look at all the pictures that it requires. Uh, front oh wait no so it says set time to 4 30 and then front of the watch and then you need to put all the pictures of box papers and this, is, this is pain in the fucking also to tim yeah. also to tim and in, in in one of paul's videos I, I don't think it was the last one but it was the one where he was um, on his motorbike mm -hmm. driving through brighton i think it was about the nine or ten minute mark paul very clearly indicates right that his trusted dealers our dealers are going to register watches on the digital watch vault, you know, that they will be listed here, right? And then on Monday, on Spencer's BQ Watch live show, right? When Gavin starts talking about the, you know, about the digital watch vault, yes. and about will things be listed, Spencer very, very quickly says, oh, well, that's really up to the customer, you know, you know, you know the client to, registered he breathed past that really quickly whoa oh because he doesn't want to get involved he knows how time consuming this is yes uh, that's yeah. the thing spencer that's would he need breathe past that really quickly yeah As spencer... to say yes i'm yes i'm with paul with the digital watch book, but we're not uploading our stock to it yeah because and it that's would take all of, that's all there to be go and look at paul's video when he's on the bike and he's talking away about about how the dealers will register, blah, blah, blah. And then Pierce Spencer going sort of breezing past it as if to put all the owners onto the people who purchased the watch. This is on Paul Thorpe's uh, channel? It, yeah, it was the one where he sort of out in Brighton on his bike. Is it this one with the bikes? Um, Let's see. The this benefits one? of the digital watch? No, 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 no. And it wasn't that one. It was the I think it up, 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 up. Okay. Back up. I think it was the benefit. The one on the right hand side. I think. Oh, the the benefits. No. Oh no, that's no, a live. No, that was wait, a live no, stream. No, that's the one on the watching table. Yeah. Uh, let me see. It was best of. There's a lot of zero west and what is this fears? 
what is this brand? Duckworth Pressex watches. What the? F so, for real. Hold on here a minute. I have a look on the phone here because I've okay. got some time stamps here. Okay, pull it up. I'm gonna. I've got a few things to say here. We got a super chat from Shamba Basher. Thank you so much for five pounds. Register your Air King with the digital watch world, Tim. Do it for the community. I don't have time to do this shit. I would rather have my watch stolen. Then waste my time inputting all this data in. You know, I freaking this inputting this type of data. I tried. I, you know, the Hodinki has this really cool things as well, like collection. Put your collection in here. You know, like the, it's the same kind of thing. You know, like you, you upload a couple yeah. of pictures, you can put in your reference numbers, how much you paid for it. You know, there's a little form. I put in my one, one Submariner and I was like, I'm done with this. <laughs> I can't be bothered. Honestly, it's just, it's pain in the ass. Do you want me to steal your Air King tip? Hey, Daniel Katz, welcome to the show. What do you think, Daniel? Are you are you going to be putting? I, I your, thought, your my Air God, King? I thought I was looking at Agent Smith from uh, you know from the Matrix, but, <laughs> it, but it's red. Uh, it's red. Uh. Whoa, Rose, ten dollar super chat. Here's to Tim, the guy who fucking shows up each night. Can I come on later tonight? Uh, I I open up a nice rose. Of course, of course, Rose. You can oh, that, come on the stream, no problem. That's the guy that was there last week, Rose. He had a rose. Oh, was hand? it really? Yeah, of course. Is that him? Okay, okay. Ah. He got a little bit inebriated, right? On rose. Yeah. Yeah. That was good. Agent Smith. I mean, Red. Hi. How are we doing, Dan? Daniel? I, I, I'm faring. I'm faring okay. I'm faring okay. I'm being I blamed for something. On that. Boom. Okay, so this is the moment, right? Five minutes, seven seconds. Well, you well you listen to this and you let people, you know, what the people think. Like, what is he saying here, basically? Okay. Let's let's listen, guys. Now, this will be a huge benefit to anyone that wants to make a claim on insurance or needs to report uh, a lost or stolen watch to the police or to a manufacturer because they're obviously going to take it a whole lot more seriously. Mm -hmm. Now, the next benefit is when you buy a watch. Digital Watch Vault, as I said, is international. It's going to be supported by just about anyone or everyone who's anyone in the watch world. So before you buy a watch, once Digital Watch Vault has been launched, please make sure that you check its serial number against our international lost, stolen and counterfeit watch database, um, which is growing hugely and massively by the day. Okay, so this is interesting. Can you really check? Uh, I'm not. Um, I'm not uh -huh. sure that's the actual bit of the clip, Tim. To be honest, with you. hold on. Okay. Hold on. My watch co collection report a loss. Submit a search. Okay. Yeah, you could you could submit a search here. Watch status. Search global database. Watch brand. Uh, let's see. there's Apple. What? Automized PK. You can put the serial number. Okay, interesting. Uh, we'll probably get some serial numbers and, and test it out and see how it works. Uh, Rose, the link is in the chat. You can save that up. You can join now if you want. Uh, let's freaking do this. It's uh, it's all cool. Uh, yeah, okay. Red Shovel is double checking to make sure he got the right clip. uh george yes sir. in my opinion the biggest obstacle here is it's just it's pain in the ass to input that data i don't know about other people but i have terrible adhd i couldn't be bothered honestly yeah, yeah, just listen to a bit more of that Tim. just listen to a couple of minutes more but there are absolutely you think okay it's upcoming in, in this current world we live in, people yeah. are lazy. Pe 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 people people yeah. aren't going to spend. It. Just there's got to be an easier way that you show. I think you should actually you should be able to take video of your watch and put it in, at as a maximum. 
I don't know. I don't know. I mean, people want like a two step process. They just want they, they want it to work. Like, is there a way to do it quicker? I, I don't know. It, it's it's an obstacle that I think is the most important. The friction and uh, that that that's involved here. Wait, well, you're missing something. Because look, you're missing you're missing something. You're missing something. Because the way it is right now, Daniel, you know, th yeah. this is the way I see it, okay? Because it will take me maybe six hours if I wanted to input all my watches into the thing, right? So I'm sitting there literally working because that's work. Six hours of your life that you're giving up to put in those watches into the digital watch vault to be then monetized by, by the digital watch vault. It, and and the, your only re, it, recompense, your the 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 only thing that you're getting in return is that if your watches get stolen, at least they're registered in there, and it may help you retrieve it. It's not it's not guaranteed. It's not like if you put your watches in, that's it. They cannot be stolen. Like that would be crazy, but that doesn't doesn't exist. So. Whoa, and huge shout out to Dr. Bob's Nightmare, who just gifted five memberships. Guys, if you like the show, become members. It's it's cheap. It's very, very cheap. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Just like the digital watch vault. Um, it is, I think I can safely say, the world's largest and most comprehensive lost and stolen database. Will be. I believe it's the first database in the world that encompasses counterfeit watch serial numbers as well, known counterfeit watch serial numbers. Again, that will grow as the vault evolves. But the key is here is that everyone needs to become educated. Everyone needs to pass on the word. Do not buy a watch from anyone unless you check that serial number with digital watch yeah, that's actually good that advice is free but... to do there is no downside to this now of course no database is entirely accurate okay so that this could be the best the best use of the digital watch vault how people can come back right because if there's a function to check digit the, the thing yeah you you know if you if people are buying watches and it's free to check there you go. They can go in here. But at, at the moment, how many stolen watches does Digital Watch Vault has registered? I don't. I don't know. That do they do they mention? They say it's the biggest, but I, I think they're just saying it potentially could be the biggest because of maybe because because producer Michael and Paul and a bunch of other YouTubers are going to promote it. But I don't know. I I don't see it yet. Rosé says that the digital watch vault is a scam. Why would you share the info? They will eventually sell the list as a marketing list. Read the fine print. Whoa, where's the fine print? I want to see the fine print. We're gonna we believe into... this is as close as you get. And the reason... That By the way, where's Spencer? Is he like in the back? <laughs> I don't understand. What is happening right now? He's in the sidecar. Little... He's in the sidecar. <laughs> It'd be funny if, if Paul turns to the side. <laughs> it's Spencer is in the sidecar. Alex in the uh, red shovel. Georgia Mildred. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Georgia God. Mildred. Jesus. Days, weeks and months go by that the vaults database will be the most powerful anywhere in the world. Mm is that everyone will be using it, everyone will be checking, and everyone will be reporting their lost and stolen watches. So I'm sure you can see the benefit. And of course, that also goes for anyone that has had a watch lost or stolen, or may do in the future, God forbid. Mm -hmm. Again, you can report that watch within seconds on the vault, or within the vault, and it is then visible to the entire watch world. So if you have a watch stolen in London at one o'clock in the afternoon and someone tries to sell that in an hour's time, less than an hour, in half an hour's time, if someone tried to sell that watch in Mexico City in half an hour, your watch will be visible to the potential purchaser. Now, what that's going to do, 
quite clearly. It's going to take some time, but I think it's going to be quicker than a lot of people realise, a lot quicker. What that means is, is that the value of stolen watches is going to drop dramatically. And the reason it's going to drop is because if these guys know that all of us... Yeah, I don't know if the value of the stolen watches is going to drop dramatically because of because of the digital watch vault. It, the value of watches is literally in, like collapsing right now because of overproduction. So the the watch crime might actually come down because there's not as much money in in stolen watches simply because of the slow market. So I don't know. I don't know. There's just there's no there's no incentives for people to go in and register their watch. There's no real incentives. Like, why? Why? What is? What do people get out of it right now? Not potentially in the future. Like, I don't want to spend six hours of my life inputting all this data so that potentially in the future, right? Like, how many people get robbed? Like, what's the percentage of people that get robbed? Right? It's it's watch crime, even though like you know happens, but it's still very rare. So. So that every so the what every watch collector now right twenty two million watches come out of uh, uh, Switzerland every year. So what? So th there's there's literally like a billion watches. Who's going to be inputting all that data in? It's just have you know. have you guys thought of something else which is clearly in the forefront? We all, there's obviously there's obviously watch crime in the UK. Some some watch crime in parts in some states in America, Paris, but it doesn't mean the whole world is buying expensive watches and has the same watch crime all over the world. Do you understand? There's there's not a watch crime in every single country in Europe. There's not watch crime in the whole of the states. There's not watch crime in the Middle East. So you where are you targeting this? I think, you know, it's it's a big thing. It's like, you know, trying to take care of uh, of a problem that might not just be there. So I, not everywhere, not globally, you know. I don't know. It's it's a big thing to launch. It's a lot you know, of money involved. So I don't George, know. The biggest, the biggest problem that I have with uh, with this is it's it's actually the marketing, and because to me it just it just doesn't make sense. Like Paul is saying, this is going to solve watch crime, and I for a fact know that that's not how you solve crime, right? You want to solve cr like if Paul was serious about crime. That's not that's not how you solve it, but not not by creating a, a product which you benefit from when the crime happens. Like literally, if you think about it, guys, the more watch crime happens, the more money Paul and his guys will be making because people will be will be going in and registering their watches. They're gonna be looking at where are people getting robbed. The, the, there's no incentive here to reduce crime the incentive here is to increase crime to increase profits like like paul says i care about crime that's not how you tackle crime okay crime is uh it's a political issue it's it's an issue of wealth redistribution okay people commit crime because they're in desperate situations you know I they agree. want money totally or, agree. you know and so totally so agree. It's a it's a red herring. Just this is just lies that this is going to sell solve uh, crimes. No, no, no. Crimes are literally make this website profitable. If you solve watch crime, website like this is not needed. Uh, well, no, well, well, Tim, well, Tim, I look, look to to sort of defend it, but I can see what he's trying to do. Right, what he's trying to do is is. Uh, a little bit like what they managed to do with the mobile phone industry in that when you used to steal a phone, it had a good value. But mm -hmm. as as things moved on and sort of Apple and other people, you know, started to, you know, started to work on the networks on the IMEI numbers, if you stole a phone, it was basically worthless. You know, it was just... No, no, really no. People, st people are still stealing, the watch uh, stealing phones. The phone yeah, crime yeah. hasn't stopped. No, just but, because no, but you can't log of... into somebody's phone, people still take them apart. They, they take them for parts. Yeah, people still take them apart for parts and all that, but it's not as so. I can see where Paul's maybe coming from in that he's trying that to get to the stage thinking. where if somebody steals a watch yeah. and if it's listed as stolen, it's not as valuable. Then. 
maybe you know because it doesn't matter. It's still valuable, even if it's stolen RM, you could still sell it. Or let's say it still you, has yes, it still has a value. Yeah, yeah. people would still no, pay but, thousands for an RM. But, like you can steal RM thing, just because you can't sell it legitimately for half a mil. You can sell it on the black market for yeah. 10k, and 10k is a lot of money. That's right, and for his system to actually work, for everyone to know about the system is going to cost millions and millions of pounds. So I yeah. still do not know how it's going to work. Well, I think I've cracked the case because I've just, Tim, I've just sent you an email. It's a picture of um, Paul Thorpe on his bike with Spencer. Oh, oh, okay, here we go. <laughs> Let's pull it up. Here we go. The crime. This is the the crime solving duo. Yeah, the, 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 what this is. the crime. The <laughs> this is literally how they're driving. The That's just what I imagined. <laughs> the greatest watch detective, you know, like dude. This is the greatest picture I've ever seen. Paul Thorpe. <laughs> Watch vault. <laughs> yeah. To the watch oh. vault. <laughs> Dude, and Halloween is coming up too. So. Oh, Alex, you're a bad boy. You're a bad boy, Alex. I think he's opened that bottle of whiskey without us, guys. He's Paul Thorpe early. comes out of the digital watch vault, not a bat cave. Can, can you do something about Alex, Tim? Because he, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have to go and have mental therapy um, from next week. Because he's put this, he, he's actually trying to drive me nuts with this icon he's changed. I don't know if you've seen it. <laughs> what is this? Oh, wow. He, oh. He, he's got a very camp gorilla. Yeah. And he's he's suddenly put it on the minute he came on. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how, if I can handle this. It's, it's really bad. It's oh. a, wait a minute. Can, I, can, you, you gonna... can, can, you, can you enlarge that piece again, Tim? Can you enlarge him, uh, Alex? Oh, yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Alex, not him. Oh, Alex. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, Wrong picture. Oh, my God. That looks like a friend I met in Costa Rica. Look, anyways, looks like my back. ex. But, <laughs> uh, but guys, actually, in all honesty, I actually had uh, a viewer. Uh, a viewer just sent me the, the actual picture <laughs> that, that was taken. I yeah. I want to apologize. That I think that was my sister-in-law. Oh, God. So... <laughs> <laughs> this was the, this is taken from the street guys uh whoa shout out to daniel <laughs> gutierrez for two dollars oh super chat saying timmy ashin transferred us did not work for me oh damn yeah for some people it doesn't work some people it does work uh but hey thank you guys for for joining us uh Intense. Yeah. So. If if Paul is watching, look, we're just having a bit of a laugh, Paul. Don't you know? We, we obviously don't mean that you dress up in lycra uh, and go around solving crime. Obviously not. Oh, actually, some people are very sensitive, Tim. You know, some people get very upset very quickly. Why they? Why are they so sensitive? Don't know. Don't know. I'm very sensitive too, Tim. That's why I use eye drops. <laughs> I'm sorry. Machine actually forgot to end the live stream. Uh, it's pretty. Again. Yeah, <laughs> pretty wild. Hold yeah, on, it's, still, it's still it's still on. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's a bit rusty. Is uh, is Ashin? I think he's he's been off. He hasn't been. Yo, you you didn't long. end live stream. You just left. You have to end it, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, people People wanted me to rebut. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, jo uh, if you got time, join us. Uh, that's so funny. Um, all right, so thank you, Daniel. And uh, we got Andrew Volkovich, uh, who just gifted five memberships. Thank you so much. Awesome. Uh, Andrew, wow. Five memberships, that five memberships from Andrew. 
five memberships from Dr. Bob's Nightmare. Thank you so much, guys, for supporting this channel. In the we're we're independent journalists here. We we're sponsored by the viewers and not by any shady uh, dealers or some shady characters like like producer Michael. Uh, <laughs> like I don't one hundred percent sure, dude. If I if I had to put money, like if if you told me, like Tim, how much do you think producer Michael? How much how much money did producer Michael put into the digital watch vault? But where are you getting that from, Tim? How do you know that he's an investor? I don't think you'd invest into something like this. That guy looks like you'd only put his money in the sure thing. You know, it's. I think he's very, very, very careful, that bloke. I don't think he's going to put money into this. This Hell is what no. I think. This is what I think. I think that Producer Michael, right, and I might be totally wrong. I might be completely wrong. I think Producer Michael's put nothing in. I think, I think a lot of people have put nothing in, and I think Paul has put a lot in. You think Paul put... No, I. I think Paul. I think, I sadly think Paul has put, has went all in, as he say in Vegas in this, has went all in on it. Hey, Ashin, welcome to the show. Dude, I fucked up. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> You're right. I am rusty. I fucking just left. <laughs> I did that in fucking Galway a month ago, didn't I? I'm such a uh... moron. I forgot to fucking. Oh god, I'm so sorry, man. It's all good. It's all Did good. Did anyone come over in the end? I'm oh sorry. yeah, yeah, yeah. We got like a whoa, well, actually 150, maybe maybe 200 people came came over. Guys, okay, hey guys, I'm sorry. Stream. I'm sorry for making you look at a blank screen for fucking over a minute. Hey, we we got lucky because Daniel Gutierrez he texted he put a super chat saying, hey, it didn't work for me. The transfer link didn't work for me. So I went to check. And I saw, hey, okay, stream okay. is still, still running. So. Uh, okay, I'm so sorry, dude. Yeah. Fuck. So cool, so cool. Hey, we got a super chat here from Rosé. Anyone who wants the vault, please send me their info. I've got a TPG mentoring class <laughs> that I think they love also. What a fucking F. You know, you, know, you know, Tim, the fundamental thing is that he's going into this pool, and I hope he's got some real high, high motivated tech guys because this does need a high high level tech guys from the interface and the flow of the website as you put on product and people first impressions and their first landing at that has to be smooth if it's going to be a little bit of a rough ride they'll say fuck it i don't need it i'll move on blah 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 so i haven't seen i haven't been onto the site but he needs to have it flow really well and smooth that's another thing you know, as well as trust, you've got to have it all running smoothly and stuff like that. It, you can have your you can have your smooth, bugs. George. Right now, that website it's as it's as easy. It's as e the, the flow is as easy as as hitting a wall. Okay, there's no there's no steps. There's no ways to kind of ease people into it. They just <laughs> slap them with, "Hey, put your entire collection in here." You got a whole day to dedicate. Is there no to, tutorial? To putting this is there data? No, tutorial? no, I don't. There has to be a tutorial and there has to be a, a live chat person helping people because that's the first opportunity. If you don't make it a smooth, a smooth transaction for that Mr. Joe Schmo to register his product, he's never going to come back. So I would have an educational video. I'd have support chat there. Mm. Uh, what's up number? We can help you. Uh, I don't know. It's it's going to cost it's, so yeah, much money. I Yeah, I agree with all that. And that, yes, but... People are going to have to spend time, no matter what service you know that you go to. You are going to have to spend time uploading your watches, uploading certain photos, uploading documents, right? But here's the thing: for the service to work and for it to work as as Paul is envisaging, will he needs yep. to market it? But it will be millions of pounds in order to get everyone or to get a good majority of people to upload their watches. So that when people do, so when people do get a loss of a watch and it's stolen, they they go to the watch world. They say that's been stolen, and, and that when someone goes to bad, it's marked as stolen. That costs millions, and I well, genuinely got, don't think they have read it. I genuinely don't think they're down that path. Red is clear. Even Stevie Wonder can see it's going to cost him millions on burn rate to get that up. If I was him, I'd have a concierge service which I charge X amount that will upload for you and you do the final physical last bits and have a concierge service. That way he makes money as well. But 
listen, it's his baby. As I said, I wish him the best, but it's a big mountain to climb from the trust issue to the marketing issue to the technology issue. And you've got to have seed money ready while you're doing this. You mustn't be worried about your money to do it. If you're going to be worried about the money and you haven't got a big uh, angel fund behind you, it's a very difficult thing. And yeah. Paul's marketing it to this watch community. We're a minority. Between yeah. all the streams, we're at best, at best, maybe half a, a million people, proper watch buyers and proper enthusiasts. That's a problem. See, uh, l l let, me, let me give you an example. People take those pictures. Like, for example, I take pictures and put in data when, when, uh, when, I, uh, when I'm trying to sell something on eBay, right? I'm doing that because I know I'm getting money out of it. Like, I'm not doing – like, eBay is not making money – of me inputting the pictures and making sure that my description is well, you know, that everything is just checks out, that it's cool. I want to do that because there is a benefit to me, right? And uh, and eBay makes money by you know taking a cut of the sale. There's no, there's no, they're not monetizing that listing in any other way. And uh, that this is why there's so there's going to be so much friction. Uh, with this website because it's basically the the eBay listing forms for sale, but you there's no benefit to to the seller. Literally, there's no benefit. Well, maybe they can attach it to uh, watch charts or something so people can go and monitor their collection, the value of the collection, see how it's performing. I mean, the the, the there's so many things that they could they could do if you're just judging it based on an, uh, the ability to record one's details. And the details you, um, they're requesting are no different to what, say, Chrono24 asks for when you want to sell uh, something on there. It's yes. quite laborious. Yes. Um, so it's just it, it's just like, yes, it looks initially, it looks quite a massive hurdle. But I, th I think it's going to, we're going to need to see version two before you know to see the value proposition because it, as it currently stands other, other than just putting in your initial details but people are willing to input this data all this they look at all this data that's been input to sell this watch but they're yeah, but doing you, it because they want to make forty four thousand dollars but can you imagine can you imagine though um down the down the road where you start putting in your serial number and it has a it has a database in the background linking to the manufacturers where they know what that serial number and then they auto populates all the fields so if you register your watch say on another website on rolex's website or on tudors or whatever it knows the watch details i think it's just missing that that step that sort of like filling your registration number and it will tell you what car you've got Incentive. There has to be a better incentive. Yeah, than well, it is right sure, now. Get, I mean, like it needs it needs to go some distance. In the, in the digital world, the, the the problem we're discussing here is known as friction. Yeah. So when you sign up for anything, any subscription, or you're you're interested in any sort of thing, and you click on the 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 all the stuff where you have to fill in forms and add photos, and it, it's known as friction, as in it's it's a it's going to it's a stumbling block and most people turn back most people turn away when there's too much friction quote unquote as in yeah. like oh fuck i got to go through all this oh ah uh, forget it yeah like yeah the smoother it is the nicer yeah. it is so you want to reduce friction that's gonna the, they're going to they're going to mon monitor rate. sorry it's almost like bounce rate what she is saying you know they just yeah, yeah, bounce well, off they yeah, exactly. Off, they'll yeah. they'll probably record how many aborted attempts there are to record it, yeah, uh, to record information. And if it's really high, they're gonna have to sort of redevelop it. Like I was Hello, thinking Beth of signing in saying. today, uh, just to oh sorry, uh, I was thinking of signing in just to check it oh. out and you know do more more due diligence and the whole thing before I started talking about it. And but I knew that I would have to go through all sorts of forms and fill in all sorts of stuff. If I thought there was a, like an easy entry to just poke my head in and see what the room was like without, you know, putting everything in there and uploading a watch and all of that kind of stuff, 
I maybe when I've done, I have to do it. I'm going to have to do it just to check it out. But uh, I think most users, they just want to poke their head in and see. And if there's a lot of friction in their face, you know, at the at the first hurdle, a lot, you know, 50% of people are just going to walk away. Look at this machine. This, all this information is what they hit you in the face, straight in the face with that you have to up upload to but register that, watch that was in for, in the information and if, if you're willing to give all of that up please please pm me i've got a bridge to sell you <laughs> <laughs> one, one thing i want to say because this is the first chance i've had the the opportunity to chat with with Ashin, which is uh, from this day forward like stick to the watch it is going to be a phrase that <laughs> <laughs> big compliment we can give you <laughs> stick to the watches super chat and we all text you and say stick to the watch shit it's the best compliment we can give <laughs> i just want to talk about watches i just yeah. want by the way all these people who were who were telling me i just want to talk watches they just all talking shit now it's so fucking bizarre you know mm -hmm. It's just, it is ridiculous you know in the past i was criticized people were bashing me and now these guys are just slinging dirt <laughs> it's so Tim. Fucking twisted man Tim, i oh, actually shit. have to say something on on the topic right oh, I, 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 hey hey alex how are you doing time, uh, I, I know it's been a while um i, I have an opinion of on on watch world actually yes. right and, and it could be very superficial and it could be uh, really, really basic uh, because uh, all of you guys have much more experience and knowledge about those things than I do. But what if it is as basic as a uh, early days of uh, YouTube? Uh, in the early days of YouTube, everything was free. It was only advertising. Everything was just available. No adverts, no nothing. Yeah. Yes. And then after two or three years, there comes a second tier that is being paid for premium, gold, platinum, or whatever, on top of your free subscription. If you pay yeah. us $10.99 a month, you will get this, this, and that. So what if this free year build-up is plan into another free year of free advertising where they're going to say, well, now we are giving you a, a, a lot for free, but if you want X, Y, and Z, yes. this will cost a little bit extra. Okay. Absolutely. And the, uh, and uh, Ocean earlier in, in, in your, in your stream, this is what my comment was related to which was alex don't please don't <laughs> <laughs> my, my comment was my comment was totally plausible okay because oh, yes, that was you, that was I, you. I, I i was i wasn't seeing a free year plan i was seeing a uh, six to eight yeah. to ten year plan you see and uh, this is this is how it goes right uh, and, and i think to myself you know because i'm not the most clever person in the world but i think to myself I'm 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 just maybe too shallow, you know, and I'm not maybe, but it could be this basic, you know, it could be as simple as that. And yeah, also, it is, it is. You're right. We also have to review the the terms of service because they could say, "Hey, we're not we're not selling your data, we're not selling your information." But what are the clauses? They might have an exit clause. They, you know. <clears throat> Who who knows what what's written in there? So, I'm I'm definitely going to make sure to review it uh, with a fine tooth comb. Yeah, okay. we got to do that. It's kind of the onus is on us to do that now at this point. I think. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah. I mean, if we're going to talk about it, we should know what the hell we're talking about, like at a detail level. So, I'll That's... definitely sign up for it. You know, and I'm I'll do it from other. I'll, I'll like invent other accounts and see if like you know I'll I'll do all the testing that someone should do like I'll make up a fake avatar or whatever or, or you know and just try and sign in as someone imaginary with an imaginary collection to see how it goes you know you got to do that you got to do it to check yeah. it right right now yeah. though it's so basic 
Sheen, it's it's very disappointing because it's it's just an Excel spreadsheet. It like they record the data and then just they store it for you. And that that seems to be the the only thing that that's happening here. And uh, the data could be uh, you know searched for. It's like a it's like a giant database. But I, I don't I don't. They talk about you know blockchain this, blockchain that. I, I don't actually see anything going on here. I, you know what would be cool thing to do is to register like a Seiko, some kind of cheap watch, mm. and, and, and see how, again. yeah, and see how that works. But it's just you know. And then let's say you sell the Seiko, right? It you have to actually go here and and like Seiko is such a like cheap watch. Do you really want to spend your time transferring the ownership? What what happens when you register Seiko here? Uh, and then you go to eBay and you sell it and you say, OK, I by the way, th that watch was registered to Digital Watch Vault. So please give me your account. And the guy is going to be like, I don't want to waste my time, you know, uh, uh, you know, going into this is just a sake. Why are we doing all of this? But yeah. uh, that's exactly what it is. You know, it's not about the value of the watch. Uh, as as uh, Oshin said earlier, you know, uh, if you can't see your product, you know, you are the product. You are the product, and it's just pain in the ass. You know, I I want watch collecting to be simple and easy. I was listening to uh, uh, John John Mayer and uh, and mm -hmm. uh, uh, Ed Sheeran talk about watches, and Ed was like, "Yeah, when I got this first paddock, I, I kind of." took everything out i was using the box to store weed or so or you know like or cigars or, or something like that right like that see that's the passion for watches this whole meticulous we were going crazy box papers you know how yeah. many hairline scratches are, are there in the on the bezel are they, like it's too it's too insane right now there's too much uh too much paperwork bureaucracy and not enough love for 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 the hobby it's just bureaucracy this is what it is it's just do you think the slump in the market has affected this too like when it was first conceived it was when the market was flying high or at least on its way up mm -hmm. and people felt like they didn't just have a timepiece on their wrist they also had a huge asset that had you know it was increasing and so on and probably when this whole app was being put together with it, it all made a lot more sense now that the market is kind of softened off and everyone's losing a bit of interest maybe this you know is this really timely is this or has it missed has it missed its moment i'm not, hmm. I'm not sure because it's still an asset even though it may not be worth list price it's worth more than zero pounds or or certainly, euros. certainly whoever is steals it it's like you know people still steal uh smartphones and they've been hugely democratized yeah. um so it's just an opportunity for someone to steal something that doesn't belong to them for them to monetize it or whatever right. so yeah yeah and by the way ved uh i like that's a great idea like they they're going to start it out like this as a simple database and then they'll pivot it eventually into something different but you know what i just i don't even think they're smart Ooh. enough to they i don't even think they even consider that like the guys that's that put this together they don't seem to be the type of people who think like super long term and how to develop and you know well, they figured out some way to make money on it, so it's got to be it's, some it's sort a simple of, yeah. model. It's a simple model. It, it's a tested model. It's a model that people used in the past. Okay, so I agree with you that they, they may not be intelligent enough to invent something groundbreaking. Okay, but hmm. they could copy uh, something what somebody else has done, and it it has done well for 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 other people. You know, so. Uh, that, that's why I'm hesitant with, with saying those things because they seem so obvious. Well, they seem so obvious to me, but they seem too obvious to be a fact. You see what I mean? Right. Think, think about the possibilities here that they could, you know, you put your details in there and then you just click a button and then uh, assign it to an insurance company to get it insured. So that can be just the uh, the, the chain of evidence that the insurance company might need 
to be able to issue the insurance. Because if you go and insure your watch, you need to fill in all these details anyway, don't you? So yes. the, the hurdle is real. Don't get me wrong. But it, it may be just, well, just do it the once, and then you can do insurance. You can post a listing on to uh, either Chrono24 or, or some other sales site. And you can also, if they latch into, say, watch charts, you can also see the value of your of your uh, watches over a period of time. So there there are there are potential places for it to go. Yeah, like like the benefit of inputting your collection into Chrono Twenty Four, for example, uh, is you can you can first you can sell your watches on Chrono Twenty Four, exactly. but but also if you're not even interested in selling watches, you can put it in there and it'll show you how much your watch is worth. Yeah, yeah. You're, and that is really cool. People like that. You get you get like yeah. that kind of instant gratification feedback. It yeah. would be you actually like the form on Chrono Twenty Four and on Digital Watch Vault. They're almost identical. Yeah, like you know, they you should... know what? Yeah, Chrono could easily add this extension to their to their <laughs> database and just swallow the entire thing. Everyone's exactly. on Chrono. Their collections are on there. They can easily add this extra thing to their, yes. to their, their app living or, database. Yeah, they they have it right there. If they gave a shit, they could just do that. In the yeah. Day. Okay. Okay. But but listen, listen. May may I, may I add uh, something else to an argument? Okay. Hmm. So a uh, Paul's narrative, uh, and, and and you know what? I I'm gonna hate myself for a, a pointing something uh, like this out, but Paul's narrative always is. A, I am only here to help people, and I'm only here to a, uh, give people a hand. You know, I only wish people well. And uh, f from superficial uh, outlook, like I have, you know, from watching uh, his uh, occasional uh, video and stuff like that, in my eyes, who has he tried to help? He has tried to help people who potentially have a lot of really expensive pieces who have lost maybe one or two of those pieces and still have a uh, lot of potential money behind it okay yeah mm -hmm. so uh, and and who who his potential customers are are maybe people who uh, don't understand too much about this business and who maybe have one piece piece that they worked really really hard for okay and what is he doing for for, for, for those people? Okay, so uh, that group, right? Isn't you, Alex? Isn't you, Sheen? Isn't you, Tim? You know, isn't you, you Red? Dude, you know, or anything thing. like that? Ved, right? Ved, because Ved, he's Ved. not helping any of them. helping. Person. We're uh, helping. He's getting paid. What the? What is this? Like, no, that, 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 that's 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 let me see where I'm, where I'm going with this. You see where I'm just going with this? Let's just let me just come back on on you, Ved, because. Paul Thorpe's been a victim of watch crime himself. Sure. Okay. And here in, um, you know, I'm sure in other parts of the world as well, when you're a victim of something, whether it's uh, like an illness related issue or whatever, you might end up because of using your experiences to try and become an advocate for other people that are going through it, whether it's like a health related issue or yeah. whether it's a crime related issue. Yeah. And maybe that's what he's, he's doing. starting a business based on the the crime that was committed he's monetizing the crime that happened to him this is not helping it's like okay like advocates they don't get paid they don't get like maybe they get paid for like to go and speak but you know they yeah. get like flights covered you know they're not literally they're not starting a business for and like Greta Thunberg she didn't start a business selling solar panels right and right. It's, start making well, fucking money and saying right. oh, i'm helping people i'm right. greta thunberg this is my solar panel <laughs> that's a brand. great that's a like, great the... fucking analogy Dude. man that's f i love that paul paul is was, like acting was. like he's Doesn't a fucking, her selling but... fucking solar panels that's brilliant tim tim thank you thank there was you for, there was for sorry it. Man, let me just let me just that. add to that and i'll let you let, let you come in uh there was there was a story of like during the COVID, there was an elderly gentleman. He was a he was a former soldier. He was walking up and down this garden. Can't remember his name, Captain Tom or something or other. Yep. And yep. he passed away. Now his his story was made into a book, and his family, his survivors, surviving family, 
capitalized on that and made something like almost a million pounds worth of profit. Mm -hmm. Oh God! So yeah. you know it, but that was he bequeathed the proceeds of his story to his family. Should they not profit from it? Well, or should they give it all to charity? Well, I mean, if if he's going to say uh, like the, if the family is going to say, listen, he he did what he did. Right. And if he profited, if he's profiting from it, selling a story. Um, What's the difference between the, the journalists? I, it, it's different. I it is different because that. I actually agree with the fact that the that Captain Tom, his story mm. and his books, right, were were separate from the foundation that was created. Yeah. Right. And there was, I think, there was about 30 million pounds that was raised. By his walk and or, you know by his like walking in the garden. So I actually think that that was. I think it's okay that not everything that in his life all of a sudden becomes part of a charity. And exactly. Then he can right. You know. So you should be uh, able to make. So what I'm saying is that you can make money out. Yeah. Of it because if you, you don't, yeah. guess who will? But, a journalist. A journalist that will just write a biography, and they'll just monetize it themselves. But the thing with Paul is, I have never seen Paul doing anything that doesn't really benefit him financially. Right. Oh, yeah. There's no. It's not no, like it's, it's not like it's... proceeds here are going to go to the victims of watch crime. I mean, if you can say I'm giving back. Okay? What about Andy Bins? Andy Bins, let me help out Andy Bins. Oh, by the way, by the way, Ved wanted to say something. Ved, please. Sorry, Ved. Yeah, sorry, please. So, so, so let me exp explain my 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 point a little bit further. Okay. Um, uh, Watch Walt's customers aren't uh, Oshin, aren't uh, Tim, aren't necessarily myself or Red or or Alex. Okay, they're people who uh, don't know as much as all of you guys on the panel do. Okay, right. Mm -hmm. This is this is this is where I'm going. Where I'm going with this. Okay, and I'm not saying this is anything bad. I'm saying it's just the way the business works okay Certainly. i'm not trying yeah. to bad mouth anybody or anything like that you know i'm just gonna uh, uh running my logical wheels behind all of this you see it's yeah. the people who think that watch vault is going to be be all and end all all that is going to protect their one valuable piece right that could be kaiso or Tiso, however you want to call it, you know, that costs 610 pounds, or it could be a one Rolex that they received for their birthday that costs 10 grand. You see what I yeah. mean? All right. So we are not his customer base. We are his advertisement. We are his a, a promotional panel. You see what well, I'm trying what to Paul say? Is, well, that's what Paul is in the the spokes of the wheel that is digital watch fault because according to him there are some so many other people involved that paul he keeps saying he's a very small part of this whole thing and there are way bigger people so i th i feel like what paul is bringing to the table is i mean if what he says is true that um he is just like listen i've got my seventy thousand uh, subscribers and they're very loyal and they're very soul in this idea this is what i can bring i can i can show the world i can you know paul has been showing up on bbc he was on a bbc show a That's small right. one you know he was in switzerland and he was on the swiss tv talking about watch crime someone's yeah. making those calls and that's not paul you know what I mean? Someone's making those media calls. It's probably producer Michael or someone else. And they're getting him on 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 screens in front of regular folk, not us, as you say. And to to show them that there's a fear, there's a you know, there's a there's a concern there if you have a nice watch. Yeah. So, you know, Paul is Paul is, uh, he's the face of the thing for, you know, the watch community and so on. He's an advertisement for it. But from what I gather, he's not even the biggest, you know, collector on this, on whatever profit that is there. That's the feeling. Here's a question, but for you. Here's a question, but for you. If you were, if you were the chief investor, you had the most money involved in the digital watch world, would you want Paul Thorpe as your main 
as your main face, as your main advertisement? It's a brilliant, brilliant question. And and this is one that Alex Foti and D from D Time Love, who is apparently now part of the system, um, posed to me how, you know, whether it's a good idea or not, how on earth can Paul bring anything positive to it with his past, with his son, with all that prob- well, those problems mm-hmm. with his son and so on, being convicted and so on. Clearly, or assumably, he would, like, they would run away from a character like that. Who would, you, like, you'd, you'd pick a cleaner person. You'd pick Adrian Barker or someone like that, or Jenny L, someone squeaky right. clean, right? Someone super fucking clean. You don't want to take Paul with his tattoos and his, you know, his, his past and whatever the fuck. Or I don't know. You're like, mm. that's very yeah, bad. But you know, that is the truth. You know, that is the way you know that things are perceived. Yeah. And I just find it difficult that you know that Paul's going to be the face of this when there's all that going on in the background. And Alex has made that point to me many times to his credit. Like. How on earth can this guy be the spokesperson for for a, a base a, a platform based on trust? That's why Alex was calling me every second day about this stuff and telling me, you know, this is you don't know what's going on behind the scenes and the watch register and all this stuff, you know, because they're they're members. Of the, Alex is a member of the watch register. I actually sent Alex a couple of serial numbers to check them for me. Yeah, and he did so. And D also is, and apparently they went through vigorous interviews and so on before they were allowed into that. And the Watcher Register have been dealing with the ins and outs of this kind of problem for years. I had, I can't remember her name, I feel bad, but she was on one of the early SWAT shows and she she's part of the, um, the Watch Register and she was explaining how it all works. And she was also detailing like the problems they go through because of different laws throughout different countries let's say a watch is stolen or a watch comes through that is stolen it depends what country and what kind of laws they have there and they have teams of lawyers that have to figure out all this fucking stuff like it's really complex for them i feel like the watch register would be much bigger and much more profitable if it was an easier job but it isn't it's a really really tough job to take on because you're kind of dealing with potentially dealing with law enforcement uh, oh, across borders a lot of watches get stolen in london they wind up in paris or in naples or, or in new york or god knows where or in turkey right in istanbul yeah. how are you going to deal with the local authorities in istanbul and they I, have I bet- I yeah. bet that's why Rolex ended their uh, lost uh, and stolen register. That's what I think. That's they don't want to deal with. Yeah. Uh, like, they don't want to know why, what they're servicing. Yeah. And that's why I always have, and and I have asked Paul a direct question and he never answered it. Do you, do you know the way Paul goes on about the Rolex that was never returned to him by Rolex? Oh, yes. yeah, yeah. Is it because that Rolex that Paul and a full benefit of the doubt, bought 100%, you know, and banned this Rolex off a person, you know, uh, and it's all 100%. When that Rolex was eventually returned to Rolex for a service, it has came back stolen, but from somebody else. And perhaps Rolex or the authorities cannot get in contact with that person who is the true owner of the watch. Yeah, I would say so. Wow. Because they can't link it back to Paul as the original guy. That's my yeah. guess. Yeah. Uh, by the way, guys, let me just catch up on the Super Chats here. Uh, thank you so much, Ryan Solomon, for gifting 10 memberships. This is really cool new feature. I, I can now actually bring up when somebody gifts memberships and put it on wow. the screen. Legend, uh, Ryan. Legend. Dude, this feature was literally, I think, activated today. And then shout out to Rose for ten dollars. How did we all get through an hour of John Mayer? We are all <laughs> masochists. Is he is he gonna be like a presenter now on Hodinki? Because he it looked like it felt like that, didn't it? Like he's I, like, welcome to watch talk. Like all of a sudden he's a presenter. I bet he I bet he put in a lot of money into saving Hodinki. 
All right, so for, from an uh, undisclosed source, I have on the very good authority that Hodinki was going to go file for bankruptcy. And then at the last second, at 11 hour, uh, John Mayer uh, and what's the football player? Tom Brady uh, put in like a ton of money. And I think Ben Clymer also had something to do with it and mm. uh, rescued it. And I think now they're trying to, you know, uh, no they probably bought some kind of a stake and they're going to try to revitalize it and uh, get return on their investment. They, they're not doing it out of the goodness of their heart either, but they're, they're not trying to lose money. They want to, you know, do it. And actually, I think Ed Sheeran at one point or no, no, it was John Mayer because there was an article written about John Mayer, how he has spent 25 percent of his wealth on watches. And he, he was claiming like, hey, I didn't spend it. I put it into watches because it's art and I and it you know it appreciated. So anyway. Yeah, instead of snort snorting it up his nose, he put exactly. it into watches. Watches was his fixation. He put a lot of the money that could have gone to parties and stuff. Because that guy was the biggest pop star in the world for uh, three or four years. Huh? Sorry, what? sorry, I'm sneezing. I was sneezing. Oh, you're sneezing. <laughs> Ray Ray, 10 euros super chat. Tim, if I go put some <laughs> ball holds underwear on, can I jump on? I have the biggest shitter and ugliest watch to show you. Oh I missed God. the shit. Well, what's for changed? All the haters. I've just had a few. Thank I you. Had a few drinks. Ray Ray. Ray good Ray. boy. Good boy out there in golf. Can I, can I just say something? Alex, yeah. can you can you switch uh to private chat and read it, please? Okay. Oh yes. Thank you. Daniel, uh, Daniel, that is the Black Beauty. And Daniel, I, I see that uh, I missed a couple of your super chats during my fucking rant. I'm so sorry. Um, I can refund you them. That is the Black Beauty, isn't it? Lovely. It's probably one yeah. of my favorite Rolex Gorgeous. ever. Ever. Uh, yes, uh, dude. Daniel, you can repeat the questions if they're pertinent here, if they relate to what we're talking about, hmm. or let me know and I'll refund you. I'm so sorry, Daniel. You know me, I get off and around. Ah, he's a no. super fan. He no, he's, he's great. Well, I love Daniel. I don't want him to feel yeah. I don't want him to feel like he got gypped there on this super chats. He saved our show today. <laughs> oh, yeah. So thank you. Uh let's see. Ya. Uh JW says that they buy a major stake a year ago and they were also uh, bleeding, so that's why John is back trying to hype the shit up again. Yeah, I mean, the market has been struggling and uh, Hodinki has been basically dead. They haven't been, haven't been doing anything productive. They, they were trying to go into uh, gray, gray market dealing and that would prove to be a disaster. So, yeah. Is Hodinki more dead than me? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, no. okay, okay. <laughs> uh but yeah yeah that's the it's the digital watch vault i i don't by know the way, by the way or shane when when you know about the uh can we just talk about watches bit um my 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 comment would be we came for the watches but we stayed for the chat and the stories okay okay good way, good if I have a if, if there's one criticism is that the the watch serial number should probably be entered twice to make sure that whoever is that inputting the information, up. yeah, because yeah. right like now a password. it's like a password. You gotta yeah yeah when you're creating yeah when you're creating that password you want to be one hundred percent sure that you're inputting the correct information. Thanks for saying that, Alex. Um, listen, I always like we're men. Our watch isn't mm. all we're interested in. We're interested in so many other mm. things. And the watch is the companion. You know, we look at James yeah. Bond with his, with his Seamaster or whatever. And that's not the only thing that impresses us. It impresses us, his suit and his style and the fact that he's able to kill the baddies. There's so many other things. That's a cartoonish version of, of what I'm trying to talk about. But, like, the man who, like, there's a reason why they have David Beckham representing yeah. Tudor because David Beckham is a great soccer player you know that's arguable I, I guess for soccer fans but whatever he's he's great he's an icon and whatever watch he wears it makes us feel like we could be that soccer player in a weird way and you know 
Anthony Bourdain was a traveler. He go he went around the yeah. world and he visited lots of places and met a lot of people. And the whole time had a certain watch on, never spoke about it or anything. But the fans, they want to know what watch he was wearing. That's a big thing for us. Like it's it's a thing. The watch is the companion. You know, it's the the watch. It, you know, goes around the world with you and um, experiences all the things that you experience as you do those things. So I love it when a channel kind of involves all those other things. Recently, Adrian Barker made, he hasn't been making a whole lot of videos recently, but he made, I mean, the guy's got a lot of fucking class because he came in and fucking made a beautiful video where the, the new um, Tudor is down on the fucking sand and he swims down to it. And we see it like he clearly got some kind of cover for his camera, you know, underwater cover. I, I thought it would be like a GoPro. Uh, maybe a GoPro covered, yeah, yeah, yeah. Un with underwater housing. Oh, actually, yeah. the, the new GoPros they're under they're waterproof. You can take them underwater. You don't mean that oh, you now. can. Okay, yeah. great. Yeah, whatever he did, that's yeah. such a cool way to show a dive watch. Yeah, because we're down underwater, and that's where you want to see the watch, and that's fucking cool. That's that's what we want to see. That's that's great, you know. So, Ocean, Ocean, comes, so about, huh? I'm sorry, if you're talking about ATM Baker. Uh, Barker, a uh, my my favorite video of his was a uh, when he did a, a the, the piece on uh, Oris. Uh, it was a absolutely brilliant, brilliant video. Uh, Which one was that? Uh, he 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 done two. He done two. A, a first very limited a, uh, a release of uh, a couple of Oris watches before Kermit, you know, before all of it came out. It was absolutely amazing. Really? He did some snowboarding yeah yeah if you haven't oh, seen it go back, yeah, go think, back is, it, is that the one where he's brilliant. actually talking while he's snowboarding yeah 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 oh that's i think one. i saw that one that was that's really... what and that was so down to the point that was so honest that was so direct you know and it also was... shows the watch in action you know like yeah, yeah, out yeah. there where it's going to be seen where it's going to you know someone out there should start a channel where they're on you know first class flights or business class flights with their fancy watch because that's where a lot of these watches wind up. Oh, yeah, that's the video. That's the one. So, so here it looks like camera. he's using the, the camera stick, you know. With yeah, the, yeah, the stick, the invisible stick, yeah. Yeah, this is, these are cool shots. But to your point, Oshin, um, I think uh, that echoes what Ed Sheeran and uh, John Mayer were saying yesterday was the, the watch is the sidekick. Right. Um, and it just, it comp you know, you just say, what am I going to wear today? What adventures are going to accompany me? Is it suitable for the purposes of which I'm going to use it for? Um, yeah. So it just reinforces that that uh, tactile relationship you have with the thing on your wrist, which just tells you the time if you're even bothered about it. Right. <laughs> mm. Some people don't even set the time on their watches, Tim, do they? <laughs> I that's not. Oh yeah, I I don't I don't wear watches to tell the time. I, I have wear these. To I have the these out of work. I, I got home and it was like seventeen fucking boxes in my post. And out of work sent me. You know, out of work. You know these. Guys? Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, they sent me a bunch. Of, like, and oh. I don't. I, I wore I wore this one all day today, and I, I still don't know how to fucking. Say oh, these are like the ur work. Uh, no, like they're a, not work. At a yeah. worker or something like that. They're a cheaper, uh, uh, sort of an, um, yeah, cheaper version of Irwin. Wow. Yeah, it's, they're actually kind of nice. Like this is yeah, impressive, futuristic. Yeah. This shit. The tarantula, the tarantula I saw there as well. Yeah, that's the tarantula, isn't it? Oh. Is that the tarantula? I don't know. I'm not sure. Oh, I'm a fucking asshole. I just open this shit and take it out. Now we have <laughs> to, we have to solidify a deal. So I'm not like really pushing it yet. So I want to see what they want to do, but like. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't know how to set the time, but I just wore it as a bracelet all day long. So you're right, Alex. Like <laughs> I looked down at the watch. The great thing about that two hands is you can read the time even in the dark. You, yeah. There's no way you're reading the time on this thing. There it is. That's it. Wow, this is quite impressive. This is like a it's like an art uh art work, basically a star wheel dial. Right? Yeah. 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 Wow. Guys, this is gorgeous. Like on the on the blue spaceship, big hunk of steel. Yeah, I'll stick it on. Hang on a sec. Wow. Yeah. It is, and it's running seconds in the center. 
Yes, the, it's a spinning little huh. thing. It looks really freaky. You can see it moving. Wow. Yeah. All that shit you're looking at is like yeah. sped up. Let's see. Oh, it's not even. It's not even that big. Like it's a reasonable. Like it's a big, bigger watch. But you know, Urwork. Fifty-three. Think, Fifty-three from Lug to Lug. Yeah. I'm a big. I'm a big fucker. You yeah, know? but on you, it looks but perfect. I wonder. I wonder if I could wear it because I think the case curves, O'Sheen, and there's no lugs. It looks there like are no, no lugs. lugs. No, there's like a weird, weird mm. connection there. You see that? Yeah, yeah. Mild, mild resemblance to a Hamilton watch as well, isn't it? Shape wise. Really uh, it, it, the dial actually kind of looks really a lot like the AP Star Wheel right now. Because Star Wheel has those central seconds as well. Is the case curved? No, the case is not curved, dude. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, it's flat. It's... But you know what? It's gimmicky, but it's kind of stylish and cool, you know. I'll put on this red uh, red and black one. I'm not saying I don't like it. You know, I'm intrigued. You know, I'm kind of... Yeah, I'm intrigued too. This is not my kind of thing, but... Oh, let's see. Tim, you want to give me a... Yeah. Oh. Like that one? I got some di different shapes. Oh, okay. This is this is the one that turns like sideways. Mm. Yeah, that's that's nice, but uh, oh. a bit too small for your wrist, man. Everything's too small for me. Negroni says, "Toss them in the river." <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Chris. Uh, Negroni, get off the couch upon the stream. Hop on the stream, Negroni. You and your fucking insane collection. There aren't any Americans there's, on the. There's the last one. Oh, let's, let's see. see it. It's just uh Ooh. Yeah. yeah, look at that. That's quite cool. Yeah. Like the, strap. the strap's cool. Strap's are very nice, isn't it? Wow. Yeah. But it's very Star Trek or something, you know. Beam me yeah. up, Scotty. I, I would steampunk. say this is a modern steampunk. Modern steampunk, that's it, yeah. yeah. Very steampunk. The whole the whole brand is very steampunk. Got us. And and what's the movement? This is like a, a Salid modified Salida. Looks like or? a Salida two hundred, right? SW two hundred. Jeez, look at this! It's quite impressive. They loom up like uh, the loom on these things is nuts. It'd be great if you could just constantly loom it because they look like <laughs> little spaceships or something, you know? Oh yeah, there you go. Look at that. Oh yeah, yeah. It looks yeah. like a, a radio dial, it's like a. You know, like you're tuning on a FM transmitter. Yeah, right. Yeah, or you low wave AM, low wave, right? The guys, the, yes. ha the ham guys, right? Yeah, They're the, the only guys will be able to communicate if there's nuclear war. Like those guys will be talking to each other <laughs> on the low, low band, whatever, long wave. The preppers. There you go. Oh, I love that comment, Ocean. That was absolutely brilliant. Well, I don't know. I missed it. Sorry. It's just that low band, like like comment. You know, that, oh that, yeah, that was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what do you think, guys? AP compared to Atawak. Is that a fair comparison? No, no. But I mean, the AP is probably more fragile. Let's be honest. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> probably. By the way. Buckley, while you were away, bought a Code 1159 green in steel what? and already sold it. What? Yeah. He he, tra he traded it for a Rolex Yachtmaster 42 white gold. A Yachtmaster 42 yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, and get some money back for it as well. Wow. Is that the, a is that the AP bought whilst he was in Italy? Yep. In so, that wasn't so he hadn't even registered. Yeah, so was, where did he get it? Did he go to the boutique in Italy? He yeah yeah in uh, oh, Florence on the bridge. I miss all, oh the Florence one is still open. They're still yeah. open. Wow. Yeah. He got it there at discount. But then when he came to New York, he thought he'll go to AP house. He he made an appointment. He's like, okay, he already bought one AP. He yeah. thought that it'll be helpful to his history, and he wanted sure. to get get on the wait list for like a like you know a stainless steel. Like <clears throat> a Chrono or 15500, something, you know, a Royal Oak. One sure, of a Royal yeah. Oak. Sure. One of a true AP. And they basically told him to get fucked. 
they deleted his um they supposedly deleted his records or they hadn't ever yeah. what yeah. yeah no i understand the first part like maybe too soon too soon slow down dude what, Stop no, he wanted to get way. on the waitlist because he thought, oh, it'll take maybe six to 12 months. He, he had no problem. He's like, hey, no problem. I'll wait six to 12 months, whatever it takes to get a, a 15500 uh, But Didn't the SA say, like, you need to go back to Florence or something? Yeah, it's all because... go back to Florence. <laughs> what the F? Oh, my God. Yeah. I miss that. I've, I've been off the radar, guys. I miss that. That's crazy. It's been mad while you were know he was yeah. even still interested in AP. But not anymore. Okay. AP's, dead oh. to him. AP's dead to him. Fuck. He's going yeah. to war. Yeah. <laughs> AP is a great brand, but... How much was the Code 11? Which one did he get? He got the... Uh, oh, I'll, I'll bring it up. Like, yeah, let's have a look. And the star this guy, this guy dropped fucking how much did he drop? In uh, yeah, but he got uh a, like VAT back. Oh, he got his VAT back. That's yeah, a lot, so, man. Yeah, I don't watch like this. So he actually paid, I think, twenty seven for it. Oh man, that's Which beautiful. Is, yeah. So here it's thirty five US. Uh, but he sold it. But he traded in for thirty thousand. So he's crazy. <laughs> I, that's, I mean, why? Jesus. He was pissed. He's like, uh, he didn't appreciate that they would tell him, like, yeah, yeah, the the history is empty. Like, it's it's like you have never been to AP. When he when he told, like, I, I guess. No, he read it. It, it, it came up on, his, on the website, right? Because the website keeps track yeah. of what you've got in your collection. So you, it comes up on the site. Uh, but also, I think they have like some kind of history. Whenever you check in or talk, whenever you communicate with the uh, with AP uh, sales representatives, they leave like notes for the future sales rep to direct you, like which watch to buy, you know, which which watch this customer is interested in. And mm. I think after after he told him that he bought this one in Florence, the guy said, "Yeah, yeah, you should go back and and do your business there." And Florence is closing soon. Yeah. That's what they told me here in Venice. Don't go to Florence because it's closing soon. That might be why they gave him a watch. Now it's right. Milan, Rome, and Cortina. That's it. Damn. Yeah. I know he he also they told him that they sold an offshore or I think earlier that day. And I think if he got an offshore, he would have kept it. Yeah, offshore would look great yeah. on him. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's the proper AP. Yeah. Um, Code Land fifty nine. It's still yet to find, you know, its roots. They've been increasing. But they should give them kudos. I mean, yeah. they should totally be like, "Yeah, man, you're in the club now." Yeah, that's a way into the club. I mean, hey, it, like because AP, they're they're claiming that they're this brand that's all boutique, right? So they should be centralized, right? Like uh, everything should be under under one it, umbrella. I like, think it is. I'm surprised. I'm surprised by that. Uh -oh. All right, you catfished me. You catfished <laughs> me. There he is. <laughs> Sorry, I missed it. I missed it, Buckley. I've been off the map. I haven't been watching the shows. I didn't realize this happened. I'm fucking yeah. back oh. by six weeks. I, uh, you're you're done with it? Yeah. Buckley's the... Buckley soy rating has gone through the roof. My soy rating's up through the roof. <laughs> but we have we have an army behind us. We have funding. Have Carol Martin. We're gonna. <laughs> oh, Jesus no, Christ! Here, the, the thing that's important to know here, because everyone puts this together and is like, "Well, he should go someplace else and talk to them." Mm. Okay. Two years ago, there's an AP inside of my main uh, AD. They have all the brands. So if you buy some watches from them, you get APs. That's how Q got an AP, right? Yep. Very cool. Okay. You know how AP is. You want the Royal Oak. It's very hard. Check in, check in, blah, blah, blah. So you go once every six months, and they're like, yep, nope, no watch. Yep, yep, no watch. Yep, yep, no watch. So in April, uh, the manager of the AD walked me to the AP area and was like, hey, this guy buys watches from us. Like, he's been working with us for a couple of years. 
you've had him in the computer for a couple of years. Let's make it happen. Which, when they do that, means make it happen. But they're closing. AP is going to leave there, so they're not holding any sort of uh, uh, loyalty, I guess you could say. Right. Yeah. They also always say, you know, keep an open mind to codes and offshores, blah, 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 blah. Keep an open mind. Okay, I kept an open mind. Walk into Florence. They're giving out APs like candy, literally. Because they were closing. They're probably closed by now. She didn't say that they were closing, but yeah. could be. I don't know. They so, told me in Venice to avoid Florence because they were closing down. That's well, what I, there's more. There's more about this. So I, I'm, I'm looking at it. And I'm like, hey, you know what? Hopefully, I don't have a problem if I buy this. And they're like, no, it's no problem. We're AP. We're not a boutique within a boutique. Like this is AP, the brand. You should be fine. Yes. Yeah. Okay. They're like it's seventeen percent off VAT. <sighs> So I'm like, okay, that's a no-brainer. Even if I decide I don't want the watch, I'm not going to get burned. Of course. No problem. Makes sense. Boston Collector approved. Trust me, he was the phone call I made that day. Okay. So I do it. I get back to the U.S. And they gave me an extra strap, which is black. Black looks terrible. And it's sealed. I still have it. I didn't give European Watch Company the strap. Uh, so I bring it in. I'm like, this is going to be a conversation starter. I've been on the list two years. This guy knows who I am. Sure enough, he basically is like, very cool story. I would have done the same thing, but go fuck yourself. Make Florence your store. <laughs> in so many words is what he said. This so is like, a an AP boutique yeah. only? No. no. They have other brands? They're inside of a big AD that has Rolex, Patek, and all the brands. Uh, uh, maybe so he's but... like, he's like, yeah, you've been in the system two years. Get fucked. You know, go work with Florence. I'm like, Florence just sold. Like, what do you want me to do? Like, they made me an offer I couldn't refuse. And you guys are always saying, work with the brand. I'm working with the fucking brand. I bought the code. So I go over. I go over to the AD manager, and he's asking me, hey. Did they get you the Royal Oak yet? I'm like, no. He's like, so why are you over at AP? I'm like, well, I'm going to tell you a story. It's going to knock your socks off. And that guy says, that's horrible. It's disgusting. Tell them to go F themselves. Go into Manhattan and work over there. They'll help you. Okay, great. I go into Manhattan. I speak with an SA. He goes, you have two accounts here. Okay, what what are they? He's like, one is an account in the U.S., which is blank, and the other is an account in Italy, which shows you bought the code. Okay, very cool. Okay. Can I combine them? No, we can't. Why? Because when you buy things abroad, they're abroad. When you buy things here, they're here. Oh. Like, okay, so let's just use the one abroad. So he goes through it. He goes, this is a common problem. They, they take your information off your license and they take a digit or they take a letter off your email and make it different so that AP in the U.S. can't find them. Why would they do that? Because you Americans are going to Europe and all over the world and buying APs because they're not moving as well here as they are in the U.S. So it's a loophole. And they're taking them back to the U.S. and they're selling them for a profit. It's a big, big scandal, I guess you could say, a big flipping scandal. Wow. Like, okay. That's not really, you know, like I'm not, I didn't say this to him, but I'm like, okay, let's just get to the point. This is not really my problem. Um, what can we do? And he goes, well, what you do over there doesn't count for here. So you'd be starting over here. Oh, I'm fuck. Like, I'm like, okay, what does my account say? He says, well, the last time someone entered into your account was the day that the other essay told me to fuck off. And that day, he either started my account for the first time or wipes my account clean to be spiteful. Is that possible? Is there a function? Oh, I'm sure there is. Is, is your Italy account still good? No, it means nothing in the U.S. No, but is it good in Italy? Not, not, like, he sold the like watch. It, if you, oh, you sold the watch. Well, 
if you flew over to Milan, because I'm still good with them in Milan, because they, they closed here after they gave me my diver, and they're like, there's our card. Whenever you're in Milan, call us. We'll close the store down, make sure that we have drinks and everything. You want to fly to Milan, we'll have fucking lunch, and we'll go to AP together. Like, are you good in Italy? And go, hey, I was in Florence. They They told me... The first guy who was being an asshole and was being spiteful said, make them your store. I said, I'm not going to Italy for a watch. He said, they'll ship it. They do it all the time, even though they're not supposed to. It was a very adversarial us versus them. So this whole AP, when you're with AP, you're with AP. It's just like Rolex. You're with the fucking store. Otherwise, you get lost. They don't That's like fucked it. up. So I'm like, so Oshin, technically... I don't know what would happen. You bought it in Venice. If you were to go, I don't know, to Paris, they would say, start over. Your offshore means nothing. Get in line. It, with sounds, it sounds like it. Sounds so like it. Like, I'm, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, this is a company for two years has been telling me at multiple places, oh, we'll just check in that you were here. Thanks for coming by. This is a company that deleted my account. This is a company that made a fake account. This is a company who just told me to get F. Do you know what I'm going to do with this company? I'm in the green. I'm going to trade it back into the best company, which is Rolex. That's it. Like, you know what? Because I did the math. I'm like, okay, so what does it take to get a Royal Oak? It takes an offshore and it takes a code. That's 80000 You could just buy a 15202 for 80000 What's the fucking point? Gray market. So it's like it's done. Like, like you're a ridiculous company. You make nice watches, but get fucked. They're freaking beautiful, but they're very fragile. You know, Buckley, tell tell him about the Code Lamb Fifty Nine that you 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 traded in. They had a similar oh, one. I got a so I know what O'Sheen's going to enjoy the most, which is the rant I did on the gray market. But we'll get to that. So, <laughs> oh, Jesus, I, I need to trade. I, that. I, I took uh I took the code and I started last Friday looking for trades Rolexes that I get at a price that Rolex will never sell to me. For that price, right? Yeah. The big guys were offering 29, 30, 30 and a half, 28 respectable prices, right? Because I'm in the green. Anything over uh 20, like 28 and change, but let's call it 29. I'm in the green. Very cool. Marco Nicolini offered 23. Ooh. That's and that's a bit brutal. Yeah. Multiple, multiple people. That are like Marco, 22, 23, 21 and a half. So don't sell your watch to Marco Nicolini. He could get fucked for all I'm, con you know, like don't, you're not going to bend our community over the barrel, Marco. Get fucked. So I, uh, long story short, I traded it with European watch company. They gave me 30 grand and they gave me this for 28. So they sent me the watch, two grand. So I wound up. They gave me this. Show me what this is. What's this? Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, you! Oh, you got the fucking yacht forty-two white gold. Yeah, I hate you right now. I so I got this one. watch for twenty-seven. It came out to, and it's a retail of thirty thousand five hundred before tax. After tax in New York, it's like, and you got money back. Yeah, so I wound up getting this watch. You won. You won. You won. I won. You won. I won. But had I bought that AP in the U.S. and paid tax, I would have gotten murdered. And I'm uh, 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 Tim. Put me full screen. Look behind me. There you go. I'm, I'm an AP hey. whore. I'm an AP whore, but you won. You won, dude. Because that, that okay. yacht. Oh, and 42. Ah. I like you. Can, you, know, you can minimize me now. It's fine. I like AP. I like AP watches, but the brand, it's like right now. I'm not dealing with them. Like you, you know yeah. what? This 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 Rolex Yacht Master. That's like a Rolex version of uh, uh, Offshore, right? Rubber strap. That's one of the, the best diver Rolex. for a bigger guy. That's one of the best Rolex you can get. Is yeah. that the same as Eddie's watch, or did he get it in the rose gold on the oyster? Flats? Eddie's in yellow gold. Eddie's is in yellow. Yellow yeah. gold. Yellow gold. I prefer yeah. the watch. Nice watch. Sorry. Nice watch. Really it's a nice watch. I could never buy it retail because, like I said, it'd be almost seven thousand more than I paid. Yeah. So we're at that point too. Like people need to realize, you don't need to necessarily play the AD game. Precious metal watches, when you factor in tax, if you have to pay tax, yeah. you could be as much as twenty percent below 
with a reputable gray market dealer like like European watch company you know so uh, you got to really weigh hmm. uh what you're doing and if it's worth it and for me you're telling me to start over why would I buy another code I have one nobody let me ask you code. something though I have a couple of questions do you mind sure first of all on the AP website you register you sign in you sign up like you become you know and then they have your watches that you've bought is your code still in there have you done that it's in there yeah okay secondly this insurance new insurance this two-year thing and you got the slip i assume you got the envelope with the fucking two-year mm -hmm. like uh like stolen or or repairs thing right the two-year thing did you ever register that? Did they you do registered that? It, they took my passport and registered it for me. Right uh, there in the store. Right there. But yeah. they got they purposefully on the account and the registration put a letter or a digit off on the passport card. And that's their like little thing they do when you come from America because they know when you go back, you're blacklisted with America. It doesn't help you. You have to start oh. over. So I have two accounts with AP. One is blank, which now has a Royal Oak over in, uh, what is it, AP house with some guy who inherited my account. And the other is just a code 1159 that was bought in Florence, which is just floating with, I think there's a letter off of my name is what they did. Something like wow. that. So it's shady. It's not, you know, in Italy too. Um, well, me and Oshin one day, not to bore everybody, but we could talk about Italy versus the U.S. because I found a lot of things in Italy which are super interesting yeah. that you can't find here. But the way that they were trying to push the watches was it would Not never good. happen in the U.S. You would never – like when I went into Vacheron with Ponte Vecchio, I'm like, you guys mm -hmm. don't have any overseas, but if you do, I'd love to see one because, of course, you don't have any overseas, right? I'm going to watch as a Switzerland. They tell me a two-year wait for a black one. Right. He goes, what are, you, what are you talking about? Yes, I do. Comes out with a crate. Not a crate, but a little watch box with six slots. Black, black dual time, black chrono. Silver, silver dual time, silver chrono. Ooh, fuck. What you weren't tempted? What the fuck's going on? Go across the street to uh, Rolex. You guys don't have any watches, right? No, no. Have a seat. Sit down. What do you have? We have rose gold this, rose gold this, white gold this, rose gold this. What the fuck's going on? Yeah. What's well, up? Go gold, yeah. So then I couldn't find any yellow gold in the whole country. I couldn't even find it on the wrist of people. Okay. So it was just interesting. It was interesting. But with AP and Rolex also, who was on yesterday? Was it MJ? Yes. Was but did MJ say it? Somebody said something about Rolex. Um, so didn't say. Didn't somebody say something about a Rolex that they wouldn't give the receipt from the AD to the customer with their name on it? What? There was somebody in either the community stream or your stream said. I don't think it was MJ, but it was somebody. A AP wouldn't give. Where they wanted to get the receipt so that yeah. when they got to the airport, they could do the VAT. Right. And the, the AD did not want to put their name on the receipt because of flipping. What? The, they didn't want them to get the VAT back. Holy so shit. You can get the VAT back if you get the, uh, what is it? Not Blue Shield, but Global Blue. Uh huh. They, they send you the Global Blue and you just scan it. But the actual receipt part, they didn't want their name. They didn't want the customer to have their receipt on the name. And they also don't give out white tags. Jesus. So the conspiracy theory is based on what I found out about AP and what I found out about Rolex is because of that huge VAT and the fact you can just walk through customs and not pay tax. The flipping. The flipping is, yeah, because you, nothing to declare, right? You just walk through with it on your wrist, right? Yeah. And and the ADs, they don't want to give the receipt. They don't want to give the tags because that's what rolex could use to blacklist them to identify them yeah they want to sell to cu yeah. customers that are using this the vat cashback loophole to yeah. to get a little bit extra money Fuck. hey we just got a few super chats here nathaniel hannon if you want to join us link is in the chat also
five dollars. Great super to see jet. Nathaniel, actually. Yeah. I, I was trying on his watch in Dublin. They had it in Weirs. His exact uh, watch, forty nine thousand euros. They want for it. That's about fifty two, fifty three in dollars. Wow, yes. crazy! But it was sickly, fucking incredible. It, Love it. Best, it's the best speedmaster on the market. Yeah. Period. It yeah, is. it's the best high level in the sense yeah. that if you want to go for the old, you want to go for the the uh, CK two nine one five. With the three, two, one movement, oh. of scratch with the ghost, ghost fucking bezel, and the, you want to get old school? That's cool. Yeah. But if you want the most modern and glorified speedy, that's the one. Yeah. Which one's that? Yeah, which one is that? The three, two, one. Yeah. The, the, and what? No, the the new one. Uh, sorry, uh, yellow gold. Yellow gold. Oh, yellow gold. With yes, yes. Panda yeah. with the panda dial, the gold dial. Not Amazing. black or green. And by the way, that green is so dark, it may as well be black. It may as well be black. So forget mm. the green. Forget yeah. the green. It's not the, the speedy John Mayer, as everyone was saying. The photos on the website are deceiving. It's, it's dark. so dark, it may as well be black. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It just is. They, they could have been a lot more success. That watch would have been a lot more successful if they if actually brighter had green. full-on ripped off John Mayer. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, the, there's the rose gold one, which I had on last week on my mm -hmm. live stream with, with uh, Elton in Dublin. Uh, fucking amazing. Yeah. Because it's set in the gold, rose gold. That's fine. But the one, the one is f what Nathaniel has. That, that is top level. 49,000 euros they want. It looks like Paul Newman dial. So the, the panda look, it's yeah. just gold dial. It's sexy. It's, yeah, it's wow. insane. And the weight of the watch is fucking it's so heavy. Uh, yeah. Looks like Nathaniel is on the plane heading home finally for the weekend. Unicorns and rainbows. Thank nice. you, Nathaniel. And PG ten dollars super chat. Tim, you say the APs are so fragile, but my my great grandfather wore his coat in the trenches. It has never been serviced and still runs great. AP is the best. There you go. I mean, so, you know. one day retro has a has a point here. He's half right, half wrong. So he wrote AP USA don't want to deal with Yanks going to Europe, buying them cheaper, bringing them home, flipping them. Ironic that it got proved right. Yeah. That's not why they do it. The reason they do it was from what they told me at AP, which is the most ironic thing mm -hmm. in the world, because it's completely against what they always tell everybody, is unless it's the Royal Oak, the watches are not selling in Europe. So in Europe, they're getting they're they're pawning them off to people like me who are used to, hey, we only make fifty thousand watches, you're never gonna get a watch. And then you go into Ponte Vecchio and they tell you every week we put five, six watches out in the case of the Royal Oak. I love the way Ponte Vecchio is part of his lexicon there. That's fucking cool. <laughs> <laughs> Buckley. Italy. Ponte Vecchio. I love that, uh, that AP have a, uh, was it Vacheron or AP, have a fucking store on the Ponte Vecchio. Do you, oh. you guys know what he's saying? It's a store on the bridge. It's yeah. on the bridge. There's a fucking store on the bridge. Same with it's reality. It, it's straight out of a fantasy film. Fantasy yeah. film, yeah. Both both of them have a store, but it, it's more like the flipping was a problem, but mm -hmm. now it's a different problem, which is they're having trouble selling the watches. Like myself, Boston Collector, uh, Father Artifact, and MJ all went to Italy within four weeks of each other. All of us were offered on a low end four or five precious metal watches up to 20, 25 watches each at different places. I went to six. No, I went to eight Rolex ADs. Six of them had watches to offer me. They were all in precious metal. You went so, to eight Rolex ADs in Italy? Yeah, because there are four You're in Rome. You're a madman. There are four in Rome, right? Were you there, by yourself or with the wife? With she the wife. But in, the, in the good touristy areas, there's always a Rolex. So it's like easy. You don't have to okay. Okay. search them out. So I'm fascinated. By this. In in Rome, in Rome, there was you four. Monster. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I Boston Collector was hyping me up. He's like, "We're gonna get a watch. You watch. We're gonna get one." So, and I could have went to more if I planned better. I could have hit like twelve, but 
I hit eight just walking. Because Ponte Vecchio, you got two. Rome, you had four. Venice, you have two. Uh, I walked right by one in Siena, didn't know. I walked right by one in Pisa, didn't know. Uh, missing a city here. Florence. Siena has a fucking Rolex idea. I don't even know. I made a video on Siena. I don't even know. They have a Rolex, so you just kind of go right through them, no problem. And it was just like a joke. Like if I find a day date or I find this, I'm going to buy it because it's a humongous Mm -hmm. discount. Huge. I would have got the day date at like 30,000. Now, how does that work? How do you claim that? So you pay the money up front. And then on your on the flight back, you get a voucher. You get some. How does it work? When you buy the watch, the dealer sets it up for you, mm-hmm. and they they usually have you download uh, Global Blue, uh-huh. which is a little thing you scan. And then once you scan it and they approve the paperwork, you get it back to your bank account or your credit card within a week, two weeks, like wow. immediately. The thing is, here's the loophole in the U.S. and it is what it is. If you don't say anything when you walk in, they're not asking any questions. Same everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. So one could walk into Manhattan and say, hey, I'd love a rose gold GMT. And they say, guess what? That's a two-year wait. And then you go to Italy and you meet Boston Collector and Capri and all of a sudden. What's happening? What's happening what's right now? 42,000 euros, you're getting 17% off and you're not paying any state tax. Who's winning? Right? Right. Loophole. So Loophole. it's, but the thing is in, in Italy and I've heard in Greece, they were talking about today. It's not the flipping. It's the countries themselves don't have the customer base to buy those watches for there's three reasons. Yeah. Greece three reasons. doesn't. Greece doesn't. Greece, Greece and Eastern Europe don't don't sell enough of their watches to maintain their accreditation so yeah. what they end up doing they're selling in they sell it into the london market yeah. at trade price just so they can maintain their rolex status yeah um uh you have to paul re uh, rose reboot the stream rose, something reboot is wrong you, with man. your audio There's yeah something going on. I, I put the link in the chat i put the link just reboot it reboot it start start from reboot the beginning it, almost sounded like hey, and yeah, we got a uh, big super oh, chat here from carlos ramirez 20 dollars. thank you so much carlos i'm gonna get a drink for this i have a rolex story he says he dropped off an oyster quartz for service even though it was running great he wanted to have it serviced and the brace and the bracelet right. is worn and the case crystal has a couple of scratches so he wanted it like you know a bracelet maybe you know uh, 10k cleaned up it says the, they because quoted me 10k. What? Yeah, because it's, it's considered vintage. That's extremely vintage Rolex. You're going back. I mean, oyster quartz. You're going back 50 years. So you yeah. have to be aware of that. You're going back they into. They dropped the support for it, didn't they? Yeah. So yeah. keep that in mind. Just bring it to a regular place, a regular yeah. little fucking watch store that have that like, swap it batteries. They'll check it for you if it's corroded in any way or any oxygen or liquid got inside. They'll clean that out and they'll put in a new battery and it'll cost you a hundred bucks. That's it. Don't send it back to Rolex because they have a certain standard. Omega are the same. There's a standard that they have to uphold and that's what you're getting yourself into. Yeah. This sounds like it was going to be a full-on overhaul, but still. Oh my God! Yeah, they have to bring it back to where it was when it was first sold. It's the whole point of servicing from the actual original. Yeah, man, ten thousand. My God, that's even. I don't know. Maybe maybe because they wanted to change the movement. I mean, he says the movement was running great. But I bet like it had a it has some something more to it. I would love to see the quote. Carlos, if you can email me the quote, I'll you can blame. Yeah, let's out. have a look at it. Yeah, I would love to see it. If you still have a copy, the email is hello at timwright.com. Uh hey, Paul, Paul, you're on. Oh, okay. right. so, so my question was uh, I'll I'll be on later, but are, are we arguing about Rolex or are we arguing about AP? We're not arguing about anything. AP. AP. Okay. So I got 
I've been thinking about our. It's been a week. I've it's been, been thinking a week. About this. You made a legendary appearance one week ago today. Yes. And I appreciate you all for forgiving me. The and, greatest stream of all time. Yeah. Uh, look, look. At the end of the day, look. Look, I love I love Buckley, but I think he's missing the plot. Mm -hmm. Let's get so. I was thinking about his, his experience, and I've been thinking about what everybody's been saying about that experience and mm -hmm. trying to figure out why it went wrong and who's to blame. It's, it's super simple. I know where you're going to go, Paul, but I don't think you do. I don't think you do. I think I think there's one thing you don't know about how this works at the high end ADs. And, and I think Boston's going to come in the chat and defend me on this. I don't mean to put him on the spot, which is at the, at the, let's take, take Rolex out, out of the mix for a second. The really, really high end boutiques, they are fighting and they are hiding. They are, they are hustling and, and stealing the salespeople from all, from each other, right? And the premium is not on selling watches. And their mandate is not to sell watches. It's to bring new people into the brand. That is what matters. And so when you went to AP the second time, you weren't new to the brand. And I, you think this revolves around the brand. And it doesn't. It revolves around the individual that brings you into the brand. And so the second guy that you spoke to, once you're in the system, and I actually, I think he lied to you. We'll see. I think he lied. But once you're in the system, you're someone else's girl. Like, it doesn't matter. This guy has no reason to do anything for you. Well, then I you think that's where it went south. So you then there's a few things that I would say here, which is, yeah. well, the main thing then is what, what you're saying is no matter what I was going to do, I was effed until this AP is gone and that sales guy is gone. No, 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 no. It has nothing to do with the. You just so, said I was someone else's girl and they're not going to touch me. Did you not? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like you, you. But, but it's also who you go into the, so you went into the brand with the wrong guy. Yes. That'll give you hundred and you're, and you're fucked. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. No, no, no. You make a valid point there. hundred percent. That's why when you're going to, when you're dealing, when you're going into a boutique and you want to start a relationship, you have to make sure you're starting your relationship with the, the most senior well, staff there. It's someone fucking who's hard. Not doing That's hard. And That's the right hard criticism. to know. The right, it's the hard right to know. Criticism, the right criticism Buckley could say, and he's going to say it in a second when I get off, to say, well, that's all, that's bullshit. Like, knowing who the right guy is and the right people and the right friend intro and meet the right guy is fucking bullshit. And he's right. But this. doesn't mean it's not true. Doesn't it's mean it's not. True. You're, you're, you're right. It's not. Doesn't mean it's not true. But yeah. here's here's where I, here's let me put this out there, Paul, and for everybody, because I know there's a lot of people that are going to AP, especially New York next week. They have their all their appointments. They think they're going to get in there. Here's the thing. When I first met AP, it was only because they were within the mothership of my regular ad right. and it was two and a half years ago at this point yeah. right so if you go back two and a half years what was happening 12 months prior to that we had gone it had been right before covid right and this place still had royal oaks in the case yeah so it's like at that point in my thinking i hadn't met anybody here what the fuck did i know yeah. what the fuck the other thing too is I went through the mental list I know of, of everybody who's gotten a Royal Oak as their first watch on in the Timmy universe. Steel That's Royal Oak. crazy. Watch. There are two people in five Bright years. Blue. Bright Blue. Bright Blue had a connection, though. Oh, Bright he got a blue one, one too. Bright, Bright Blue had a, No, connection. Bright Blue had a connection. I saw that whole episode. Yeah. Yep. And OC, yeah. who also had a connection from a guy who has bought nine APs.
Right, exactly. Paul, like you said yeah, last me too. week. Paul, like you said stream. last week. A, get about, out of here. It's about who you know. I was fucked from day one. I didn't know anybody. That's what I'm uh, saying. That's what I'm saying, Bookley. Now, now that we get beyond the next point, I'm I'm no one. I'm sure Bright Blue's connection was a bigger week than me. But if you come back over to Italy and we fucking have dinner and drinks yeah. in Milan, where my girl is, who she gave me her card, she's like, "You let me know when you're back into it." Because you know, she handed me handed me all the stuff, and she she's like, "When you're coming back into Milan to see your daughter." You uh, call me ahead of time, and I'll make sure the store is yours. And you know, uh, you come over. We we do lunch. We go, and I'm like, "This is my boy. He has a code from Florence. I have my fucking diver. What do you got?" Yeah. No. Yeah. Look, I'm gonna. I'm going. Dean's got a guy. We all got a guy. I'm going someone's got. I mean. I'm we not all a guy go. like bright, bright blues guy is clearly huger than me. But and you're, we'll you're, if you're, I can play any small role of the guy, you're also in the Italian system. That's what I'm saying. You, if the, if I'm in the Italian system, is what's just true. Yeah. Let, um, let me say they, this. They don't. Be... They don't know that you sold that thing, right? And they're not apparently. Apparently, what is that? they're not going to find out. And here's why. And I don't know this to be a hundred percent true. Mm -hmm. You have to read through AP's terms and conditions very, very carefully. Uh -huh. That two-year thing that they're doing, yes, they don't necessarily have to pay if the watch gets stolen, and they don't necessarily have to follow any of that. Oh, I'm you sure. have to look at the country of origin you bought the watch and what the rules are. That watch being sold here to the next person and registered, it may be out of Italy's jurisdiction completely. And the two of mm, they're, they're fucked. They're fucked. Like, com, like, there's nothing AP will do for them because it was purchased in Florence, and they're the second end user. Right. Buckle. What's that moment? Let me Buckle. say. Let me Buckle. say one more. One more thing, and then I'll get off. I'll be on later. Uh, yeah. My 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 wife, who's appreciates watches, owns great watches. But she's yeah. not into it. I forced her to sit through the last half of the uh, the Hodinky video. It's a fucking hour yeah it's big so i had to ask her i got 30 minutes left would you mind big if i favorite. watched it and so she watched it and she looked at and she doesn't know watches and she looked at me and she said it's a fucking ad for ap that's what i said oh what? and she what? doesn't know watches. Oh, oh, oh. she doesn't i know missed watches. that i missed that what what did she say it's just a fucking ad for ap oh that's 100 percent. yeah I thought it was an advert for the G for Ed Sheeran's uh, G Shock that he launched. Yeah. Hey, so just no, just I mean, really quickly here, guys, we have to yeah. shout out to America for this massive fifty dollars super chat. <laughs> Buckley oh. buying a platinum day date will make everything better. <laughs> I'm sure it will, America. I'm sure it will. Just me, buy a platinum day right. date and relax. Can can we just uh, can we just point once, out once that you put, once you once you put platinum on your wrist, you you realize your wrist is. Not fit for any other metal. Anyways, I'll be back later. I, <laughs> I gotta like get a bottle guy. of rosé. We'll talk later. Right. Okay. Like Dan, <laughs> Dan, can you do something with your light because you you're freaking me out. You, it's like completely trans. You, your body seems quite translucent with that strong light behind you. <laughs> Oh, guys, no, unless, you're, okay. unless you're right. unless you're getting your Halloween uh, outfit uh, ready. <laughs> okay. Tim, Tim, also, also, I think uh, this could be a another a uh, maybe a super chat for us to find out what did your roommate just pour into your your whiskey glass? Oh, you know this? what? I'll, what was this? I'll reveal it. This was. Oh, by the way, thank you, David H, for gifting ten memberships. Whoa. Thank you so much, David. I really appreciate it. This was this is Mascal that uh, Carson Chrono gave me for. Uh, reaching 1,000 uh, episodes of the stream, so I'm I've been savoring it since Mescal. then. Mescal is a beautiful thing, man. And by the way, guys, we got the email. Got the email uh, for the the pricing. I have it right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull it up pricing in just a second. Pricing uh, for you know the Carl Carlos's the 10,000. This one, uh, the quote, the quote. 
Oh. For the Oyster Quartz uh, service. Oh, oh, I see. Yeah, I'm going to show it to you guys in just a second. I had a, I had a poll running here uh, because I was sent this really interesting chart which goes through different countries and what people in those countries are most interested in in watches, right? For example, China, it's all about that brand image, right? Mm -hmm. When you go to France, it's price value ratio. Same thing, Germany, right? Hong Kong, br uh, brand image. India, brand Isn't image. Italy's Italy is brand image, of course. No, Italy, it says price value ratio. Oh, come followed on. Followed by brand image. And no, then the Italians are so vain. They're so vain. They have to have the brand. Right. I don't believe that for a second. Yeah. I Can love you... my Italians, but like they, they're so obsessed with brand. Oshin, mm. every grown man in Italy has a moon swatch. Yeah, I saw so many older men. Older men have the moon swatch. I've never seen so many moon anymore. swatches. In groups, yeah, like three and four, three, four guys having a cigarette. They have moon swatches. The fuck? Yeah, because yeah, they just pick them up. It was easy for them. You, you can, you can be sure they have a sick collection behind it. But they don't care. They'll just do the thing. No, the Rolex is Rolex dominates in this. Uh, Patek, Rolex, and Aubameyang. Aubameyang is like is the king here. It's like you know that friend you've known for forty years. You want to give him a. a fucking gift you give them a patek or no matter everyone else gets a, a rolex for the when they graduate and so on it's crazy because panerai is a is a brand but they won't touch it it's too big and it's associated with fascism and all that stuff so they won't go near it fucking rolex is it's almost like no other brand exists like rolex do you have a watch do you have a rolex or do you not that's it mm. fucking crazy Rolex is everywhere. Stable. You saw you you came to Venice, right? I okay, so two things about Venice. I'm pretty sure you told me a story that you had a private taxi driver who had a Batman. Right? I don't know, maybe. I okay. don't know. Well, we got it, we had a taxi uh driver um, that took us to our hotel. Mm -hmm. oh, the guy starts loading the shit up. He's wearing a Batman, an oyster. Damn. Stefano. Was his name Stefano? I have no idea. But okay. I was like, I wonder if this is the guy. <laughs> it, could, it, it could be because I know a lot of the taxi Small drivers. town. 200, 288 uh, taxi drivers here. I know about younger. 50 of them. He was younger, and uh, he had a Batman on oyster. And then I was walking, Ooh, and in cool. the window, there was a, a – uh, I think it was a 14060M. It looked nice. And I'm like, what is this? vintage watch repair guy first thing the guy says is oh you're american you like watches do you know my friend oshin o'malley <laughs> i'm like uh -oh. no i never heard of him <laughs> small town very small town man super cool guy him and his sister with the dog oh well then you met maya uh, the dog is maya and yeah. you met uh, uh gloria she's beautiful right mm -hmm. it, it was um, um they had like, I don't know, 15, 20 watches for sale. He showed me his his like 200 year old. Uh, they have like 500 text. watches for sale, but 15 or 20 that interests you. Show you yeah. yeah. Nathaniel Hannon, $5 super chat. Guys, Buckley, why? Uh, Buckley, you say you won't go back to Italy to buy a watch, but why the heck not? not. Italy is an amazing town. Worked at the, uh, this is a great Worked point. The first time. Worked at the great, so, yeah, both of you. Yeah. yeah listen. Point. Dude, come back over. If your history in Italy is still good, we'll meet in Milan. Let's fucking have lunch. Let's go fucking shop you at Canali and Bolgi. And let's pick you up a nice fucking whatever you want, a shirt or a fucking coat. Let's fucking go eat. And let's go over. I'll book an appointment at AP. I'm so in. And you are too. Let's fucking rock it out. What? Listen, Italy was absolutely amazing. I there's you don't need to twist my arm to go back. That's there right. You do it. Twist, uh, the best food I've ever eaten. Let's oh, go for yeah. P2 Almo, Buckley. Where did you where did you go? I didn't catch up with you. I'm sorry if the crowd all already heard this. I was what in what uh, town? I was in Rome. Oof. And then I was in Sorrento. And in Sorrento we hit Capri and we hit Amalfi. 
Nice. And then I was in Florence, and in Florence we hit Pisa. Get a steak. Did you get a steak in Florence? Oh my god, amazing! Dude, the I'm Fiorentina, on. the fucking yeah, three amazing. Inch. yeah, absolutely amazing. And then from there we went to Venice. But when I was in Florence, when we went in, they were like, "You're at the wrong hotel. You have to go to our sister hotel because uh, we have a travel agent in the family who booked everything for us." And I stayed at the horological hotel. I had no idea that I was going to be staying there. Walk in, all these vintage Rolex parts all over the walls, vintage Rolexes. I'm like, what the fuck is this? A watch hotel? And they look yeah. really stupid because they're like, Are, it says horological hotel, you American moron. <laughs> and I look at it, I'm like, no, it says lorological. Yeah, fuck face. That means watch. <laughs> well, the L is the, the. That her so they marry it, you know. Wait a minute, wait a minute. They were Laura, more... Lord to go. Laura, they... Laura. Yeah. That's yeah. your interpretation. They were a little more civil than that, right, uh, Buckley? Oh, yeah. They were very nice. Okay. But then they're like, yeah. our owner, our owner is the biggest vintage watch collector in Europe. He has 2,500 pieces. They're obsessed here. They're obsessed. So, what about, what about Venice? Where did you stay here? Oh, Car Carasegro, Carasegro, something like that. Uh, Canaleggio. It was Is that really the area, cool. Canaleggio. That was the area, but the actual hotel was like a uh, one of the oldest hotels in Venice. Um, <sighs> That's tall order. Oh no, I think you Jesus said, Christ, America two 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 eight two three six fifty dollars super chat again, Buckley, Buckley. Platinum will make your blood pressure go down. Go it down. will cure your brain worms. Add six inches to your height. These statements have not been evaluated by FDA. The play date is not intended to cure or treat any disease, especially those suffering on the Long Island. Oh, hey. Dude, and we're going to Long Island. Uh, uh, was it the what's what's the, the Long Island Jewelers? Tomorrow is tomorrow, the big tomorrow. show. Yeah. Okay, I don't remember the name of the hotel, but it was okay. very, 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 very old. Sure. And right across the way was the the uh, what is it? The food market. Oh, Ray Oh, oh I Ray know, Ray. I know where you stayed. Yeah, it, they Thanks, had. Ray um, Ray. Yeah, yeah, dude, I know exactly where you say it. I was supposed to play piano in that fucking big room there that they have. Yeah, that's that's great. Yeah, it's very it's very commercial and stuff. That, but it's good. It's still good, man. It's fucking the cool. Best time in Venice is between like yeah. six and eight a.m. Between six and eight a.m. when the sun's going up and there's nobody, it's the best time in Venice. Of course, yeah. yeah. Um. By the way, guys. Yourself. I'm gonna end the poll. I had this this poll running here. I was trying to see what kind of watch community are we, and apparently, uh, we are like neck and neck between price value retention and design. Those got thirty eight and thirty six percent, and then brand image got only nineteen, and longevity got only seven. That's why we love APs. They don't last long. <laughs> so there we go. Okay, guys, you ready to see this shocking freaking um, service cost thing? What's it called? Uh, service? It, uh, service estimate, right? Service estimate cost. Boom. Look at that. Check this out. It's, it's so Excuse weird. Excuse me. I'm going to go get a heart. Wait a so. minute. Okay, okay. 120, 135, 533, and then... 9400 for unknown what the fuck is yeah, that? What the <laughs> yeah i don't uh, i don't get the math what is this math a hundred thousand plus a hundred thousand plus 500 Tax equals nine thousand what yeah. the hell yo that's some no, that doesn't stuff. make sense i mean they're saying service slash supply total How so i'm guessing they're these are the supplies that they're gonna need and then and then the service. The service cost nine thousand four hundred. That's messed up. No, no way. I don't. I don't get it. On the quartz watch. Yeah. Or are they going to replace the entire head of the watch? 
I think oh. they're, they're maybe they're trying to replace the entire body, like the case head. Yeah. and the head. No, I yeah. think bracelet and head. I mean, it's for nine thousand, watch. Yeah, for nine thousand four hundred, I would expect to get to keep the movement same and get the entirely new body and bracelet. Is this RSC? Uh, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh, yeah let me show you this. Let me show you the top. There's more no, stuff here. Man. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I got the top. I got the the rest. Okay, here you we go. Buy another one for that price. Yeah. Oh, whoa! There's some cool stuff here. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait, 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 wait. Let me show you this stuff. You're gonna love this shit, guys. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Let me pull this up. Okay, I, I was missing. So, so th those are the parts, and then. Here's the here's the work. Complete oh, okay. overhaul. 1600. The then module. Re replacement bracelet. They were gonna replace, gonna replace they, the whole watch. Yo. Yeah, they're building him a new watch. Yeah, yeah. they're What's billing that? you. This that's is not it. a polishing job. They're giving an entirely new fresh bracelet. That's uh, that's ridiculous. Changing everything. And then bez uh, buff the bezel, refinish the case, and repair case middle part. What is that? Four hundred case middle part. Nah. Oh, I mean, by the way, look at this. Perform complete overhaul. So they got watch analysis. Says Cyclops worn. Cyclops. So the Cyclops is worn out. The dial spotted. There's some spots on the dial. Loom. Loom has been worn out. Movement is worn out. Bezel is worn out. Crystal glass chipped. Case middle part. Corroded. Oh, yeah, but we no. love that. Like, anybody into Speedmasters? Like, we love that oh, yeah. shit. Yeah. yeah. As character. What the fuck? Yeah. You Cr leave that. You leave that shit on there. Crown worn case back damaged and bracelet is worn. That's insane. Wow. Holy shit. This is, they're overcharging. You know what? Sometimes these brands don't know what we love. Yeah. Their, their brands. <laughs> like, dude. Like, that's all character to the watch. Yeah. That's not right. It's no. no. This is this is messed up. This should oh. not be. Yeah, you, you shouldn't be like. All he needs is replace the crystal. And what you want is because they're, they're charging you for the overhaul. Okay, this is the problem. You don't want the overhaul. Okay, there's no overhaul, but there's poss there's a possibility that on this old watch, that's the only thing that they could do for you. They might not even say, "Oh, we we can't offer you to refinish the case." All right? Because this is what you want. You don't want repairing the case middle part cuz this is going to this is like laser welding, right? They're going to fill in all of those uh, co corroded parts or whatever whatever happened to to it. Uh, they're going to replace the bezel um yeah this is way too much cost here replace bracelet yeah you don't want you don't want replace the bracelet you want uh to polish it like polish it or brush it like refinish it a little bit and then complete overhaul they're char they're basically selling him an entirely new module that's crazy this is just an estimate, right? Yeah. This is he didn't suck into. No, no, no. He, he I don't think he went. Is, you didn't go for it, right? Because for this money, you can literally buy. Well, I think. Hang on. What does the watch look like currently? Is my question. Oh yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, Carlos, could you send us the image of the watch? I'll pull like, it up on the maybe screen. Maybe this yeah. is all. Maybe this is all warranted. Well, let's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe. You, you never know. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. If it looks, if it looks like my face, I just. Uh, Give it up and buy a new oh, 100 grand easy. Oh, my God, Daniel. I, I just understood the joke when, when you said, let, let me go get a heart pill. Because <laughs> I said it's going to be so shocking, guys. Just wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Daniel's like, delay, oh, yeah. Delay, delay reaction. Delay reaction. Yo, okay. okay. I get it. I get it. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Uh, Billy, thank you so much for $2. Says That's not an official Rolex service detail. No, it is official. Yeah. Uh, it is an official Rolex thing. It's expensive. Yeah. Tim. Uh, this is what this is what it says on top. Let me show you. It says Rolex. Let's see. Yeah. It's like, huh? See. Rolex. 
Rolex World Service. I, I'm just trying to be. I, I, I'm not. I, I don't want to show the entire image because it has a lot of like his personal information. Uh, it's got his stuff. So there you go. We're yeah. being careful here. Okay. Damn. What a disaster. Uh, this is not an official role, so you would have to, the logo on top of the page. I did, yeah. It, it, oh, I just, I just uh, didn't have it because it has the address. So, yeah, crazy stuff. America says this watch sounds like it was put through a wood chipper before sent to RSC. Well, they make it sound like it would. It did definitely. Yeah, crystal worn. Everything is worn out. Come on. Yeah, could be. Bala says there's an oyster quartz that's unpolished, uh, like new condition on Chrono for 12,000. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yeah, that's the ridiculous part of all of this, uh, this hobby. And, and like, that was actually the question I had next is because, let's see, it, your reference number, the serial. Okay, let's, let's, let's try to find a similar watch on Chrono. I'm just. <coughs> uh, 12,000, huh? Yeah. It's uh, M17013. Rolex. See. Oh, wait. Is it two tone? Oh, my God. If it's two tone, that would be insane because these go for 6,000. That's insane. What's the quartz? Yeah, they put you in a position where it's like pay or throw the watch out. Yeah, dude. Remember, like how we were talking about the the beauty of of watches that they hold their value, even if you have to service it. It's the what the value over time still goes up. Not. Uh, this. Yeah, this is not the case here. These oyster quartz are. Yeah, you know what? Now, now that I see this. Uh, I would highly recommend that uh, OC uh, get get rid of his because <laughs> he's got he's got a he's got quite a few of those scores. Okay, so here we go. All right, that's the current condition. Yes. Oh my God! Okay. Forget it. What's yeah. wrong with that? Nothing. Give me a break. Dude, it's fine. Are you serious? I thought the watch was all gold for that price. They want ten thousand for a two tone. It's mental. Yeah. Oh my God, no dude! Way. He can buy two more on on the on Corona Corona Twenty Four. Like, yeah, it's a little bit worn out. It you know, it's been a little bit polished here, right? It lost some edges, some definition. All right, there's some scratches, but you know what? It's got character, and if it's working, you know what? Uh, go to independent. Uh, this is really the type of watch you should go to independent. If the module is working, don't 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 do this. this okay, is, Tim, I, yeah. I'm gonna go. I, Your I battery go worn out. Uh, the battery in me is kind of worn out from sitting on this lousy chair, and I'm gonna work uh, on my character. So <laughs> I'll see you later. Okay. Bye, Bye, Daniel. Bye, Daniel. Bye. Hey, and look at this! Wow, this is a classy guy. Wow, look at this Fucking guy. Yeah, yeah. He's like Sean. Okay. He's got uh the full set, everything. He's got his DuPont. I believe this is S D DuPont. He's got his beautiful pen, Mont Blanc, uh Mont Blanc uh notebook. And then he's, what is this? Is this a cigar cutter? I believe it's probably cigar cutter. He's got cigar and look at this ashtray. Wow. Yep. Holy shit. And he's drinking Red Breast 12. Fucking beautiful. Classy guy. What a shot. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, don't fucking no, don't don't mess with it. You know what? Like if you need to service it, independent. Or don't even bother. You know? America says it's quartz watch. It's not a real watch. No, it's Rolex though. It is a Rolex quartz. If we love Rolex cool. quartz. If only we knew a good watch repair guy. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, link for Alex Foney. Fody. It's in the chat. It's in the chat. Hop on the stream. Help us out. MJ says uh, he's hired personal security for Vegas. Also, 
have a sketch artist on retainer just in case CCTV is compromised, dude. Get ready for Vegas, baby. Yeah, look at this. Mm, mm, mm. Delicious. Delicious. What happened, everybody? Everybody disappeared. Everybody went to like use the restrooms and stuff. That's what I did. I because it's been like three hours. So I went, used the restroom, I'm back. Uh we're we're ready to get back into it. What's going on in a private chat? Tim, I think. Oh, 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 oh yeah. This is so so cool. So cool. Um yeah, Buckley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What do you think? Is there like like you know what? I look at this shot and it's like, why are we just collecting watches? I think we sh we should get some, you know, expand our everyday everyday carry kits. No? Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm just always afraid I'm gonna lose stuff like that. Oh, like like a like a lighter. You know, Diego was talking about getting a lighter. He really wants one of those yeah, like pens, lighters, money clips. I just feel like I would lose it. <sighs> Yeah, and it's like, man, like losing a thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hard. Um, oh wait, we got Ray Ray coming back. Let's see, can we add him now? Yo, Ray Ray, let's check your audio. By the way, Buckley, what did you think about this whole uh, uh, digital watch vault? You joined late, but or your what's your opinion on this whole situation? I have no idea. I really no have no idea. I, I just think it's too much bureaucracy. I I am so it it sucks all the joy out of the hobby for me. The, bureaucracy. The, the whole question is, at what level? I I mean, it's hard to say because where Paul is, there's a lot of watch crime. Mm -hmm. he's, he's been the victim of attacks many times, yeah. so he's looking at it through a different lens but then you have the people that will say did he want to help from the start or did he build his channel around something he knew he was going to roll out and then if he did do that is there anything wrong with that because at the end of the day watch crime is still a problem it's a bunch of circular logic tim mm -hmm. it's a bunch of circular logic so i don't know the, the main question for me is is it actually a service that's going to work is it going to help you get your watches back is it going to you know, because he said it's not going to help get your watches back. What it's going to do is it's going to take gray market dealers and it's going to put them in the light on if they're taking, you know, if they're unwilling to join, it's a red flag. Right. So if they're unwilling to join the digital watch vault, it means they may be involved in crime and other dealers are going to look at those dealers and say, we're not going to do business with them. Allegedly. Allegedly, we don't know but, if that's true. But this is like holding gray market dealers hostage, yeah, to to make them do more work. You know, these fuckers—they're lazy. They're so well, lazy. Maybe that's what's required for that. I mean, there's no regulation at all, and people keep getting burned. Yeah, whether you're buying a watch, selling a watch, you find out there's aftermarket parts, you find out it's stolen, you find out your consignment watch has been stolen from you. Maybe there's some regulation. You know what? If they want to try to take my code at 23 and sell it for 32, they can upload it to a fucking website that takes 20 minutes to make 10 grand. 10 grand for 10 minutes. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't yeah. Know work. And, no. and you know, this stuff, I, I was I was yelling at, at this thing because when I saw it, uh, I remember, I literally, I did. I remember my experience of inputting my information into a Hodinkee. I thought well, I registered for Hodinkee and I was like, oh, wow, they have this option where you can add your collection and it's going to show it really nicely. You can, you know, you can have all this documentation with you. Let's say you're flying overseas and uh, if somebody asks you at the border, like, hey, is this really your watch? You can open your Hodinkee account and say, yeah, yeah, you see, it's registered to me. I thought it would be it would be a brilliant thing to do. And then I sat down to actually input all the information and the friction was so so hardcore. I was like, fuck it. I can't be bothered. You know? Yeah, if you don't make it easy for people like me who are stupid with technology, then yeah, we're not going to use it. 
Yeah, or give us give us a, a, a better incentive. Uh, Carlos, thank you so much for the email. He checked us out. So he actually inquired uh, uh, from an independent watchmaker for the service. And here's what he says. Uh, he's got this email. He says, yes, he can restore it, the oyster quartz. The pricing for the repair is like this. $650 to restore the two-tone bracelet. Okay. Then $350 for the case reprofile or a thousand three hundred fifty for the laser repair and then three hundred and fifty dollars for the movement service plus return shipping uh what do you think what should what should he, he do which of these I, I think he should go for for the bracelet uh movement and case repro reprofile doesn't need, he doesn't really need the laser repair and finish, right? Does he not need a crystal as well? He does need a crystal, yeah. Okay. But I, I think some of these dealers, they'll just throw it in for free. I mean, yeah. those crystals are not worth much. America, two two eight two three six ten dollars <laughs> Super chat. If there's one thing that English know how to do is how to create a burdensome bureaucracy that slows everything down and wastes time while providing little if any value boom see if i'm gonna put my fucking information if i'm gonna spend six hours okay six hours of my life you know we have people here who are making they get paid a thousand dollars an hour okay so you're expecting these these people these Fucking, you know, people who with jobs, with real jobs, to sit down and freaking waste six. That's a, that's a, it's called opportunity cost. Okay. Cause you're sitting down, you're wasting your valuable time that you could be doing, that you could be spending with your family. You could be watching a movie. You could be watching a Tim Wright live stream. Oh, well, you can kind of multitask. <laughs> But but talk look. about waste of time, Tim. Yeah. <laughs> right, Tim, 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 Tim. Right, 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 right. Right, slow down, slow down. Right, okay, slow. Okay. okay, so so real people, right? Let's talk about yeah. real people, right? Okay, mm. so real people earning thousand dollars an hour or something like that. That's not real mm. people, man. Mm. It can, can have a moment of silence here, right? Okay. And I think everybody will agree with me here or right now. Okay. Uh, having having a, a precious and valuable watch, right, doesn't mean rich. It means hard working. Okay. Right. Yeah. Hard so, so working. Hard working does not yeah. necessarily mean rich. These I people. Mean, Rich does not necessarily mean okay. hard working either. That, that yeah? makes it okay. even worse. Okay. It, it makes yeah, it yeah, even yeah. worse, Red Star, because these hard working people, okay, they spend their time toiling away, right? They work really hard for their money, okay? And then they have to sit and fill out all this bureaucratic bullshit that they might never need. So they're going to spend their time and they might never use it. So, I, I, it's it's a criticism. It's a criticism in the in the way that I'm trying to to tell these guys like there has to be another way that people can use this information so that they're not so so they get something done. Like for example, like if they fill it out, uh, maybe they get a, as a reward they get a coupon for Zero West. I don't know, like ten percent discount. At least something. Give people something. Tim, I have been labeled a more than once in my life uh, that I was rich and I wasn't, right? Uh, when I was hard working. I was hard working, okay? Yeah. Right? So, I, uh, did I enjoy uh, the, the the fruits of my labor? Yes. I did not flaunt it, did I? Right? But I have uh, enjoyed the fruits of my labor, okay? Does yeah. that mean... I'm working hard or I'm hardly working. Well, I'll tell you I'll tell you this. I'm the one who's hardly working. Uh and I actually I I, I do I do respect my time even when I'm like you know wasting and, and people say, "Oh, you're wasting time when you're watching something or you know, I I try to watch a lot of educational videos. And uh you know, I like to spend my time doing stuff that's interesting to me and not just spending it Filling out bureaucratic paperwork. Um, Rose, five dollars super chat. Someone tell Prada to stop stealing my thunder. Thirty-eight point five is my size. 
find your own space. By the way, John Mayer said, I wish all watches were 37. That was his theory. Yeah. So. Yep. He did. He likes those smaller watches. I and by totally the way, I agree with what Rose Paul said. Me and Boston had a conversation about it yesterday. Yeah. That video was an ad for AP in so many ways. I don't even. I, I'm going to put my tinfoil hat on here. I think AP <laughs> approached Hodinkee beforehand, or Hodinkee approached AP and they did something because there's no way this was too perfect. I mean, they mm. touched on everything. They touched on the new codes. They touched on Royal Oak. They touched on the dream watch from AP is some sort of jumbo. And then, by the way, if you're a VIP with all the money in the world, go get a Spider-Man. And that's why it's yeah. cool. And they were both wearing jumbos. It, like, it felt so, so sponsored by AP without feeling like it's sponsored by AP. Mm. Like uh, if you if you don't have like very good spidey senses, no pun intended, then you might you might think that this is just they're just they're just passionate about watches, right? But but like there there was other ads here as well, right? Like the G Shock, right? That's literally uh, Ed Sheeran, and Ed Sheeran is a very smart guy, right? He's like he he monetizes his uh, fame really well, right? Like he he liked Heinz ketchup and he's like I'll do a, I'll do a commercial for Heinz, right? And then he partnered with Heinz to do a special hot sauce just just for him. Yeah. And like th these these are very smart, very clever, very shrewd businessmen, you know. But look at, at the end of the day, I mean, uh, uh, Ed says he has noble goals. He wants to eventually you know turn this all into. Uh, like a trust uh, and a school uh, and a school for music. So, very cool, very noble goal. Yeah, it was a really good video, and it, the most interesting part about it was seeing me again putting my tinfoil hat on. Yeah, they said, "Okay, Bernard and John, we know you own part of our company. We'll play ball with your bullshit Acrivia watch, but guess what? Tomorrow, yeah." We're, we're going to launch the biggest video we've ever made in our entire career at Hodinkee. Ever. And now, and no, look at the views, Tim. 300,000 already. No, but yeah, compare, in one you know, day. It's yeah. fucking crazy. Compare the two videos next to each other. Total views. Let's see. It's unfair, though, because, you know, Ed Sheeran is just the name is going to attract a lot of, you know, he's in the algorithm hugely. So, yeah, you could have I, him taking a shit and, it would, you know, it would be massive. So the, the main thing here, which was interesting, is having uh, John Mayer be the host. Mm. Yeah, that was really well thought out. But, you know, he, I mean, I don't know. I think it was. I don't, I don't know. A, a host is there to listen, ask questions, and listen. I think John May was was contributing more to the conversation <laughs> than Ed himself. He can't. He can't help it. He can't help himself. No, but that's great. I, I love it. That's. I think that it was good in some respects, but it was like also not a classic interviewer sort of no. a host interviewer sort of setup really. But this wasn't an interview. No, it was. It was the. It was the mentor of watches and music talking to the mentee of watches and music mm. about their mistakes and what they're going to do going forward while injecting AP in there. It was like a cra it was the craziest YouTube video I've seen in a watch space. Were those guys mad about AP? I didn't watch it. Oh, oh yeah. didn't watch it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, no, they weren't. They. Uh, it was a perfect advertisement for AP. Oh, it was AP driven. AP driven. I mean, they talked about they were both wearing jumbos. They talked about how the jumbo is the best Royal Oak. They talked about the piece unique from AP. They talked about the Spider Man and why it's cool. They talked about how they should wow. continue to make the Marvel watches. And they talked about the new codes. So yep. they hit on all levels. And then at the end, as we know, we know what happens, right? Uh, Oshin doesn't, so I won't spoil for him. Oh, but fuck. Okay. They, uh, you know, it's crazy. It's crazy. But who was the video for? Because if the, video was for, the video was for Hodinkee to put itself back on the map because for three years they've been doing dog shit. Yeah. 
But yeah. anyone watching that is not going to suddenly go, do you know what? What's missing from my life is a whole bunch of uh, APs that I can't get. No, but the people who collect that really like Hodinkee hmm. are, are going to look at AP closer, right? Because the godfather of watches right there said, we know you think the Spider-Man is stupid, but it's not. And that's how easy it is. It's literally that easy. Oh, nobody wants the yellow, gold, green dial Daytona because it's green. Yeah. 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 I do. Oh, now we want it. Okay. Again, Buckley, Buckley, Buckley can, I, can, can I ask you a question? Sure. What, 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 what's chronology? What, what's timekeeping? Oh, is, is it AP? What is it? AP is design. AP, it, the, it's the, the the most right now. I think the Royal Oak Jumbo is Tim, Tim, literally the number Tim, one Tim, design watch. As, as much as I love you, I yeah. I don't want to be rude to you, but I didn't ask you a question. I asked right. Buckley a question. Yeah, 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 you're asking me what is horology? Yes, yes. I don't know how you're tying this into the point. He's got a, it's a setup. It seems like a it seems like such a loaded question that I don't even know how to answer it, and it might be a super. Uh, actually, 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 no. I think it's a very, very valid question, right? It's a very, very valid question. What is horology? Is it tied into a brand? Is it tied into anything, right? Or is it tied into a uh, something that you like, like, or 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 cherish? What do you think? What do you think about that? Oh, I think I think it can. I think it's changing. I think it used to be tied into a brand and what they were able to do, but current times are calling for change where that might not be as important as the influential people who wore the watch. Right? The the Submariner is not great because it you know because it's a it's a dive watch. There are plenty of watches that are greater. Technically, the reason why it's great is James Bond wore it and they gave it to people in Vietnam to fight a war. And then those guys who were legends wore it their whole life and patinaed it. The GMT master, not the best GMT, but it's great because Pan Am. So Buckley, the, Buckley, have you, have you, have you, have you seen uh, Oshin's video about a, uh, the time about, 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 about how, how time happens, you know, and how it was discovered. I know. Did, did, yeah. did you watch that video? He doesn't watch my fucking videos. Long time ago. <laughs> long time ago. I saw it. Well, well, you know what, Buckley? Long time, I, I, like suggest, six months. I, I suggest you watch this video again. Where are you going, Vedster? I'm curious. Yeah, you're going to... Uh, thank you for the vote of confidence, but I, I'm not sure where I you're like going. I think you have a point here, but I'm trying to understand how you're tying it into AP with John Mayer. I don't know. I, I think may, I may have lost my my own a uh, tangent where I'm going with this, you know. And I, I was okay. going with this. Uh, America two two eight two three six ten dollars super chat. John Mary's biggest performance was on the Chappelle <laughs> show. <laughs> Iyk Yk musically irrelevant ever since. If you know, Damn. you know. That's what. Oh. I mean. I didn't know what that meant, but because I didn't know what it what, what it meant. Oh, <laughs> Get it? Oh, oh, Tim, Tim, I think this is what Vedster was trying to say. Buckley, yeah, we... Vedster, I'm the wrong guy to ask. I'm not a watch enthusiast. Yeah. I'm a Rolex enthusiast, so I'm the wrong guy to talk to. Yeah, I mean, horology by definition is just what, like a study of measurement of time. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm a wolf in sheep's clothing when it comes to watch enthusiasm. Trust me. Hmm. I'm not. Uh, it's not you, my you're thing. you're more interested in the in the design. You you're not interested in the how the watch works. You're I'm interested. A guy, I, yeah. I'm a guy who looks at the watch from the front. I don't flip it over to look at the movement. Exactly. So exactly. You know, Nothing wrong with that. There's all no? different yeah, sides yeah. to this whole thing. I think that's where he's going with it, though. Is I don't know where he was going with I it. Know. Hopefully, he comes back on and talks about where he was going with it. Well, I'll tell you this. Uh, people collect watches for all different reasons, right? This is why yeah, I yeah. had that, that chart up yeah. earlier today. Oh, well, awesome. that's, this no is doubt. the chart where I got scammed. Sorry, that's the wrong chart. Uh, let me pull it up again. Hold on. Hello. 
this this thing, right? It kind of harkens back to this. Why? What is? Because horology is different to different things. Some people just think about the brand, like they they just they only care about the brand. And brand brand has a psychological influence on us. Like when when people wear branded things, it makes them feel a certain way. It's it's weird how it works, but it, it, it does that. So uh, wearing a certain brand, like wearing a Rolex can make you feel like more powerful. It can give you confidence. You're like, yeah, I fucking worked hard, right? It, it's a reminder to okay. yourself. Um, I'm going to try to go. But some people could be just uh, more interested in uh, just, you know, the design aspect of it. Like they just like it because they like how it looks on them. Uh, then there's people who 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 like just you know how how it can work forever, right? Uh, that's part of the reason I got into why did I buy Rolex because I wanted a watch that would last me for the rest of my life, right? So I wanted to get the most robust, the best made. This is like you know people buy cars, right? If you people can buy, hey, if you want to flex, right? You buy a Lambo. Do you want a longevity? You buy a Toyota Corolla. You want uh, comfort, you get uh, you know you, you get a different car. You know this this there's a there is a, 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 a this this hobby could be different for everybody, but we're all in it for because of well this the brand thing. the brands themselves each send a different message. You know, like Rolex to me is is the sports. You know, F1 and, and PGA and tennis, and they're wearing their shiny gold Rolex. You're reminded of that. Like, yeah. you're, you're part of Patek. the people who are doing this cool shit. Patek is is an established lawyer, right, in Manhattan. Oh, the people who are doing this cool. Whoa. Oh, you got, a, you got a thing going He's on. got a SD DuPont. Yeah, I'm just going to mute his microphone. But, yeah. AP has that, that new age architect type thing going on the guy with the t-shirt the guy who's in the t-shirt with a blazer and sneakers with his blue glasses in the middle of manhattan with a royal oak drawing up a plan of building the new dubai that's a yes. the creative type of guy probably why oshin likes it so much because it's creative a but, a yeah ap is the banksy of, yeah you know of watch world yeah i'm still trying to figure out what vedster was trying to talk about but I, can someone help me hmm. I don't know where he was going. I'm going to bail out for a few minutes, guys. I'll be back in a bit. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm back, right? So I, I, I would like to apologize. Half baked opinions uh, are uh, embarrassment on my end. So I That's... apologize. I didn't mean not anything bad. My apologies. Well, it's not as bad. bad. No, no, no. I, didn't think you were, I didn't think you were meaning anything bad. I thought maybe there was a language barrier and I wasn't understanding what you were trying to tell me. I suppose, yeah, yeah, I suppose. So, so, so my apologies. Uh, it, it wasn't, was not intended no, to no, be no, a, no, no. Uh, offen no. offensive or anything like that. Okay. So, so my apologies no. about that. No, we didn't take, no, I didn't take it that way. I just wanted to make sure you didn't get blown off on your point. You know what I mean? Mm. I, I, I potentially uh, kind of uh, mm -hmm. run away with a thought in my head that uh, wasn't necessarily 100% correct. So my apologies about that. Uh, okay. don't, don't apologize, mate. It happens to us. Well, I mean, Tim, yeah. Tim does it 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So don't worry. You're in good company. Uh, yeah. I think yeah. the question the question is, is that, well, not the question. I suppose the, the point is, is that, there are different types of collectors. There are collectors that are into vintage, collectors that are into uh, modern issue reissues, which are faithful to the originals, interpretations, or even futuristic. And some people, and Buckley may be one of them, Buckley can speak on his own behalf, just likes what likes watches just based on what they look like. He doesn't give a shit necessarily about the movement or anything else. And that is totally fine as well. In fact, I spent I bought three bloody monocos because I couldn't decide do I want the original, do I want a modern interpretation, or do I want the futuristic one? Yeah. America two two eight two three six, thank you so much for ten dollars super chat. Imagine living on Long Island and not owning a platinum day date. Couldn't be me. He can't do it without a day date. I need a day date. He fucked up. 
he wasted his ten dollars because Long Island they wear yellow gold, not black. <laughs> but you could be above. You can flex on on uh, but is it in Long Island? Actually, yellow gold day date trumps. Sure, I just I actually moved it because you were moving. Listen to me. I hold on. Whoops, sorry. Uh, for some reason, I can't mute. Uh, hold on. I uh. Ray cracks me up. Yeah. I have my own here. <laughs> What's the, hey, uh, Johnny, Johnny, how are you doing? Excuse oh, me. I, I, see, I asked you a question at the worst time. You know, I had on, on for like 10 minutes. I was trying to get you to chime I'm in. I'm on top of the world, buddy. I am okay. on top of the world. Great so conversation. Cool. Johnny O is the man. Yo, Johnny, what do you think of all this craziness? Digital Watch Vault. The AP shenanigans and and ho dinky, what's on your mind? Tell us. Did you to watch all the shenanigans? Mm. Um, ho dinky, forget about it. Um, what was the other one? Uh, the AP, AP, AP. Where is it going? It can it survive? No. Can it thrive into no. the future? No, I don't think so. Damn. They got one watch. They have one watch that everyone wants, and that's it. The two, two. The jumbo. They want one watch or two watches, same watch. Uh, and they're doing everything they can to make you buy that watch, you know. It, it would AP you you buy that watch without buying all the other stuff that you don't want. I, I, I couldn't agree with Buckley more on his 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 perspective on, on this thing. You know, mm. it's um, if these things were buy, uh, selling at 20 grand, no one would give it, no one would give a crap. Yeah. Um I, I, you know, I like them. I, I'm not a huge fan of it. You know, it looks like an old 1970s watch to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but they get in. I wear old 1970s Rolexes that you know, are, <laughs> are old men watches. So you know what? You know, who who am I? But uh, no, I agree with them. You know, who's I, I don't want to play that game. I don't want to play that game. And I, and I was at a watch store today, and I actually tried on a, a Daytona for one more time. Ooh. I said, I'm going to try it on. It's too small for me. What? It's too small for me. Is that the old one or the uh, this year this year's version? I've tried on the new white gold one and old gold one. And you know, I'm six three to do you have pic did you take pictures, Johnny? I did not. I'm you sorry. have to see for the future. You take pictures and you email them. I'll, and, I'll pull and, them and, up. You know, and the guy goes, eh, it looks okay. It looks okay. You know, and he, he wasn't like, Wow, that's for you, you know. And, and I'm like, you know, I'm kind of happy that I'm not I don't have to chase this. You know, I, yeah, I'm, it's liberating, right? It's it's yeah, liberating that you you don't absolutely have to buy. It. Yeah, I don't because have, yeah, that's the weird thing about this is because we're in the watch community, mm. people people's ears melt when you say, "Yeah, you know the icon you all love." It doesn't really matter that much to me, and then they <laughs> lose their minds. Like how? <laughs> you, what? <laughs> so wait, Johnny O. Yeah. Wait a minute. You're telling me you're going to go your whole life without a Daytona? And he's like, yeah, yeah, it doesn't fit right. And no, hold on. Hold on. And then another person comes in and is like, have you tried the different metals? Another person comes in and says, well, you know, watches used to be 36 and they go back to it. Johnny O doesn't give a fuck. He'll get a GMT. <laughs> Leave the man alone. You don't have to. You don't have to have a Nautilus. We don't all have a Nautilus at the end of the rainbow. Everyone needs to chill. Uh, that's why you're my man, yeah, my bro. Yeah, like it's okay. Man. It's okay. If I skip the AP because I had a bad experience, I'll live. And so we'll speak, we speak the same language, and that's why I've uh, you know sent you a couple notes. And I, I you know, just well, yeah. Look, look at Alex. 
Alex collects tags nonstop. He doesn't care. He doesn't need to have right. a date on it. Right. He'll live. He's happy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. I don't know what kind of drugs he's on, but <laughs> ignorance <laughs> ignorance is bliss, guys. Ignorance is bliss. What yeah. I don't know. <laughs> what you don't know can't hurt you. Yeah. Well, yeah. I've got my speed masters, you know, so I'm 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 okay with those. Those are too small for me too. I don't like those either. Forty-two mil is too small for you. Yes, sir. the The Speedmaster does not. It it just doesn't look right. I'm six. About, foot, uh, I'm, I'm, about, six I'm six foot three, two hundred and thirty-five pounds. I'm a big dude. And, yeah, but what's your wrist? Uh, you know, seven and a half, seven three quarter. I don't. I don't know. Go measure my wrist every day, but yeah. Now, if you looked at it, you go, well, it doesn't look bad. But you don't look at it and go, wow. So I had a, uh, I took the GMT on Oyster and I put it next to a Breitling Navitimer 43 millimeter and an Omega Speedmaster 42 millimeter. They all wore the exact same. Yeah. They're all the same size. Yeah. Well, I know what you're saying about this, the Speedmaster. It's kind of, it's a small 42. It's yeah. definitely a small 42. Yeah. Um, but, you know, again, it's like, wait a minute. Speedmaster went to the – how could you not have one? And he's like, yeah. oh, I don't like it that much. <laughs> I, I, looked at it today, I looked at it and the guys are like, Speedmaster, you're in the mood. I'm like, it just doesn't sing to me. Now, let me put it on. I put it on and I was like, eh. Uh, Boston Collector says, arguing about watch brands might be the most meaningless thing besides British gray market watch drama. <laughs> yeah. uh, look, it's... Uh, we, we hope... I hope the best for, for digital watch. Well, I hope it works out because if it works, it probably there'll be a way to link it to other platforms like uh, Chrono24. Uh, and maybe, maybe eventually, Paul and the rest of the guys, the investors, uh, will be able to sell the company to I don't know, to Richmond or maybe Chrono or who, God knows who, and make uh, some I, good money. Maybe Paul I will hope, finally be able to retire. I hope they do well. Uh, yeah, but you know, uh, I, I think it's crystal. You're, 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 I'm not gonna sit here and and ride dicks, okay? We're gonna tell the truth. We're gonna we're gonna <laughs> criticize it, right? And I hope that you know the guys will watch that beginning of the show and they'll be able to get some advice. Like I, we had some valuable advice there. Like serial number should be entered twice to make sure that the, someone inputting it uh, doesn't make a mistake, right? We got some valuable criticism there. You put you you put your. Uh... Password in twice, right? To confirm it. Yeah. Yeah. You create a password. That's an important that's the most important thing in it. And you know what? If I was launching a website like that, I would have made it less intimidating um uh to to input the information. Because like when I opened this, I, you know what I immediately thought? Fuck this shit. I'm not doing this. Okay. So if I was the guys. What I would do, I would just simplify this. Okay, remove remove most of these fields, serial number and one picture, and like let's just like get people in uh, for us to just put their watches in. Don't make them do all of this before they can save it, right? Like there should be like it would be cool if there was like a two stage process. First, upload the image of your watch, name, and let's say let don't even put the serial numbers yet. And then, you know, once that is inputted, then you can click, okay, now do you want to add the extra, the, the other information? So the people can do it in part, not immediately. Like, I don't know, this is fucking, this is a, a whole day time commitment. I can't be bothered with this. It's not a day. I mean, like, I mean I'm, I'm just a weird guy. You've got, but I you've got attention, de attention, uh, attention deficit disorder or something. I do, I do. And a lot of people, I, dude, I'm fucking addicted to YouTube shorts. When I, if I, if for some reason, okay, if, if, if they forgot some ungodly, you know, I go in the toilet, I sit down on the toilet, and if I accidentally click uh. on the shorts, I, it's like the phone is glued to my hand. I can't, 
I can't. It won't. You can't release it. It's so psychologically. Uh, it just hooks you with like some type of claws or or something. I don't know what they're doing to us, but the videos are just. I can't like it's like it's like a heroin. Tim, Tim, the, the, the last 45 seconds, right, should be an advert, an ad for your channel, what you do, right? Because that is pure honesty, and this is what you do. And it's, I, it's the truth. We all, we all love you for it. It yeah. is absolutely brilliant. We all yeah. love you for it. Why would I spend my time inputting this bullshit in here if i could be spending it hooked on youtube shorts it's just so much more exciting i, I no, hate myself wasn't... after i do it but like man when you're scrolling those shorts ah! I, I i i i hope youtube makes it possible to disable that feature i i pray i like i want that to be disabled i don't want i i don't want to watch shorts but man it feels good MJ, $5, Johnny O, Legend, and Truth Slayer. Hope you're well. Slayer. There you go. Oh, very cool. I am good. Thank you, MJ. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. MJ, freaking legend. Uh, Vamir, it's a deep breath. I'm breathing. It's just, uh, I'm just really passionate about this. You know, I, I, I just know I can feel how people are. And I'm just, all I'm trying to say is that this there's too much friction here it, it's i bet they didn't even get 500 watches signed up like like listed in there i just love that second thing in the second column they couldn't even find a way to put paper in there <laughs> right it says do you have the original pap pap yeah it's just pap yeah it's like what the yeah it just should be papers do you have pa like I find a way to put paper. Who you have? It should be just original papers? Question mark. Shorten it. It's it's essay. Look, there's an entire essay in here. Come on. <laughs> Fuck. Have the original pap. Um, it, look, yeah. this type of website would work in 1990s, right? Back when exciting shit didn't exist. Now, like, I, I like, I want, I want a reward. After I fill this out, do I get a badge? Like. They, they should have like they should have gamified this shit at least like once you complete it you get a little star after you, you input huh what do you want a cookie? a cookie yeah yes i do <laughs> yes i do <laughs> Jesus. i'm just this saying, is, I'm just this, saying. Is what, this is what makes you the number one U uh, ukrainian uh, host of of a watch channel well it's it's true. the world <laughs> No, no, listen, 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 listen. The, the major statement of tonight is I want to gamify this shit. Tim. Yes. I want to gamify this shit. Yeah. Tim, right on. Boom. Okay. No, when what, I he said, it, what he actually said was he wants to be on the shitter whilst doing this stuff, whilst watching shorts as well. Make it easy for me, please. Tim, here's one Give thing. Give me a reward. One thing I noticed, because obviously Paul and the co-founders were on a stream yesterday talking about this. Mm -hmm. One thing I did not like mm -hmm. is they asked Paul, what percentage of watches that are stolen wind up at gray market dealers, wind up with end users, wind up melted down? You know, like, what, what's a brief summary? Where are the watches going? Paul and the co-founders have no idea where the stolen watches are going. Yeah. If you have some sort of idea, it doesn't have to be 100%, but you should kind of know, are they getting stolen down and flown around the world to be melted for gold? Are they getting parted out? Are they going from 47th Street to London? Yeah. If you have no idea? None? How? So I mean, how? if you have no idea where the watches are going... And where they're ending up, how do we know you know how to prevent them from, you know, you you don't know. You don't know anything at that point. Like at I least guess. a car or a chop shop, we know where it goes. Do you think that they do know? They just don't think it's enough of a business case to justify the digital watch bolt. Because Paul Thorpe himself has said it's not going to prevent thefts. It's just going to act maybe as a potential deterrent. 
and it may allow you to be connected if they recover your watch like because the police raid um a bur you know known uh, known burglar they'll find the watch and they'll be able to give it back no, no. to the so what he said was he plans to stop watch crime because when the dealers are set up with them there'll be no incentive left because those dealers will simply turn away the stolen watches or the ones who are accepting stolen watches will be flagged and it'll be figured out who's accepting it so you're yeah. saying the way you solve watch crime is you're going to find the dealers who are in business with the robberies right but then when we ask you where did the stolen watches wind up, how many go to the dealers, you don't know anything. You can't have your cake and eat it too. You must dude, know. Dude, you dude, must know. Advertising. Right? I, I just I hate <laughs> I hate when they say it that I hate it when when Paul says this is going to solve watch crime because I don't know is he is he dumb or he or is he like lying because clearly it won't because there's like there is causal relationship right there is a cause and effect there's correlation and there's causation right what causes watch crime and then what actually prevents watch crime this stuff has no impact on the watch crime I, like i, I want to see proof i want to see a study where he shows he me that, that huh? he he it, it just crime. sounds it, you know like if you, it's like you can say that it could but he says it will right like th there's not even room for error there i mean is there ignorance is it uh, just no, 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 lack no, no. of understanding that's not, that's not what he said he said he Tim. didn't say he was going to solve watch crime that's impossible he said Tim, Tim, Tim do... and buckley oh god go ahead Tim and buckley right let, let me let me say what i think this is all about okay okay uh, buckley it's not it's not about a uh like a heavy hitters like yourself or a heavy hitters like maybe alex or or people who own like a really really valuable watches right because you already know how to protect yourself okay it is about the masses of people who don't know how to do this okay and they uh they are trying to reel them in it's people who maybe own one or two pieces okay right because we, we 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 know we know what's going on okay but the reach is really really far and wide okay you don't need to watch world you you know how to protect yourself don't you yeah yeah but the reason that paul is doing this whole watch vault from what he said was the goal is to dis <clears throat> is to disincentivize watch theft because dealers won't accept watches therefore the guy who's on heroin who stole your sub to get some quick cash he won't be able to sell the watch anywhere is the goal ridiculous so my thing is okay so what you're telling us is stolen watches are just going into the gray market but when you ask him what parts of the world are they going to are they going to the gray market are the watches coming in one solid unit like they were stolen or is the bracelet going somewhere the bezel the parts they have no idea they have no clue it also played. no clue also deterring you want to deter watch crime you know if people go in they input their information and then you know what then people start feeling like by paul paul telling people like hey all you have to do is just input it and then the watch crime is going to go away but that inputting it will give people a lot more confidence in wearing these watches to more dangerous places. It could actually increase watch crime. Because, like, hey, people could start thinking, hey, I put my watch in the digital watch world. It's registered. So now people are not going to be stealing it. I can wear it now to that dangerous part of London that I couldn't before. So it, it's like... These things have no relationship whatsoever. And Gatsby is making a freaking good point right there. Boom, five bucks. Every vehicle, cell phone, and firearms is mo in most of the world is registered by law. That's clearly done wonders to deter theft. Yeah, that's not what stops it. You can't, you shouldn't be even talking about because there is a correlation, not causation. Or there's this, 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 you could. Tim. 
Is this the guy? Is this the co-founder? I don't. I don't think it's. A, I think it's just. It's a troll account. You know. It's. It's. Okay. it's, it's, it's that's, just that's fucking. What that's what I thought. Yeah. Yeah. But hey, if it if it is, hop on the strand. Hop Link on. is in the chat. Yeah. We're going off of what we heard, but if you yeah. know. Yeah, I mean, if he wants to talk, hop on the stream, of course. Tim, Tim and Buckley, I, yeah. I don't think you understand, or or may I, I may not be uh, clear enough what I'm trying to say, mm -hmm. because there may be a language barrier or anything like that. You know, I personally don't think you are a, a target market, or Buckley, you are not the target market, right? The target market is much, much wider and larger, and it is a much, much cheaper than what Buckley and you, Tim, have. I, right? I think it's false it's advertising. Mass, no, I think it's a mass, mass market that they're trying to lay the foundation for. Okay? Well, let me, let so, me tell you why I think you're wrong. It is reaching much, much wider than, than, than what, what we actually are looking at right now. Okay? It's reaching into a uh, just like a non non enthusiast. It's not for non enthusiasts, right? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think yeah. it's the opposite. I, I think it's the opposite. Here's why: for people who steal watches, they're looking for they're looking for uh, patterns like uh, a jubilee bracelet, right, or rubber strap on an Aquanaut, because mm -hmm. those are those are worth the risk. I mean, you're talking about for someone who's maybe a drug addict or part of a gang and has to do this stuff to push money up the chain to, you know, continue, it's got to be worth it. So if you're going to attack somebody on the street, you have to know what they have and you have to know it's worth money. And you can only do that with brands that you can see from afar, like AP's bracelet, Rolex's bracelet, uh, some of what Patek has to offer, maybe Ublo, maybe Panerai. But for people that are, you know, you can take every single watch that's going to be at Watch Time New York. These thieves are not going after that. So, Vedstar, I think it's the complete opposite of what you're saying. Myself with four Rolexes, Tim with like 10, whoever, we are the exact target market that they want on this thing. Yeah. Uh, and the gas was $5. I don't, Buckley, I, don't, I don't disagree with you, right? I don't disagree with you, right? But... How many, how many of a, uh, is there in the market like that? Oh, as opposed to a, uh, how many of a newcomers are there that they maybe want to protect their a uh, $200 watch, $300 watch, or $500 watch, or $2,000 watch, right? That is going to come into effect two years down the line when they say, uh, for your subscription that was free from now on, we can offer you another layer of prescription that's going to give you such and such and such and such, right? So I'm not trying to defeat your oh, argument, oh, okay. right? And, okay. and I completely agree with your argument, you know, and, 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 and you know what? And my I heart lays in with your argument, but I'm thinking, I'm trying to think from their point of view, right? Which is, at some point, a m advertising money, what they are kind of saying it is right now, is going to run out, okay? I see what you're saying. You're you're not talking about the level of watches. You're talking about the knowledge of watches. I'm not the person because I know I can just get my watches insured. I know not to wear an expensive watch in London. But the people who know nothing about watches is just buy one. They don't mm -hmm. know better and uh, okay that's what you mean i thought you meant the actual watches themselves you're talking about the mindset and the knowledge of someone who has watches which is different mm -hmm. i get it. okay that makes more sense uh by the way i just verified it is the the actual steve allen i thought it was a troll for for, for the longest time um no no I, and uh, like all we're saying this is where we're being as honest and we're trying to be as brutal as possible because, I mean, I, I want this thing in the end to succeed for you guys. So us telling the truth and actually how we feel about this, hopefully uh, they'll be able to take this stuff and maybe use some of the the advice and some of the stuff we're talking about. Yeah, yeah, sure, Steve. You yeah, yeah, I tell you what, yeah. I, I wrote this in the other chat. Um, 
I do like their hotspot feature. Mm -hmm. That's cool. The fact that you can yeah. anytime look up anywhere in the world where you are and within 24 hours or a week, if there's been watches that are being stolen, you know, at least, you know, you know, how many times I went in Italy and I had my Pepsi on, I went into an AD and they yeah. told me like, listen, take that off. Don't wear that around here. Too recognizable. Don't wear that watch. Mm. I'm not saying that. Like, that's, why I, that's why my travel watch is Explorer 2. I can never sell the Explorer 2. <laughs> but the, the whole issue, and maybe <clears throat> we'll be able to address this, is if you don't know where the watches are going, yeah. how do you know that it'll prevent dealers? It'll it'll You'll work with dealers to prevent watch crime because you don't even know who they're selling to. Right. I, you, don't, I, you don't know what happens with the stolen watch. It is him. I had a fucking feeling it was. Him. Yeah, this, it is him. Hey, Steve. Welcome there he to the is. Show. Oh, uh, hold on. I think he's still setting up his audio. Uh, by the way, uh, let me read this one from MJ. Five dollars super chat. This is why everyone needs a Spider-Man watch. Best all-time crime-fighting superhero on the wrist. Watch criminals no more. Eat my web. Uh, <laughs> nice. Steve, welcome to the show. Can you hear us? You know, it's really weird. I'm hearing like four or five different conversations. Okay, you probably have YouTube open. So did I mess up? Close YouTube. You, you probably have, because you were watching the show, so you have YouTube open. And now you're getting all right, is that double check Check all your tabs. Or is it now fine? Yeah. Is that better? Steve, Steve, Steve. Am we can I really hear you. on the can you hear Wife show? Steve. Holy cow. Hey, it's oh, the show is open for everyone. So welcome to the show. Oh, my gosh. There he is. I'm a huge fan. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm Steve. new into the community. A huge fan. Uh, for, and I just want to say something real quick because I, yes. I do have a little time. But yes. I 100% agree, Tim. We're trying to figure out how to make it better. I mean, I love the there gamification idea. Yeah. We just need to figure it out. I mean, seriously. Um, I think, uh, you know, you're saying it says box and paps. That sucks. But it might be your screen. So, we, I mean, there's so many little things we got to figure out. So, right, huge fan. Right. Huge fan. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, uh, yeah. And, and by the way, I know I, I, I'm watching on the comments and some are defending Paul and some are defending and some are back. Look. We have to figure this out. Um, mm -hmm. Does Paul get a little excited when he's talking about it? it'll stop watch crime? He does, but he's passionate. Yes. Uh, can it be a tool to help? I think so. I think it could. Kind of like a Carfax or something like that. So, uh, I, you know, I am just wanted to jump on to say first, it's great to meet you like this and the rest of the panel. Um, I watch often and uh, I don't get I don't get hurt by anything that's said. Maybe that's hmm. naive on my part, but I'm just trying to figure out what can we do to make this better. That's it. And see, and the, the problem I had with Paul is that like he's got all these people telling him that what what we do is that he should be offended at what we say. And I and I think like listen, the best thing you can do you you don't, you don't want to listen to people who just want to tell you what you want to hear. You want to no. hear the truth. And I, I, there's no there's no. I don't want this to fail. I want this to be successful. And our criticism is actually, I think, is really valid here. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, um, like looking at that, that is a lot of data. It takes about Yeah, it freaked me out. You know, I got scared. I looked at this. I, I had to close it. It's too scary. Yeah. Well, you know, to be fair, if you're, um, if you're dealing with a little, uh, you know, all the stuff hitting on you, it yeah. seems like a lot. But it's important data that we need to, if I were a watch owner, putting my stuff in, Yeah, I want to put that in. And I think we have to get better at explaining what it does. I, I see right. a lot of comments about blockchain stopping stolen watches. Blockchain is not stopping stolen watches. That's, that's not mm. why we had a blockchain. Um, but there's just so much that the story has to unfold. And I think the more people we can talk, like with great channels like yours, and just try to figure this out. We, yeah. we think it's a good idea. Um, I wish Oshin was on. I'm a huge Oshin fan as well. I've always uh, commented on his uh, his um, channel how great of a story, one of the best storytellers of a watch that I've ever seen, Barnett. Yeah. But he was also wondering why, you know, is this something that 
Paul's been talking about watch crime and then creating this. I, I'm the one who created this three years ago. I started putting it together. I wanted to, to contribute to the watch community. I wanted to use my company with its background with technology and marketing. And I actually approached a number of people before I approached Paul and said, here's my idea. And um, so it was never a device of Paul. He always had this idea of watch crime. I yeah. wanted to bring blockchain into the community. I didn't want it to be NFTs and cryptocurrency and all that other stuff. I just wanted to find a simple way that you can document the watch's history, safeguard it. And then he's talked about watch crime. And I thought, what a great idea putting the two together. So if it's anybody's fault that it's taken three years, it's mine. Because I've been working on it that long. It's, it's then really we started tough. this new... It, it is. It is. But... Um, it's an exciting run. It's an, hmm. it's an exciting journey. I, and I, hope, I hope everybody gives it a chance. And uh, how, how long uh, uh, do you have experience of putting stuff like this together uh, before? You said you have a company that does stuff like this. Yeah. And, uh, Technology, how, yeah. Blockchain, techno every, blockchain is yeah. new for a lot of people, right? right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's fucking, it, it, it took off, what, like three years ago before that blockchain was... Uh, completely uh, like no, nobody was using it. there was no purpose for it now there's a little bit it's a it's a public so what it, what it is it's like what it's a public um like uh spreadsheet that keeps track of you know certain histories that, okay. that you could add yeah see all right people i'm seeing people making fun of um like stuff that you know or don't know that is exactly it the guy yeah. who took the blockchain idea and then turn it into Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. He just took an idea that a group of people put together a long time ago. Yeah. And all blockchain originally was, was, how do I put my data into some secure place that can't be tampered? Right. That's all it is. And so then they use that idea on how can we make it into cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, um, all that stuff. So hmm. three years ago, everybody was jumping on the blockchain bandwagon and thinking, like, maybe we create NFTs, maybe we create a digital version of your physical asset and, and all that stuff. And yeah. I, I'm like you, Tim. I just saw it as, hey, this is a great way to document your data, secure it. I control the data. I can share it, but it can't be tampered. Right, so if because I'm gonna, it's public. Yeah, like a Carfax, right? Like yeah. I don't want to buy a car and know that the odometer can be changed. So if that data is timestamped and put on there about when it was serviced, yes, like you don't know who owned the watch. I think Ocean was talking about uh, and, and rightly so, because we didn't explain it well enough. We just launched. Right. But it's not like you know every owner previous, but you'll know when it was serviced, right? And right. so that's time stamped and blockchain, on the blockchain. And, you'll and know when it was sold and when it was bought, but you won't know who sold it, who, who bought it. Cause we wanna, you'll know we wanna, when. You'll know, you'll know, yeah. Now, if a, if a watch dealer is the originator of the sale and it's in, the, in, the, in its yes. history, then it will say that watch dealer that they authenticated it yes is it and we want we want them to be accountable right right of course so, the dealers um, have to be uh, uh like actually so the 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 individuals they could be private but the dealer whenever it, it touches a dealer it should be public information like oh luxury bazaar be. actually received this watch uh this date and then they sold it a year later and 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 they have to say at least on in our platform mm -hmm. is it um is a verified authentic mm -hmm. and it's and it's documented there i can't verify I, I, i'm an individual i'm not going to verify it authentic we don't want yep. individuals to do that so i mean tim we're still thinking things through yeah, yeah and uh i sorry guys i don't know everybody's name um so long ap are you the one who was asking about where what? the watches go yeah the stolen watches? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I I, I, so, all the time. so that's why, I, okay so let me just say one of my favorite things about your app is the hotspot. It's cool, right? I like that. It's yeah. simple. People, there's people that are haters that are like, Dude, that shit exists already. Like, I'm, I'm stupid. I, I don't know where to find that. So if I have an app where I can do it, very cool. Because I was in Italy and it was very uncomfortable because everyone kept telling me to take my watch off. But with crime, if the whole idea is to get this platform with the dealers to a point where a dealer will not take your money. From for a stolen like a, a, a heroin addict brings in a stolen watch to a dealer who's notorious for taking stolen watches and reselling them. 
if it gets to a point where he's not registered with Watch Vault, so no other dealer will deal with him, and it becomes isolated, and there's no incentive for watch crime, the whole thing is you guys are saying the problem is the dealers that are doing that. But if these watches are just getting stolen and melted down and parted out all over the world and you have no way to track it, yeah, this won't help with watch crime. Uh, maybe not. Um, to be fair, when you asked your question, I don't know if anybody knows the real answers. I hope we can find the answers now yeah. that we're starting to find the data. But I don't think anybody can truly say, you know, maybe a watch dealer say, yeah, of course, they come across their desk all the time. Yeah. Or um, um, someone, they go to another country and they break it apart. We don't know. But here's what I do know. I, all I know is what I know. I go on to a Facebook page like Moda and I see somebody put in a picture of their watch with a serial number and saying, if anybody sees this or finds this, let me know. So maybe this can be a platform that is just a little bit better that if you lost your watch and if it happens to get discovered, maybe it can help bring the two back together maybe maybe not i think it's a good i think it's a good uh start yeah it's better go, than go to the uh we haven't even done this yeah it, like this is really cool if you guys if you guys have a moment um, yeah, but do, do a search uh a so, oh, so submit a search a, yeah and uh. search is vacheron so just just put in v mm-hmm Yep, and put in this serial number, 22777 ampersand, the ampersand sign. Oh, what's an ampersand? The A, Is it the, one the the a thing. Oh, the, the A. a. And, and. and a pound. Oh, and. Okay, wait, wait. No, the, the at, the, no, no, back, back to the first one you had. Oh, at. Yep, at. and okay. then the pound. And then pound. So... Uh -huh. That's what happens if your watch is stolen. Now, give me just a second. Reported by a uh, Vault member. Location, DFW Airport, Dallas. And all that data that we were asking to put uh -huh. in. That it's, so, it's so we can just get a little bit more info about the, about the well, in this case, the stolen and watch. And so if you, if you send a message, this is going to send a message to the owner who reported the watch stolen? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it's all anonymous. So I don't know Tim found yeah. it unless you wanted to say you found it. Uh -huh. uh, and you don't know who you're sending it to. It's just it's uh, within it's the hard. system. So just send me a quick message. Hey, I found oh. your watch. <laughs> all right. So you see that the email was sent. Yes. So I just got the email. So I'm going to reply yeah. back to you. Um, Let's see. And it's going to go to my email uh, that I registered with, uh, no, with the watch. You'll board. get a notification. Yeah, you'll get a notification. Uh -huh. But go down to where it says community on the left menu. Uh huh. Oh, messaging. Oh, yeah, here messaging. we go. Okay. So click on the platform. The, mm -hmm. the, I'm, I'm pointing like, like I'm like an idiot. I'm pointing on the screen like you're seeing what I'm pointing yeah, at. Yeah. So go ahead and click on that. Yes. Ah, uh, here we go. And now that it opens up a prompt here. Interesting. So now okay. so it's like a chat, right? Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, I just right. um I got the message, I sent it back. And uh let me hit Let's send. see. Uh, meantime, uh, Gatsby, thank you so much for the five dollar super chat. Tim, you haven't asked the big question. How are you making big the question. money? Good question. Investors and ads. So, uh, look, see those ads on the right there? Yep. Those are just paid ads. Right. Um, and it's like it's so. So the problem that everybody's seeing here is like, you know, it's just it. Nobody it, like it. There doesn't seem to be. Um, uh, enough revenue that could be generated from something like this because people are not going to be coming back here like every day. And uh, like there has to be more reason for people to keep coming back to the to the app because everyone's worried like, hey, you know, uh, ads can only like, you know, how much how much money do you make from ads? What, four cents per view? 
And it's just people are not seeing. It's like it doesn't seem realistic that ads would be enough to to pay for something like this because. Well, yeah. yeah. So how, how do you keep people engaged on your platform after the initial registration of the watch details? Or maybe maybe you guys are not even maybe they're not even thinking about that yet. No, no, no. We are. Yeah, Cram mm -hmm. Hotspot's one example. And so uh, we might have a platform, a place where there's lives, like we'll have some lives, having the great Tim on or something like that. So we're trying to figure out ways to bring people back. Certainly open okay. for ideas. I mean, you guys are a whole lot smarter than I am. So um, uh, the, the crime hotspot, a lot of people tend to go back and take a look. As more watches get reported stolen, the crime hotspot map becomes more prevalent. So... Um, Tim, I don't know why we get beat up for trying to make this free. I really don't. I feel like we get beat up if we tried to charge as well. Yeah, so because we truly there's yeah, no there's no win in this one. Unfortunately, Steve, you're gonna lose lose right. You can only choose which which loss is less uh, detrimental, may, may, right? May, may I say something? Right? I, well, let, let me say I don't. Steve, yeah, well, Steve real quick, may, I'm may, sorry. May, let me just say something, Tim. I don't I don't may, see it as a lose. I just see it as no. I mean, there's just out. no publicly. There's just no uh, easy way to explain, like uh, you know, uh, because when it's free, you know, then people who are like everyone is worried that their info is going to be sold off, like uh, because let's say somebody comes in here, they input all their information, boom, and then we know that there's gray market dealers who are um, like uh, um, involved in this. What, how 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 do we know that gray market deals are not gonna have? They're not gonna have a, a back backroom access to uh, all the inventory because people are put, registering their watches. Um, how do we know that deal like Roman sheriff can't go in here and search for Submariner and say, "Oh, okay, we we see there's a guy he has registered. Well, let's call him. Let's see if he wants to sell it." You know how. We're Everything is tied to the yeah. Everything's tied to a certificate. Whenever you add a watch in, you'll get your blockchain certificate. So that watch, that certificate becomes you. We don't have uh, Roman or anybody like. They're not going to get a back end list of names and emails, and certainly not knowing what watch that you've added. We've we've separated that data. And so, if someone, if we were going to send a, a message to a Rolex owner, it wouldn't be to Tim Wright. It. It, it, how do I say? It? It's like it's an, it's this new idea of anonymous marketing, and so mm -hmm. how do you, if you want to market to someone, how do you market to them without knowing their personal data? Um, yeah. But it, selling the data has never been the business model for something like this. It seems like that that would be the thing. I, I know a lot of people keep talking about that, but what, what data? I mean, we are collecting your, your name and your email, and that's for the registration and access to it. But. Uh, um, you know, we're, again, we're just we're just a week and five days into this, and many different iterations. That's why it's taken a bit as we've continued to build this. We have a patent pending process on it, so I mean, it's been a really big deal putting together. But I'm but I'm really wanting yeah. to figure out how to better what you're looking yeah. at right now. Like, yeah. Uh, uh, it, my my biggest criticism for this was is just that this is too intimidating. There's too much info is like you're re requesting too much info up front there's no like an easy way to do this or or like do it in two parts where you start out with just a little bit of info and then you can add more info it just seems like this is too big of a time commitment to to even like i, I looked at this I was like ah oh, i'm not gonna bother with this it's just but, too much it, well it, and, and there's been a lot of watches added and there's uh, been a lot of positive feedback on that part I think the thing like making the, the wording smaller, mm -hmm. and by the way, that's my fault because, uh, you know, I was like, how do you fit this in? Well, in a full screen, it fits fine. But in a smaller screen, now I see uh, that, that issue right there. Uh, Gatsby, $5 super chat. You're getting beat up because you're asking us to provide very private information without explaining your business model. Ads will never sustain this, right? So that's... Like people don't believe that ads alone can sustain something like this, especially because it, it just requires like I like for me to sit down and fill this out. It'll take me half hour at least, at the very least, to yeah. put in all all yeah. of this. Steve, Steve yes. may I suggest Steve. like so, like you have a nice UI, it looks good, 
The Rolex Thank forums you. looks like it came came out of 1999. If you guys <laughs> add a forum section yeah. to this, that would generate traffic, which Great could then potentially idea. sell ads. So like familiar. add a forums where people can go and just bullshit and like shit post, right? Yes. And that will bring people back to the website. And then you could have like your individual like private profile where you have your watches stored, blah blah blah. Make sure like make sure security is paramount because I come from a cyber like I worked in cyber like cyber attack and defense and Lockheed Martin. Wow. Make sure your wow. cybersecurity like surface area is very small and make sure you do your homework. Mm -hmm. Um but yeah, that's a great way to generate traffic to your website it's just like honestly have a forum better than the rolex forums uh, you guys already hard. have a messaging platform so. here you can send messages between people it would be cool if there was a platform and if there was like people like paul thorpe here sitting answering your uh, questions like yeah he can paul, do amas yeah be great yeah and there's also you guys can have paid uh paid influencers who are like have certain times where they answer questions like you could say, hey, Paul Thorpe is going to be sitting, uh, you know, from one to two o'clock every day answering questions. And people can come in and, and you know, ask questions and there's going to be ads playing on the side. That's it's a I reason to come in and engage idea. with it. Yeah, yeah, that's a great yeah. idea. We thought about like having lives like um, um, coming onto the site with uh, like a light, like a live stream like yours and, mm -hmm. and having that inside the vault to create the traffic and stuff like that so it's really it, expensive to, to great do ideas things. yeah steve you know, i think I, uh i think tim had a pretty good question there with uh the user access issue um how does i i guess this platform prevent somebody from accessing a user's data for uh, manipulation as far as like the data has to be somewhere in order for you to find the serial number of the watch that is being stolen. So you could go in and say, hey, found your watch. Like that has to connect back to a user that owns um, that data. So for the data to be on the website, like it, it, it's not just private to that singular user. There's also data on the back end. And who has that, that access to that data? Like who are the owners? Data on the back end. So, first, you asked a lot of really good questions inside that. A lot of really good questions, and I think you also made some assumptions in some of that. So, um, the the data is compartmentalized. We um, separate your name and your that your name and email from whatever watches that you've added on there. I don't know what watches that you've added into there. I, I don't. Um, so. Uh, so neither would a, a Roman or anybody else who uh, might be a part of this. But um, gosh, you, you asked like ten really good questions in there, and I'm trying to, I'm trying to, with my ADD, trying to, to get it focused in on some of those those questions that you can, asked. Can I um, be honest? It, that was that was a pointless question. That was a uh, very much a pointless no, question. No, no, no it's, I think it's what, important. I think what he was saying. Yeah, what, what, yeah what I because think. if it gets hacked, uh, do people get access to this information, right? So there's, uh, there, there's, right. I, I, I explain it kind of like this. So for somebody you to communicate, a, so for somebody to communicate, like, okay, hey, I found your watch. It has to be mapped back to that. But, but how do you do that? That here, yeah. How do you? You don't. This is an intranet that's anonymous. So how do you know how to contact? Right now, we don't have a way that I can go and look at my. Um, in my messaging platform and find Tim. Mm -hmm. we, we kept everything anonymous. So when Tim said, "Hey, I found your watch in the bathroom," I should I had to know the reference, the 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 serial number of that watch. So that you that just was found your, the yeah. watch. It, yeah. It's just connected to that watch that lost a stolen watch. But what if it's and, the thief who contacts the person, and then they say, "Oh yeah, I'll come here," and then they steal and they steal a second watch from the person. That's huh. No, you. So okay. So like, let me explain. Okay. So let's say the guy con the 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 actual thief because the thief is going to have the watch and he'll have the reference number. He can go into the website. He can register under fake name, and he can contact the person that he stole the watch from, and he can say, "Hey, I'm actually the guy who found it." 
and can trick the person that that the watch was stolen from to steal a second watch or extort them for like or extort them yeah. yeah yeah i i would i'd immediately be taking that data to the police like yeah. you you've got you've got an ip address you've got an email whether he used a fake email or whatever he still doesn't know my name because i unless i say my name is steve allen here's my phone number mm -hmm. i mean there's there's but but you know, you the thieves, they're very good at, at, at getting that type of information out of gullible uh, uh, people. Yeah, we just have to keep communicating and, and educating. and Yeah, there has to, to be some to kind of a pop-up here that, that right, says, hey, right by idea. the way, you, know, that, that you could be potentially communicating with the thief of the watch. Be very careful. Do not disclose any yeah. personal information during this communication. So and actually... Yeah, this is the, it, the this should be an option here to ask for help so that there is an in, in, in intermediary between the two parties. Yeah, taking notes. Like what a great yeah. idea. Seriously, yeah. what a great idea. That's why I was saying his question uh actually there's some validity in that. We're just trying to dig through all of it and figure out what's inside there and what 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 was the piece that really brings value. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sorry John for Steve. the for the for the huge loaded question, I work in cyber cyber risk, so it's stuff that I ask on walkthrough calls like all the time with clients. Nice. Uh, by the way, we got another one for you. Uh, write this one down. What, the watch serial number. This should be answered twice for ver verification because sometimes you, you're entering numbers, Brilliant. serial number. You 100%. miss one number, you're screwed. Hundred freaking percent. Percent. Yep. Done. On the on that. Uh... Uh, issue of the, of the uh, serial number. Uh, when I enter, if I register my my watch on uh, the manufacturer's website, I only have to put the serial number, and then it returns all the information for the watch, uh, like what it is, the model number, and all that sort of stuff. Are you talking to watch manufacturers to see if you can have an API or you know or access to that information? Because then you can just request the serial number, and then everything else will just automatically populate to reduce the friction. The the start, the whole idea at the start was the private watch owner. And then yeah. how do we then, as the owners of a watch, how do we dictate how the watch dealers and the manufacturers come on instead of vice versa? Um, I think there's been some conversation about Inquiris, uh, which is a great, it's another type from the Richmond group. So they're starting from the manufacturer down. Mm, but okay. why don't we start from the individual back? And so when we get to that point, yeah, that actually makes a lot of sense. If a watch dealer puts the watch in the vault on the blockchain as uh, ground zero, time zero, when it was uh, birth, released, then yeah. that data follows with it. So, yeah, it, uh, that's, a, that's a really good idea. Now, we have thought of things like that and things about that, but it makes a lot of sense hearing someone else say it. it uh, I love it. It's a good idea. Gatsby, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Chat. He says that the, the reason you guys might be building some this this type of uh, uh, a comprehensive database because you 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 want to monetize it. I mean, fuck yeah, they want to monetize it. What kind of fucking stupid question is that? <laughs> no, it's not a question. It's a statement. Uh, but uh, is are these with the red dots? Are these these are required? Right? Yeah. Yeah, if it, is, if it has the asterisk, it's a, usually a required, well, not usually, it is a required piece. Um, yeah. On the photos, we need two photos. One is where it has a, a rotator where you're going to set the time. So yeah. it, mm -hmm. it, we at least have one more shot to make sure it is what it is. Mm -hmm. And then the front of the watch, if you, if you said yes, you have the original box, it's going to require a picture of the box. So mm -hmm. put yes. And... And, and, see then, it's, and then it required. makes it, yeah. Yep. I see. Yeah. Um, Tim, for uh, for those of us who are a little impatient, you can always save it as a draft. You don't have to finish through. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, save as a draft. I see. Uh, maybe I'll make it a, a better color to, to stand out. Yeah. Now, the data goes on the blockchain, so it's going to ask you twice. Are you sure you've checked everything? That's why I really like the idea of the double on the serial number. Because mm -hmm. um, you want to make sure you, you've documented that correctly. And then, you know, if one day you transfer the watch to another vault member, most of the data is transferred. You're just verifying it. 
And then you want to add in things like, did you have the, are, do you have the box? Do you have the papers? So there's few, there's less information on a transfer of the data than when you first put the data in. Hey, we got oh. the digital watch world IT department joining us. Give me all your information. I promise not to sell it. I swear. <laughs> Is this Diego? Let's go, Diego. Oh, oh yeah. my I gosh. See, I, I wouldn't like have Diego. ever felt like that I was a I true part of the... I just want your serial numbers and your address for no reason. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I swear I won't sell it. <laughs> So I, 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 I mean, I know it's a big need, shot, right? That's funny. Oh, yeah. I need your so social sweet. security number to verify yeah. your watch purchase. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Steve. Yes, sir. Um, yeah, I mean, this is a good launch. This is a potentially a good launching pad. You can use this information to launch um, as, as um, additional services. So you may be able to just, like, with a click, um, point to an insurer to see if you can get an insurance quote for your watch. Or you could use it to perhaps um, – oh, it's just escaped me now. Um, right. No, no, this is a good point because you want to – you can, Or you can find out the value of your watch on the market, so like watch oh. charts or Chrono 24. That, that, yeah, to be fair, that's all what we're thinking through on phase two, 100%. Yeah. But it's got yeah. to bring think, value to all of us. Otherwise – Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, but I think the, my, my question is – how is I, I'm, I'm sure you've done sort of your workshop in terms of different scenarios. Um, I think Buckley mentioned it. How is it going to stop? But what's what's going to happen if, say, um, someone who's stolen your watch tries to sell it to a dealer? Uh, what what's going to what's going to cause a red flag to highlight that it's a, uh, a stolen watch or, or it won't because if that dealer buys it and then subsequently it's found out that. Well, that watch is um, a, a, a stolen watch. They'll say, well, they'll say that it's just a civil case. You've got to take it up with your local police force. And, you know, that, you know we, we bought it in good faith. Jeez. Mm. Well, so I'll, I'll be here Tim to defend. Oh, sorry. To defend Steve a little bit for folks that are in the bike, like into cycling, there's a there's a similar type concept called bikeindex.org. And they basically you can register your bike with them and put the serial number and photos and stuff like that. And then if it's like if, if it comes up stolen, then potentially the information's out there. And also some insurance like agencies for like high end bicycles actually will request that you put your bicycle on there so that you essentially kind of almost have proof of ownership to some degree. So like this concept exists in like this exact format and this level of fleshed out in other spaces. Oh, maybe maybe we can very highly stolen. Link, link. I wanna send it to Steve. Yeah, uh, I'll drop in the private chat. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, it's just www. Thank you, Ray Ray, for two years super chat. I lost faith in God. Help Let's this community. Thank you, Ray. Let's Ray. say a user's um, watch gets recovered. Uh, does that uh, information get deleted once, I guess, does the user have access to update information on, hey, this watch has been recovered, um, it's no longer stolen anymore, or does it always say this watch has been stolen on the website? Yeah, so stolen watch data is not on the blockchain. That would not be on the blockchain, but that would be part of its provenance or history but it's not part of the blockchain. So as much as it was stolen it, and when it's recovered, that also become part, becomes part of its history, but that's also not on the blockchain. Now, when you're that, reporting that, the watch what, stolen... What your, name, your name's not Community Savior, but... I am what, a Community Savior. Cam. 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 We probably need to get back together. Cam? Cam? Yeah. Good, good, great question, Cam. I, I, I know in some of the past ones you get busted on, but... Uh, that was a really good question. Really good insight. Those are the kind of stories we haven't been able to have the time to, you know, fully flesh out and explain and and go through that stuff. Now, for but for yeah, verification, I Steve, I oh, I, uh... it's like I guess what, what I'm saying is like let's say there's an instance of fraud. Let's say I was the one that stole somebody else's watch. Let us know and... where you keep your valuable watches. We promise we will not share this information with anybody. Oh, Thank no. You. We've had a data breach. Please move as your watches are now 
compromise. Thanks, We're sorry. Thanks. Um, let's say, uh, let's say I were to steal somebody's watch, and I think Boston brought this up in the the comment section. If I were to steal somebody's watch and then enter the data as stolen into the website and block anybody else out from. Um, let's say the real owner of the watch from putting in that Please data. provide a copy of your keys so that we can confirm that you have the watches in your possession at any time. We promise not to intrude when you are not home. <laughs> how do you, how do you, I guess, um, keep that record there and not have that person go back in and, and delete it after it's been, let's say some time has lapsed. They say it's been a year since they've locked in the, the data that they've entered that the other user cannot a, be able to report on if it's a fraud instance. Hmm. Is there because a way? Because I can, I can, I can just go take I, I Tim's got, watch. I got so distracted by the robot. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I can just, <laughs> uh, okay, I can just, I could, I could take Tim's Daytona, right? And immediately as I take his Daytona, I can enter it as stolen on the website. So Tim... You'd be doxing guess, yourself, now. I mean, I can just enter a fake name, fake email address, a dummy email address, thank and then Evan, thank you. I, I got the information link. here. I got your little message. Thank you. That you're right. How do I? How do I? How How does that user be prevented from being able to change that in the future or to delete it? Is it always permanent? There because it's on the it, blockchain, right? Yeah. Is is it my computer, uh, Evan or Cam? Uh, yeah, I think Steve Steve is breaking up. His uh his internet is for some reason failing. Uh, Steve, you have like a really poor internet right now. Um, you might be check check your check your Wi Fi. Oh. Yeah, check yeah, your yeah. Wi Fi just real quick. Uh, because I also want to know who is doing all the 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 back room work. Is it AI or is it like you have people, staff working. AI? No, we're not doing AI. We have a That's... team. We have a yeah, we have a third party security company, and then we have a team. We have a team of software engineers, blockchain engineers, um, security. Uh, let me let me try to get my Wi Fi changed here. Okay. That's good. wow. That's Damn. good. That's thanks, Cam. Appreciate that, buddy. Okay, this yeah, one. I mean, it's a, it's a good safeguard to have having a, a third party security team. So if like anything happens, you can just blame that, that company. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, well, I mean, like valid, valid points and stuff like, you know, making sure that like, you know, yeah, PII is saved as ciphertext and not plain text and not relying on. Uh, it's such a good actors to maintain that, like may, may maintain like some semblance of information security. Like that, that's that's very important. Um, mm. Basically, there's a lot of very basic practices that, assuming you're doing very basic practices, I think this could potentially be a very valuable thing. And I think most of us here are in the camp of we want it to be successful, but we also want to have a critical eye on it because there's like I work in engineering. There's a lot yeah. of shit that I come up with that like other people like poke at that i didn't think of right so like uh, pl pl like yeah. uh, the goal is and i think you're taking it the right way is pl you please take this as constructive feedback and like, yeah. not an attack 100 so. percent. no 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 e e evan well said buddy and um if we truly want to be bringing something to the watch community and we don't have thick skin if somebody doesn't like it well, it's not a it's not an automatic reason to delete a comment. It's trying to figure out okay, what is it that they're not understanding? What is it they're saying? What is it that I don't understand? And how do we make this better? So, yeah. I, I I love the dialogue. I love the engagement. I love trying to figure this out. Damn, can we really trust this guy? You're the His first channel that I came on solo, up. by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Gatsby, five dollars super chat. Tim, he never answered the question. How are they going to make so much money to pay for these teams of people they employ? Oh, okay. It's, can you can you disclose? Yeah, I like, think that's, uh, the, that's like, the misnomer. 
can, can you disclose like about how many how many employees you guys are starting with? Is it like a team of like two three guys? Yeah, is it you know? But I mean, I don't know how 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 many how many people does it take to run a website like this? I mean, I'm assuming four five six six tops. Uh, but then you know, some people would have to be working around yeah, the clock I, verifying yeah. all this stuff. No, no, nobody's having to work around the clock to verify anything. No. Um, whenever you do a launch, you've got to make sure that you're always uh, you, that you you almost have your phone next to you in case something goes down, and you want to make sure that we have our protocols in place to get it back up. Um, we bootstrapped it; it's a bootstrap, and so it's just like any other business that ventures out. You either try to take on high debt, or you try to bring this on bootstrap. You know, uh, we we get this asked a lot. Mm -hmm. um, when it, when it has to do with blockchain and you start thinking things like how much time it takes to add data to the blockchain, how much it costs to add that to the blockchain, that was part of the patent pending process. That oh, shit. Cost. And so it's not, it's not as, I don't know how to, it's, it's not, um, it's a startup company and, it, and we're well funded at the front end. And we have mm -hmm. revenue to keep the runway going, which we have a big runway. So we really are okay. And I think as we start coming up, having great dialogue with everyone and uh, what are some other ideas that we can bring this on? And maybe down the road, there is something other that could be monetized. We we didn't think that through right now because we didn't need to. What, what we know is our model mm -hmm. works. So, um, yeah, so much money to pay for the teams like... Um, thinking can i disclose a lot of that stuff we got we have investors i mean we have to be careful on some of the things from the private side that we're talking about but we're yes. we're, we're good we're really good i mean i'm trying to be as honest you know okay. in, in this whole yeah. conversation from the it beginning. sounds like typical so far very typical startup model you, you, you currently are relying on halo investors to pump a bunch of money into it until you can get to a place where you've got critical mass of clients at which point you figure out a monetization scheme Maybe, maybe Steve. Maybe we can have a, a conversation that's, off. That's not air. an insult or anything. That's just a, that's just how startups function. Uh, Steve, uh, I have a question. Uh, do you have a stated policy on how you work with uh, you know law enforcement or tax authorities? Because you have this database of customers with all their valuable watches. Uh, do you have any policy where you resist any requests for information from tax authorities, or would you? Like readily comply with those. Oh, shit, that's I didn't even think of that. Um, wow. Hmm. This could be. Yeah, I think that's a question that you've asked in another forum before, and um, I haven't really had a chance to talk about it. So everything is still separated from the name and the assets. Um, we we have a, we have a 27 page terms and conditions that we put to comply to. Um, I, gosh, some, something about taxes. I mean, if, if you're gonna if we're gonna talk tax, I think you have to talk to your tax. No, no, no. Right? I'm 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 talking about tax authorities, right? For example, if the IRS it's comes it. to you and it's says I want problem. information on, say Tim, and you have possession of all Tim's watches in your database, we want access to that information. So would you resist you know, such a request or would you just comply? Oh, so if, if tax authority, if, if IRS, Anyone, tax contact, authority, law uh, enforcement authorities come and say, I want everything that you have on Tim, right? What yeah. are watches that he owns? And you have that information with you. Would you resist handing over such an information or would you just readily comply? What is your policy around that? They probably don't even know yet. Well, that's where the attorneys would get involved. I mean, yeah. I mean, we're not we're we're, we're based in the U.S., but um, you're you're talking to the to the guy who's a visionary of coming up with the strategy, not the operations or the attorney or you know stuff like that. But uh, I'll certainly ask the question for sure. Yeah, it's a good question. Um, it's a startup company, so it's not going to have. Sometimes really there's questions that are. Yeah. yeah, sometimes there's really good questions asked and I'm the wrong guy to answer the question, but that doesn't mean it's wrong, right? Yeah, well, you know what, Steve, I, I would love to... I'm on that. 
Yeah, Steve, I yeah. would love to to do like a show with you guys and uh, really, you know, get everybody together. And if you guys are interested, come on and uh, and like really go in depth on all of this stuff. Uh, America, ten dollars super chat. He's got multiple questions. How much money have you raised thus far? And who was the lead investor? Yeah, it's a private company. Yeah. So by me yeah. saying the answer, everyone's gonna yeah. dog pile me. But it's a yeah. private company. Yeah. Well, it's, maybe, like, maybe hold on hold on maybe steve right, maybe, right, maybe maybe we can have an off-air private conversation you can maybe put me at ease you you tell me which information i could absolutely cannot disclose maybe you can be a little bit more transparent with me personally and then so that like because I, I honestly i personally i don't feel comfortable recommending uh the 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 website right as as right as of this moment um uh, because like i just don't know who's who Thanks, are the Georgia. investors yeah you know but if you guys have a conversation with me and uh you put you put me at ease right and i could be like yeah you know guys steve steve told me who who like some of the investors are i trust those people maybe maybe you'll tell me and i will say hey steve told me uh, I can't tell who they are, but I don't fucking trust these people. You know, like I, like, like just you know. Well, and, and we're assuming yeah. they're investors that everybody would know. Right, but, right, right, uh, right. Okay, yeah. Tim. Here's it is. Don't say anything. Okay, Steve. Yeah. I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. but this is good clicks. No, I mean it's just um, you said be more transparent, Tim, yeah. brother. I, I'm trying to be. A, I'm, I thought I was very transparent. I love yeah. this channel. I'm a fan of it. I think the questions were great. I have a lot of stuff to think through. We're just a yeah. week okay. and a half into this. Okay, yeah. okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I don't want to keep you here for for too long. No, no, I, and I don't you... want to waste your. I mean, okay. like, no, no, no. I mean, look, you said also, you had uh, to. You had to. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, also, like, feel free to take a lot of these questions back. Like, I understand yeah. that, like, you're in a position where you don't have all the answers because you're not a you're not a technical lead for some of the stuff, and you're not like mm -hmm. a certain lead for certain things. Take these questions back. And feel free to like have your experts formulate answers and feel free to get them back to Tim so you can report back to the community yeah. and hopefully kind of quell some concerns. Like how much how much runway does the company have and where are your developers based and do you plan to obtain cost to cert what what is that what is the cost oh, it's cost, cost to report that's kind of out of scope for like a startup community like that's more for like a, a larger company that's like a publicly traded company are about to be publicly traded for audits of their their security systems but like can't hear anything i don't know what's going like, on like a lot of these questions are they're not really related or for for like a startup company like a, you're not gonna have a start to cert for a startup company or like he's not going to disclose his investors like that that's completely redundant kind of questions for mm. this kind of like it's not going to be within his process or within his scope to be discussing these things or to be implemented with uh the company at this point of of its growth at the moment so i mean so but do, do you know what a cost a car, car a sock two is so it's, it's a report a it's a report yeah. From like an uh, from like an independent. It's for, it's ask a, Tim. For, for their securities. Audit. Yeah. Yeah. What Tim? Tim, what's the sock too, buddy? I, I don't know. I don't. I'm not a technical guy. I just know that my uh, my Capital One card were, information was stolen today. So if if Capital One oh, can't keep my information safe, yeah, so they stole eight hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah, so I'm like, and that's a trillion dollar company. They can't keep, they can't keep my, in they they cannot keep my information secure. But at least their pockets were deep enough to to cover uh, the, the loss. Yeah, we're like, we're asking uh, really technical questions. Uh, here's here's some stupid people questions for mm -hmm. me. How many founders are there? Hmm. Uh, the coat and Paul and I. I mean, I, I think you somebody talked about some other names. They're, they're not founders. So you and Paul are the founders. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is and that okay? Yeah, that's oh. totally. I'm a big Paul fan. I'm just curious. No, I'm being. I'm being funny. Like, like. Uh, I'm just. Being funny. People, Sorry. people are it's, really it's curious. Late and my 
my humor sucks. People are really curious, like, where did this come from? Who thought of it? Is Paul behind it? Are you behind it? Is some guy who's a billionaire? Is producer Michael behind it, Steve? No, no, producer no, no. Michael? Here, here. So <laughs> this was my idea. I, I Maybe I, I thought I, we were talking about that at the beginning. This is not an idea that Paul contacted me about. It's an idea that I had, and it was a model that I wanted to bring into the watch space. I wanted to bring blockchain, but I wanted to bring it differently where it made sense. I mean, Tim, talk about if you if it was truly the way others are using blockchain, you would have yeah. thrown in the towel a long time ago, just add anything to any data to the blockchain. But then I was approaching a number of individuals, watch influencers, um, watch dealers about the idea. And when I met Paul and talked with him, it just seemed to make sense what I wanted to do and what was on his heart. And then we just started going down this road. Okay. So it's really that simple it's not like some billionaire wanted to do something and brought us on it really was i just wanted to bring something into the community and if it works yeah. great and and if we can make it better great by the way wristwatch check what watch are you wearing this is how this is the real test can if we can trust you <laughs> uh i'm gonna get beat up bad uh-oh Oh, it's, it's a hublot. Oh my god. Oh, Apple Watch. <laughs> no. I and guys, I'm gonna just tell you I love it, but I know I know I'm gonna get beat up bad. I have a zero west. I love my zero west. I love the history. <laughs> I'm a, I love history. Which one? Which I love one? History. The H one, the blackout. Steve, Steve, Paul paid you to wear that watch, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Zero West is one one of the the companies that's going to launch their watches with being on the blockchain. Correct? Like that'd be awesome. Yeah, that those are the, all that stuff's not done yet. It'd be fantastic. Mm. Gatsby, I hear you. Yeah, oh yeah Gatsby is um, he's pissed. He's he wants his up, voice to be heard. Up. He says, "Bottom line, until you can tell us where the revenue is coming from." I think Steve said, like, there's just there's not there's not going to be enough revenue coming in for now. The the truth is, Tim keeps telling me not to answer, so he keeps sending in super chats. No, no, no. Tell us, tell us. Well, the ads and the investors, but that's that's not going to be enough. It's not going to cut it, guys. Well, well, how how can, how can you say that? I don't know. Uh, I want to see the math. <laughs> I want to see the math. <laughs> okay, so. Radio right. check. Hey, it's good. It's good. Cam, do not worry about the IRS. Your information is held secure by password encrypted. No one can ever access them. <laughs> Just a password. Uh, original OC, zero worst is the kiss of death for me. I, for I formerly put my support for the digital. Wait, yeah. I formally pull my support for the off. The digital watch vault. Ooh, you're gonna have to get a better watch. Steve, how much are you I paying? Am. How much are you paying Andy Bins to store all these watches in the vault? <laughs> yes, I, I don't even know who Andy Bins is. <laughs> okay, <laughs> he's a spy but, who's sent to investigate the the digital watch vault. Um, oh, we're you just know, with you. accessing employee oh. database. Andy right. Bins, employee zero zero four. <laughs> Time of employment seventeen months. 14 days. Oh. Uh, well, let me just say, I, I do like my, I mean, guilty as charged, and I love my Zero West. Do mm -hmm. I think it's a Vacheron? No, my, for me, I want the Vacheron overseas. That's my, that's the watch I would like to work towards. And I'm fine with it being steel. If I can afford the Turbion, even better. Mm -hmm. But um, I also like the history. And uh, it wasn't Paul. It was one of Oshin's videos on the Zero West and seeing the history and the story behind it and the passion behind it and how he built that whole thing up. And again, I wish he was on because wow. I, I would want to just be able to say it, it's good to meet you because I'm such a fan of his work. Mm. And, and, and I know he's a deterrent as well. I mean, he's got some he's got some same thing. Like, how do we talk this through to figure this thing out? Yes. So. Anyways. I think honest, honest discussion, and uh, uh, you know, that it's the most important. You know, I don't, I don't want to sit here and just kind of 
praise you guys for everything you've done. It's uh, it's good. It's good for for like two thousands website. You know, right now people are so the HD HD. I just know from personal experience. Uh, I can't be bothered putting stuff in here. Like, I I rather have my watches stolen and just forget about it. Like if they're stolen, they're stolen. I don't care. Like I I, I couldn't be bothered to go in, fill out all the paperwork to get it back. Uh you know, it's just it's it's just gonna be on me. So the incentives you have to you know put in some incentives to to reward people with like even like a little badge or a little star. And then to so check this out, you know the community thing. Uh, if you guys create forums here, right? You every time somebody fills out all the details, you give them a little star, and then when they go into community message board, they get they get a little you know star under their name or a different color border, which indicates you know how many watches they've uh, they've submitted here, right? It's a little reward uh, for for people that they can then take and flex with in uh, in the forums. Well, you know, uh, again, it, it's, a, it's a clever idea. We wouldn't want anybody to know how many watches that you put in. It uh, could be like... I think, I think we have to be careful about that. But right. uh, nonetheless, like, did you go through the arduous process of putting your data in? Tim, it's really not that bad, buddy. It, it's really not. But and we'll for me, find a way. For well, me, it's uh, like pulling teeth. Yeah, okay. So then you're going to be the... Um, when I think of things, it'll be like, how, how would this help Tim? And that's yeah. a fair question. L that's, lowest that's common denominator, UI. Steve. Lowest common denominator, man. <laughs> <laughs> but but in all seriousness, like this has been awesome to to just have a chance to jump on. Who You're always I? I'm welcome. A, I'm a nobody. I'm just a guy who wanted to bring something into the community. I thought it was a really good idea. Um, yeah. I still believe it's a good idea. I hope everyone gives it a chance to um, to see what works, what they'd like to see different. I think the biggest thing, Tim, Evan. Yeah. Uh, and every, I'll get to know everyone's name uh, yeah. as we go along. It's it really comes down to the user experience and how you interact and how can we make that better? Because you want to put your data on the blockchain, bam, it's done. Uh, and remember, the blockchain is not part of the lost and stolen. It's two separate things. You have a mm -hmm. record your history and report a lost and stolen watch and check a database if you're about to buy a watch. So it's really, I guess, three things. But yeah. how do we make the experience better? How do we? Right. How do we? How do you more clearly delineate those things? Well, I think if I think again, yeah. if we're thinking of you, it's like how do we make this uber simple to get the data in and not feel overwhelmed? Like that, you pointed to that one box. That was just a general. That's not even a required box, and so we shouldn't make it look like it's. It's not required. I don't know why it looks like. That, it's that's required. why I think it would be cool if there was like. Uh, basic so that so that it's like hey first you can you fill out fill out these two basic things just to add the watches to your collect to your like collection and then if and then once the watch is in the collection then you can proceed to the second step where you add all of this data so that way well, you take the easy step and then once people are committed to taking the easy step then you can ask them to commit more time in, in putting all of this so like you phase one, you put in some of that data. Phase yeah, just two, basic data, the just the name of the watch and the picture. Yeah. And then yeah. it's good. And then once you you have your collection in there, you can start inputting all the nitty gritty de details. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I, I I just feel like that's personally for me that that would be a lot easier and less le a lot less stressful. Because I, I I look at this and it's like oh it's it's a scare it's a scary information. A clam, thank you so much for a massive twenty dollars wow, super huge. chat. Did you foresee thieves checking and entering stolen watches once they realize they haven't been submitted yet? Would that verify these watches as not stolen if they got submitted to the vault? Did you foresee? Well, no watch is verified as stolen. It's, it's and and. Uh... No watch is reported. Maybe the report is a better than, word than the verify, but no mm -hmm. watch is reported as stolen unless a member reports it. So if a thief took a watch and added the watch, I think to I'm report watch stolen, you need to submit a, a, a police report, correct? You should have a police report. Are you required to have a police report? No, it's going to ask you if you submitted a police report. Do you attest that you did a police report? But if you if you're mm -hmm. a member and you reported your watch is stolen, then um, 
if I'm if I'm looking for the watch and I do a search, then the person who put the data in is reported as stolen. Is what the if the thief who, puts it in is reported stolen? If the thief puts it in as reported stolen, yeah. For example, is, my, uh, for example, uh, our good friends Mike and Josh uh, were recently. Uh, uh, let me show you this, Mike and Josh. Oh, Jock, Josh, Mike and Josh. Let me show you this. Uh, so these are the two two close friends of the watch. <laughs> uh, oh, so, Mike and Josh. They were with. Uh, yeah. Um, they were with um, Woven. But they got robbed. Their... Yeah, they got Holy robbed crap. at gunpoint. They were just filming videos, and then bam, oh thieves came. Gosh. Yeah. Yeah, Paul, Paul thought he was the only one. Yeah, yeah. So come on, that's not fair. That's a little slam there. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, you know, I don't know how to get a hold of those guys. Um jeez, that is horrible. Yeah, and they stole about like ten half a million worth of watches. Yep. So uh, what I would be doing immediately is putting all that data into the vault. Um yeah. if if they put it in as stolen and somebody put it in as registered. There's obviously a message that we have to intervene and figure out how to. But here's another uh, problem. Those watches weren't even there. They were holding those watches on consignment from the from their from their clients. So they yeah. wouldn't be able to put it in. They would have to tell the, the consignees to put them in. We need to have a conversation with those guys. That's right. That's, that's, that's uh, horrible. Yeah. Yeah, I highly Marvel. recommend you give it, them a call and and see how how this could be. This is unbelievable. Is this on their channel? This is yeah, yeah, it's on their channel. Mike and Josh. Holy cow. Yeah. So, of I'm in the Dallas area. I am in Texas. I'm in the oh. Dallas area. Oh, you can go visit um, them actually then. Yeah, I mean They're, um Yeah. So, so a couple wow. of things I'd like to see also just for like the more techie folks of us in the community is would you be willing to post an information architecture on your about like an about section just so we can kind of see like what it looks like as well as like information talking about your encryption algorithms because is security by obscurity is not security and like the like if you have a good like if you have good security and encryption it doesn't matter if you know what it looks like it's still secure right so mm -hmm. that that would like i think appease a lot of like the more tech-minded folks out here if you if like you were willing to post that kind of information on like an about page yeah are there, so there, are there examples i mean obviously i get nervous not to talk about that but like i, I mean again you're not talking to a security tech guy but is that would that expose us with the things that we have out there oh, and, oh no um, like like uh, stuff like um like uh shit. Uh, what am I thinking of? Uh, it, there's there's a few companies that have um, like Signal as an instant messenger platform, as an open source instant messenger platform. Their source code is publicly available and they're he like heavily encrypted, right? So you can just go look at their source code and like and, and whether you know what their source code looks like or not, it doesn't matter. You're not going to be able to read their messages, right? So that's what I'm talking about. Something like that. Yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm My stomach is just <laughs> churning watching that freaking yeah understood but, like, these but are yeah, things yeah, yeah. To, like take back and, and maybe talk to some of the some of some of the experts like I, again i understand that you're not like the expert in all the aspects of this but like something to take back and like potentially like bring forward yeah evan if there's a way that i can even have a conversation with you and just talk through some of those things i would i would love to do yeah, that yeah shoot me an email i'll put it in the private but, chat uh, that uh i let me grab yeah. that real quick that is crazy yeah like holy cow and it just just happened and we had we had them uh, on the show just uh, like two or three weeks before this happened we were talking and we were talking about the insurance how uh, and it's that could be another thing that you know once people put all that information in you know that will be uh, all like, like if 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 putting all that information in and someone can just click a button and apply for insurance with those with, with all that information. I mean, is there a way to incorporate stuff like that? You know? Yeah, we were talking about things like that on a phase yeah. two. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is all, right. all important stuff. I Boston Collector says bottom line 
is that is that digital watch vault does not deter crime. It doesn't. It it, it that's not what it's for. But like if a watch is stolen, uh, I mean people could check if they're buying a stolen watch. That that could be. But then it's not even it's not a guarantee, especially at the moment because it's just it's a fresh platform. Chances are, I mean I don't know. Do you guys know how how many watches do you have registered right now? Is that a you can share that information? Yeah, there's a few hundred. I, I'd have to go and look at the numbers tomorrow. Okay. But um, uh, I was just, I just sent you an email, Evan. I want to reach out to the guys at, um, oh my gosh, it's just, that is really bad. That's really, yeah. really, really bad. Yeah. They're yeah. local. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm north, way north mm -hmm. of them. Mm -hmm. But, um, uh, and and to be fair, I did see the the uh, or I saw some scuttlebug about a, a robbery taking place. Mm -hmm. But to see it, yeah. Oh my gosh, scary stuff. Yeah, that is really scary stuff. Know, yeah. So somebody said, "Is this going to deter?" I think "deter" is a safer word than "reduce" mm -hmm. or "remove." Yeah. Uh, could it be a step towards it? It certainly can. But sure, um, it's it's just it's just adopting. Uh, so. Uh, you yes. see thieves checking and entering stolen watches once they well, realize they haven't been submitted yet. He either sent, a, sent you another 20 or we, we were talking about that earlier. Yeah. So it's like it's like they're saying, um, what if a watch is stolen, but that, but that information hasn't been entered yet? And they How... entered it as their watch, and then the, the real owner put their watch in, and now it sends a message to all parties that, this watch has been submitted. This watch is registered to another user. And now yeah. you need to have an intervention where. How do you they... prove? How does some. So, for example, let's say I put my information in. OK, let's let's just hypothetically say I put I put my my Submariner information. in, But look, I bought it on the on the gray market. Uh, and it hasn't been registered yet. Uh, and the seller may be. I, I, well, I'm even thinking like, okay. Anyways, let's just say I have I have my sub, right? It gets stolen tomorrow. I was too lazy to input it, right? It gets stolen. And uh, and then I go in to try and register. Uh, my watch is stolen. I try to input it and boom, actually it was already registered. And let's say I bought it used and I have no paperwork to prove it that this watch actually belongs to me. How would I how would I be able to convince you guys that whoever that the watch that's registered is actually registered to me and not to the guy who stole it from yeah, me? Yeah, and, and there'd be a reach out to the guy who originally put it in. Yeah. Obviously, they're probably not going to have any kind of feedback or any conversation. Yeah. So that's gonna be some red flags. I mean, Tim, it's a great question. Yeah, we have thought that through. Do we have the best solution that everyone's gonna go? <laughs> wonderful. No, we're still mm. trying to, um, yeah. th those things keep coming up. Uh, the processes that we have in place, everyone's going to shoot holes through and, yeah. and there could be a better one. And uh, yeah, there probably can be a better one. I, I think we're pretty good. I think we're on, on a really, really good start. But it, it all, I'll just come back to this and, and I really do have to go. I, I don't want to go, but I, I yeah. need to go. Yeah, yeah. no, um, I understand, I understand. It's, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a week and a half. And it's only going to be as strong and as good as the committee adopts it. You know, and I mentioned in Quiris and some of these others, yeah. that they're not having a co-founder jump on and saying, guys, what can we do? What can we do better? Mm -hmm. They're really dictating, I think, what they've produced. And we're at least saying, what can we do better? What works better? What, what doesn't work better? What's the point of registering all your watches anyway? Why not just enter the info if your watches get stolen? If that's what if that's what you want to do, then great. If you if you current if you entered your watch in, and you start remember it's all about documenting its history. So the moment you entered it in, then you had it serviced, and when I mean, you're documenting its its provenance, its history. So the sooner you get that watch in, the better, longer documented the history becomes. And it's a separate thing if you have a lost and stolen watch happen. So, yeah. um, Steve, on that, and, uh, sorry, I have a follow up. Have you tried talking to ADs, boutiques, gray market dealers? Because it feels that would be the right approach if you want to just populate a large volume of data onto your site. Yeah. And especially at the point of sale, right? Once you, you're talking about provenance, so have, you have the data from the point of sale 
how okay. many times that particular watch has exchanged hands instead of getting it to the end consumer targeted yep. at the OEMs, at the ADs, at the boutiques. Yep. So if this were gamification, you get the extra stars because that's brilliant. Yes, we have thought that through. Um, does it make sense on the watch when its journey begins from the watch dealer? Even better from the watch manufacturer. Those are the only two points in a watch's journey, from my opinion, that you can authenticate the watch. We, we wouldn't want to have Tim authenticating the watch. We wouldn't have me authenticating the watch. There's no trust in that. Yeah. And there's no accountability. But if um, if um, Wolven Watches added watches and, and they verified that the watch is authentic, they authenticated the watch. Certainly when a uh, – and, and Wolven Watches is um, was a watch dealer. If uh, the manufacturer uh, puts the watch in from start zero, then – that watch obviously is authenticated and its journey began there. But what happens to the person who has a watch from 1985, 1984, 1973? And obviously those watches weren't put in, but they can begin their journey the moment they put it in. And then just like, you know, keeping track of your, your automobile, you're just documenting all of those events. And the, the, the ecosystem of this whole thing can grow as we grow. And uh, I, I'm, I'm, ex I'm excited about the prospect. Yeah. Obviously, I, otherwise I wouldn't jump on a channel. It's going to be very channel. stressful for, for Paul. All of this is going to be very stressful for Paul. But you, you have a, a a lot a lot stronger character. I like you know, it. Well, here I I love Paul, and yeah. he's um, sensitive but, though. He's very sensitive. He doesn't like criticism. Well, you know why? Uh, this is what I have learned yeah. about Paul. Like he truly on the behind the scenes, he truly does care. And yeah. uh, does it? hurt whenever he's trying to do his best and trying to bring value and help of course it does i mean who mm. who wouldn't so um but he's the man i get to talk to every day spend hours on, uh, at a time since we've been doing this and mm. i and i get to see who he is behind the scenes and i hope i'd have enough character that if i thought that there was an issue that i wouldn't move forward with him but i i i, I like paul i think he's a good guy i think he has a great heart and I think at times he's um, th that the, the the spilling of what he's trying to do. People, it's it's easy to to take advantage of it. I it hmm. stinks it, to me. It sucks. It's, it's not always uh, fair and right. But uh, he's he's a good guy. He's a good guy. And uh, how do you not have friends and enemies in a public forum? I, I'm yeah. not even watching the comments, but I'm sure <laughs> you know. I've always said it. Dang, I don't want to get on because they're going to call me, you know, like the, the dude needs to lose some weight. You're right. I do. <laughs> but, uh, you know, how do you how do you not get past all that stuff if you're going to make yourself like, a public figure? Yeah. Yeah. Like for you, Tim. I mean, I'm, I'm a, again, I'm a nobody. I'm just a guy who had an idea who wants to bring it into the watch community. And I don't mm -hmm. have any platform or anything like that. I'm not even looking for a platform, but you do. And yeah. so you, you got to balance all of this stuff and and clever in how you move forward with your interviews and your data and bringing people back and same thing yeah. we're trying to figure out yeah so guys i, I should go steve yeah. thank you so much for for hopping on today uh in the future hey if you want to schedule something to talk about this a little bit more in depth with uh, with your crew just contact me let me know when uh which, which days you are get you guys are available we can we can schedule that and uh, obviously you just want to talk watches you're always welcome on the show okay i'm learning about watches from you guys yeah. i wish i had the the background that you all do I'm the just best learning. place to, the best place to learn watches because we don't bullshit uh, i don't i don't lie we just tell the absolute truth because all of us we, there's no there's no mo there's no monetary incentive for me to say one watch is better over the other because i'm not making money on watches i'm making uh, i'm making money by telling uh, the truth and uh, how I actually feel. So this is why this is such a good a good forum, Steve. So I'm still allowed in if I. Of course. Even though I love, I, though I love my Zero West. Of I course. Yeah, I, I love yeah. the story. I, I yeah. you know, I get a lot of criticism from from my viewers for not totally hating uh, Zero West because, like, I think out of the micro brands, I think there is a niche audience who would really appreciate it. Like, uh, I I met a gentleman in line for uh, for Blank Pond Watch, and he was a huge train enthusiast, and he was showing me he was gonna buy a ball watch that had an engraving of a train on the back, and I told him, dude. 
Forget about that crap. Get the get the Flying Dutchman with a with a piece of an actual train that's cool. in the back of the watch. That's much cooler. And the guy was like, "Oh my god, that is you're right. That is much better." What the f and then engraving it's a laser engraves. It. Who cares? It's garbage. So the 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 well the the zero west has a part of the engine of the plane that was a significant role during that battle. Do I think it's a Vacheron? No, of course not. No. That that's the watch I'd like to have. It's the Vacheron with the blue down still. Love it. Yeah. The, the still. So yeah, that's time to buy. one one day. It's a good time to buy right now. Can't yeah. clam, you can't validate a watch, buddy. Can't validate a watch. Thieves will be the first ones to va to not very on our platform. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, the only one who can validate is a watch dealer. And we have a vetting process to go through for the watch dealer. So you don't just get to sign up as a watch dealer and have access to all this stuff. You can sign up as a watch dealer and check out the crime hotspot map, but you're not going to be able to add data because, um, you know, you'll be able to validate a watch or verify a watch is authentic. But um, guys, uh, it's been an honor. It's been a pleasure. Look, hopefully, if I'm welcome back, we'd love to come back. Um, Please keep providing the feedback, Tim. Um, I, I got yeah, Evan's email, and I sent him an email. He's welcome to share Great, it with man. you. And uh, if there's anything that you can think of that would make the experience better, I, I would love well, to hear it. We'll make honestly, sure. Right? It's a process, right? Yeah. It's not like everything we oh. talk about automatically happens. It's a process. It's I it's a live site. I'll, so, I'll give you my WhatsApp number so, so that if you need to get in touch with me, uh, you have my number as well, okay? It's in awesome. the private chat. All right. Thanks for coming. You uh, walked into the tiger's cage. Yeah. So you should What's be applauded. That? This is <laughs> the right stream is the tiger's cage. It's, it's oh, yeah? So oh, yeah. I'm sure you see the comments. <laughs> I, I did. I had, to, to be fair, I wasn't watching the comments. I just it's probably, the best. It's probably best. Yeah, probably best. That's why he's, best. I'm sure it's. To start it's out with, but it's yeah, you'll it's get fine. used to it after a while. You but but appreciate it. you hopping on. You know, it, yeah. it takes a lot of balls to do that, um, especially when you kind of know coming into it that there might be a lot of critical feedback. So we appreciate yeah. that. Expect always expect yeah. critical feedback. It's it's something new, something different, um, and there's personalities. And you know, I'm learning that uh, for whatever reason, good or bad, I think it's wrong. But there's uh, fans of Paul, and there's not fans that are not fans of yep. non fans of Paul. But um, you know, I'm, I just. I just uh, jumped on. I, I um, saw that you're live, Tim. You guys were talking about it, and uh, thank you for letting me just come on. I hope I hope it came across uh, the intention just to try to answer as best as I can, and and I just want to learn fantastic. More. You you did fantastic. Well, thank you so much, guys. Much appreciated. And I got a uh, little. I got to go get my son and daughter and get them in bed. All right. Have a good night. Cheers. All we'll right. Talk Thanks, guys. Yep. Cool. Cool stuff. There we go. Very interesting. Very interesting developments. Look, it's tough starting a website or doing any any kind of a project like that. It's it's pain in the ass. So uh, it was very, very brave of Steve coming in and just taking the, all the heat and, and being open-minded that we're, we're not we're not trying to wish or we're not hoping that this thing fails. We're we're literally trying to poke as many holes so that hopefully some of them could be fixed and the, the website will be better. Speaking of holes, we'll see. What's up? Two minutes too late. Good evening. Oh, you don't think you don't think that was timed perfectly? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> OC doesn't want to have anything to do with the digital watch vault. Don't know anything about it. I am registered. I just haven't put my watches in it yet. But oh, it's pain in the time. ass. Who has the time? Did you see how much info you have to submit? I haven't. I haven't yet. But I, I will. Yeah. I will try. I don't know when, but I'm registered. I have an account. Want to give it a shot? Yeah. Cool. Uh, Ray Pat says, "Tim, can you get a the cyber guy on?" That's Evan. Evan is here. Yeah. The cyber guy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he's talking about. Oh, is he talking about Cam? Right, talking about Cam. Oh. By the way, ha does ha does wearing a watch like this give me more credibility Ooh. than Mister? Wow, you haven't worn this for a year, OC. No, I, I I wore it three weeks ago. I wore it once three weeks ago. Once, and then before that, a year. 
Amazing. I wanted to buy that watch. By I don't way. think he was wearing a watch. I don't, I don't think he was wearing a watch at all. I think he just said Zero West because obviously Paul is a big supporter of the brand and they are a financial supporter of Paul Thorpe's channel. Mm -hmm. But I don't think he was even wearing a watch at all. It's not, nothing bad about that, I'm just saying. Sometimes I don't wear a watch, like yeah. right before I go to bed. Oh, yeah. Do you guys wear watches to sleep? I don't know. No. No, I don't. I can't. I can't do it either. Yeah. I I wear I wear it if I'm like in some weird environment. But you know, like I some. Wait, I wasn't, wait, wait. What do you mean? What do you mean weird environment? What does that mean? Weird environments. If I'm sleeping on somebody's couch at somebody else's house. Oh, okay. You know, like <laughs> weird environment. But but then what I do is I'll 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 I'll. I'll I'll use the extension, the micro extension, to loosen it up a little bit, so that it's not like really tight on the wrist. <laughs> Tim's bed is weird environment. Steven Monash, three dollars super chat, super sticker. Ooh, it's a reminder to hit that upload button, guys. Yeah. Uh, come on, don't be lazy. One hundred forty-five people watching. If you join the stream uh, from Machines, if you were in transfer over and you stuck around here till now. Uh, make sure to subscribe. Give give me a subscribe. Hit the bell icon. You know, only like fifteen percent of the audience has the bell icon on. It's outrageous. It's outrageous. Come on, guys, don't be lazy. Uh, hit the bell icon. It's so simple to do. Actually, I'll show you how to do it. Uh, one second. Let's go to the Watch Community channel. You, you need to give uh, instructions on how to press an, a button that looks like a thumb. Yeah. Oh, are you talking no, about no, no, no. How to how to hit the oh, bell icon? Notifications. Yeah. yeah how to turn yeah, on the you notifications. Wanna, guys, if you go on the home page, there's a subscribe. But subscribing is not is not good enough. Uh, you want to hit the all. You want to get those notifications. That that way, when we go live, you get the little thing notifi notifying you that hey, now we're live. It's on your it's, phone, it's like really, this this little this little yeah. banner comes up up at the top and flashes uh -huh. like hey. The watch community channel just went live. You have to drop everything immediately. Yeah. Fucking look at this. Everybody shows up after he leaves. Hey, look at this. I just got home. What are you talking about? Yeah, look where at this. How convenient. <laughs> Let me check my avatar. I was oh. at the uh, I was Wrong at the one. Taylor Swift era's movie with uh, Mrs. OC. It was fantastic. I only yeah. cried once. Oh, you cried during Taylor Swift. It was one. It was. It was. It was one tear. It wasn't crying. It was just one tear. Accidentally rolled down my cheek. Uh, and by the way, OC, we had Ashin on earlier today. Good, good. It's, he's back from a uh, six-week uh, video shoot. He was doing a six-week video shoot in Ireland. Can you believe, wow. yo? Can you believe how much footage he probably uh, amassed? It's probably oh like. God. 7,400 hours of footage to be there that long. It's going to be a long film. Ray Pad, thank you so much. Oh, my God. Ray Pad has been a member for 22 months. How the hell is that real? Get job tonight, Tim. Uh, no dick sucking on the stream. Gr oh, good job tonight, Tim. I'm, not, I'm no longer suck dicks, okay? I have it, – it's been a long process, okay? It took me uh, – because it, it's – it's a thing, you know. It's not human nature to to ask those hard questions. You want to be easy on 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 people, but you know, I, I'm I'm at the point where I feel comfortable. I don't give a fuck anymore. Uh, and M fucking J ten memberships drop. Thank you so much, M J guys. If you got a free membership from M J or David H or who else was dropping memberships today? Uh, say thank you to them. It's it's a polite thing to do. You know what's important, Tim? Tonight, yeah. Cam came on and proved that he knows more about business and cybersecurity than America does. And I think he knows more about business. He knows more about investing. knows more about securities. Yes. yes. Cam, America. Cam, Cam. Pussy whipped America, and America needs to jump on and defend himself. I, By think, the way, I think we should give Cam a wrench after tonight's performance. I think so. Shout, too. I think, yeah. Huge shout out to Ryan Singer, to Arditon, Kent Daigle, uh, Boisidus, Mr. Daytona, Mr. Skydweller. Shout out to the haters. That watch guy, London. Hey, Gavin, nice to have you watching. Simba Garner, 
TB Profile 12 and McKenzie, they all got new memberships courtesy of holy shit michael courtesy of mj and by the way look at this we can pull up the comment we can pull up the comment now that the memberships were gifted you know two days ago literally two days ago uh when, when i when i when i was in uh what's it called the hiking thing uh i had the the watch uh, no no the the watch apprentice the watch apprentice dropped like memberships and because i was streaming from single computer i couldn't see it, the membership gifting and then boom today we get this feature added now we can bring them up we can no longer miss these things thank you so, streamyard for the new feature fucking streamyard america, america doesn't even know what an soc2 certificate is <laughs> bro they didn't even <laughs> It's supposed to be this big shot. <laughs> I'm just Google that shit. They didn't even need one. America's trying to, ooh, I know the business. We can't whip them right into shape. Platinum Daytona or Platinum Day Day can't buy brains. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, you know, but you know, I can't listen. The watch flipper outsmarted him. Shout out to Cam, community savior. It's a moniker that. Maybe accurate. The community. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I went to dinner with someone from the community, and they've only been, it was amazing. They've only been in the community since like June. So we're kind of going through the characters at one point in the dinner. Mm -hmm. I'm like, do you know Cam? And the guy just goes, <laughs> <laughs> He knew him. Huh? Yeah. Because I was asking him, like, have you ever heard of, like, he didn't know who Soraka was. He oh, barely, knew, barely knew who Archie was. Didn't know the backstory of Marcelo. Wow. And we're talking ADs and all that. I'm like, you ever heard of Cam? He's just I, like, oh, jeez. By <laughs> the way, by the way, I don't think a lot of people actually know that Diego is actually originated from Austin Daniels' live stream. We wouldn't have, we, we would have never had Diego on. Never. In the watch. I wouldn't have known. I wouldn't have known. Yeah. If it wasn't for Austin fucking Daniels, guys, how cool is that? Shout out to Austin, my boy. And shout out to Steven Monash for gifting five memberships. Yo, it's right. perfect timing, too, because we had a, a sheen transfer over audience. And so we got a lot of new people watching. Thank Sam, you so Jason B, SJ Singh, Watch World, and Lamados50. These are new, new people. Members. I've never seen these people like the Sam, right? He's never been in the chat. As, as okay, I know SJ uh, Singh, but Watch World probably never. And then Lamedos Fifty. What the fuck is that? Uh, say something. What well, watches do you have? Yeah, By the way, guys, the if it's your first time watching, let us know what's in your watch collection too. So, uh, what that time that we start talking watches, or or you guys want to still keep going with the with the digital watch vault, or that's I missed the whole thing, so I got nothing. I missed it Fine. too. I missed it too. I'm just, I'm just a humble guest. I just jumped on. You know what's cool. interesting though? I had a guy probably two years ago reach out, cold reach out on uh -huh. Reddit. On he Reddit? Like, Would you mind uh, having a phone call to discuss your interest in uh, wristwatches and blockchain? Huh. So I was hmm. like, sure. So message him back. And he called me and he essentially was just like asking a lot of questions about where I get my watches, why I get them, just nothing to, that had to do with digital watch vault. But he was like, I'm, I'm writing a thesis on blockchain and how it can be used for watches. Hmm. Interesting. So I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's uh, involved with this or what, but hmm. yeah, I usually and answer phone calls from random strangers and provide them with all kinds of private personal information about my watch oh. collection as well. Star 67, baby. Shout out to, by the way, say I want to say hi to Buckley, Evan, and Johnny O. Hello, guys. Hey, Hello. Yeah, we're shaking us. See? Are we having fun yet? What's that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's good to, see, good, to see, good to jump on after the movie and see you guys still streaming Nothing on fun. a Friday night. Nothing and sock too. Evan, you need to change your icon to this. 
<laughs> uh, to be fair, I have the mustache in real life, so I guess yeah. That sense. <laughs> the guy fox mask. Yeah. Exactly. Remember, Tim, remember Tim when we used to be on a stream and someone would say something funny, and within like ninety seconds there would be a troll account about it in the chat. When what happened to those days? Where is the troll account for those. for for sock two? whatever sock two test or whatever it yeah. is like that that should have been, that should have been an account by now but they're, 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 they're slacking the audience is slacking they don't and they don't invest the kind of creativity that they used to right? yeah well that guy you can't blame that you guys that that, that guy is not around because you 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 block that guy that guy was never an issue what are you talking about <laughs> buckley's milkshake well, yeah well say. everybody knows who that guy is irl so I have yeah. no idea. You guys demand that, that he's kicked out. So what can I do? Uh, Daniel Katz, 279. What movie? OC. Taylor Swift movie. The Eras, the Eras concert movie. It was good. It was, it was me and uh, oh, 100, 100 screaming 21-year-old girls. Oh, my Ooh. God. Ooh. I, thought you, I thought you were into Asian boys. <laughs> it's on Saturday night. It's Friday night <laughs> of legal age. OC mixes it up. <laughs> Small G, by the way, rebranded. Did you see that? Small G is now G, just the G, no G I. He's completely rebranded. It's a subtle rebranding. Yeah, he's what? Small G now, like Warren G. Oh, that's not cool. No, it's. Oh. I think it's. It simplifies it because why would it be G I? That's like doesn't make sense. I like. The, yeah. I, I approve of the new branding. Like, speaking of things that don't make sense, Daniel Katz. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel Katz does not make sense. Sure. Daniel, do you have your do you have your tickets to the Taylor Swift concert movie uh, this weekend? Yes or no? Absolutely. Good. No. Good. No. <laughs> oh, I can see you there, singing along, dancing. Yeah, maybe, maybe. I I kind of like what she represents, so. I, I'm not. What, what, what do you think she represents? Songs, really. Oh, what does she represent to you? Um, I, um, I can't articulate right now. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> He's a comedian, Tim. He chokes under. He chokes under the slightest pressure. I mean, it's it's unheard of. Hi, welcome to McDonald's. Can I take your order? Uh, I can't articulate that right now. <laughs> But he's the uh, nicest guy. Oh my god! He can do okay, great acrobatics. I'll, but... I'll just suck it up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Daniel! I can't! I can't wait uh, to see Daniel. Really? Okay. Yeah, we'll have we'll have some fun. I'll send you a picture. I'm gonna send you a picture. So, what's the verdict on the watch fault? Is it useful? Is it useless? Uh it's beta. It's so still under construction. It's it's still like so far away from a functional product that I caught the part where he said they've got a couple hundred watches in the vault. Yeah, and I was like, oof. That's with Paul Thorpe's reach and producer Michael and Roman Sheriff. Come on, is this what I'm saying? People are Roman, late. Roman's vouching for the vault. Roman, yeah. No way. Yeah, yeah but not vouch vouch. Just regular uh, yeah. The robot said it all. That's all I know. He yeah. Fell down. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> just get insurance. Just get insurance. <laughs> and just, uh, yeah, you don't need them. You, you can have your own vault at home. <laughs> so, like, the, the, the two things I can potentially see and not to like justify or validate but like if you think of it more like watch carfax right mm -hmm. so you, you remove papers and then you suddenly have like a record of bought serviced sold potential right there's something maybe there uh, again like I, I just don't know what the size and scope of the market is for that kind of value i'm not listening um, to evan I'm just so proud of the audience. The audience. There it is, sock two. There it is. Can I'm so OLED proud of the audience. Tim Wright LLC's third party entities. Yeah. Dang. That's, so, that's what I'm talking about. Putting out bail bonds. 
<laughs> All right, then we've got Anderson and, and Cohen. I, I like Anderson the shield logo too. That's great. Yeah, <laughs> sucked. Compliant. Wow. <laughs> uh, pretty good. Okay, yeah. then maybe I didn't know who this who this account was. It's interesting. Maybe it's Johnny O. I didn't. Mm. Uh, Can't be Daniel. No, but I was it's just actually so funny. funny. Um, <laughs> Diego doesn't have troll accounts. <laughs> I had two, and you guys knew, know who they are. So, the American Dark Patriot. Patriot. Oh, American Patriot. American Patriot. And then the other one. And who? Remember when everybody used to salute? <laughs> oh, say, oh, say they you see. see. Know the rest. Don't know the rest. Mm. Cheers, cheers, guys. To cheers and not to compliance. Nazdorovia. Nazdorovia. Good stuff. <sighs> Look, go. I need Let's incentives. I, it's just I need incentives to put to put my sh shit in. It's, it's it's hard. Sometimes people pay me like big money to do something, and I I just. Don't do I don't it. have the time. I like. I don't even have the time to. Let, and then you get paid to do something. That's that's and that's what happened to ZPG. He just didn't have the time. The right only now. way, the only way, it works, is if all these companies, when they sell their watch, it gets put into the database. Right? It's already done. It's like it's like AP insurance online. If your AP gets stolen, you just you can prove that it's your watch. With the AP website, right? Yes. What's not True. gonna work is a bunch of people whose watches haven't been stolen giving up their information to a website where the servers might not even be. I mean, where are these servers? Oh we don't even well, know. In what country? In what country are the servers? Who has they probably just rented from GoDaddy or a server website, a hosting what? platform. Questions, questions, questions. Oh, good. You Boy. would hope that with that kind of information and those dollar values, that they have physical access to the server. <laughs> oh, damn! Boston Collect says, "Tim, I was waiting for you to ask if TPG is a digital watch vault ambassador. Is he? Uh, he's going to be the verifier." The PC has been going so hard all night. <laughs> <laughs> all night. I think the a digital watch vault and Paul Thorpe's participation in it creates a visceral reaction from some people. Um, yeah, yeah, because a lot of people there they really don't like Paul. He he's like, I look, I. It's he's the godfather of the gray market, and they don't like the gray market. He's the yeah exactly. He's the he's the old retired. Uh, <laughs> They ret the retired, like uh, former oh, former chairman of the board of the cartel, who is a, is an honorary chairman at this point. Yeah, and uh, people look at him as such. Uh, and by the way, I was I was I saw a little bit of Ashin's yeah. uh, have a drink with Ashin thing earlier. Who needs a drink? Who needs a drink? And he was talking a lot about how Paul Thorpe, like the motivation for Paul Thorpe participating in the digital watch vault, was that he's been talking for three years about watch crime. And that this was all an elaborate ruse to set people up to uh, sign watches up with the platform. And I, I don't think that's all Paul Thorpe talked about mm -hmm. for three years. Uh, it's like crime in London and things like that. Most of the stuff that Paul talked about was defending gray market dealers <laughs> and defending watches as an investment. That's what he spent probably 75% of his time talking about. Mm -hmm. Why gray market dealers are good. Why you should trust trusted gray market dealers you know it's a great time to buy watches are great investments rolexes are great investments. so yeah he talked about crime a little bit and he always talked about the that uh the watch the rolex stolen watch register or whatever it was bring back the rolex uh stolen watch register or whatever and some crime but really it was about being the patriarch and overarching defender he's heavily of gray market. sponsored by the cartel Paul Thorpe's channel is not about watches. Okay. You have to look deeper into the meaning of his videos. 
right. It's about change. It's about change. It's about. And it's about understanding. It's about giving back to the watch community. It's about philanthropy. Yeah. America two two eight two three six ten dollars super chat. It's digital. It's for watches. It's a vault. What don't you people understand? It's being guarded by Andy Bins, and I want to know what's inside. He will tell us all eventually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Andy. It's very easy to stand by. Crack. I just got an encrypted image. Hold on, <laughs> having to uh, put it through my software might take a few minutes. Uh -oh. The one thing that they did get right was the company name because the company name is fucking perfect. Digital Watch Fault. I mean, America's kind of like uh, being tongue in cheek about it, but the reality is it's it's blockchain based. It's about watches and it keeps your watches safe or it's about keeping your watch information safe. It sums up everything in the title of the company, which is really hard to do. It's digital. Oh, yeah. idiots. Yeah, this is um, Mrs. O.C. got the Taylor Swift, the Eras Tour commemorative soft drink oh. cup and the commemorative popcorn tin. Oh. Yeah, that's 30 bucks right there. Oh, my God. Not only did she did, did Taylor Swift make $100 million in movie tickets, but now she's probably going to make 20 or $30 million more on merchandise. Jesus Christ. That's crazy. That is... <laughs> Crazy. So what you're saying, OC, is she she bangs Kelsey, not the other way around. Who's Kelsey? Oh Jesus, fuck! That's a football player, OC. Uh, oh, I see what you're saying. He's a football player that smiles a lot, OC. Yeah, they're they're uh, apparently they're dating. Daniel somehow came up with a uh, a uh, description of Travis Kelsey, not Taylor Swift. Sorry. That's right. <laughs> oh, that's what you were today? <laughs> Me? Oh my God. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Johnny. <laughs> oh! oh. Hey. Information has leaked. Bam! Andy, <laughs> stealing the information straight from the oh. vault. He's safeguarding it. What are you talking I think about? he's defending. He's, he's protecting the vault. This and you know this is official because they got the logo. Snatching quarters. Wow. Yeah, this this wouldn't be made up in Photoshop yeah. or whatever. This is this is actually an it. this is actually an Pretty audio cool. file. Hold on, let me let me click play. Come and steal these watches, I tell you. <laughs> Try and get the digital watch vault. You pay the price. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, yo, Rose Paul is about to come on hammered and talk about everybody's dick. Oh god. Oh, no. oh, what? No. oh. Yeah. did anybody else get uh messages from him asking for dick pics or is it just me? <laughs> <laughs> he told me I was all two hours. Years, so I just said fine. Oh my god. <laughs> Listen, whatever you do, don't make him defend the brands against the collectors. <laughs> That's not what he's here to do. It's not what he's here to do. He's just uh, here to drink rosé and like talk shit. I love it. Like, <laughs> what we have to do is we have to get him and uh, OC. <laughs> no, don't be a bitch, Rose. You got to come on. We want you on. We're just kidding around. Don't be. Don't no, no, no. Come on. Tools. Up on the strand. <laughs> Up on the strand. Don't be like that. Yeah, he's. Up on the strand. He's, he's had a bit too much over Dude, he's trying to establish dominance. <laughs> oh, dude, he, listen, last week he showed he has thick skin. Don't go back now. Yeah. Go back now. No, he was. Nothing, he's screams, good. nothing screams dominance like Rose. <laughs> Paul's the kind of guy that'll go. To, Paul's the kind of guy that'll go to the urinal next to you when there's like six open. <laughs> exert his dominance. It was good when America was on asking Rose questions last time. It's Rose. It's very Rose. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. It's for hard that. to. It's hard this to find the e with the. It's hard to find the e with the accent over it. Where do you? I mean, who? Where do you find that? Yeah, it's oh, not an ASCII keyboard. 
this the guy's got some sadistic Washington House of Cards type shit going on. Okay, Rose, please come on. Please, we want you on the panel. We got, actually, there's two spots to make it a perfect Brady Bunch. Yeah, Rose and by three configuration. And Rose in America. If he's still around. How's the same doing, Please, please, Rose, a, hop on the stream. Come on, please. <laughs> We got to get him on, and we got to get him, and we got to get them both really drunk, and then we just say, "Which country makes the best wine?" And then we watch them duke it out. <laughs> we watch them fight. <laughs> Guys are absolute maniacs. Or here. just ask him his opinion of the offshore. <laughs> it's gonna be like he'll say the worst things about that watch. <laughs> Did he? Oh, I'm sure he would. Speaking of offshores. Ooh, yeah. What's this? what's this? Tim dropped the link for Rose. That was yeah. Uh, he got it. The link's in the chat. He can find it. Remember, you put me in touch with the guy that was coming in town. Yeah. 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 We went to dinner. It was pretty nice. Good. What'd you guys have? I had it was a French restaurant. I had steak frites, which uh -huh. was amazing. Uh -huh. Better than what I had in Paris. Uh -huh. Wow. And he had beef something. It was like a uh -huh. stew with noodles and like mushrooms oh, nice, and nice, nice. wine sauce. Who has an AP Royal Oak diver? That's nice. Is that is that the machine? Oh, mm -hmm. Valley, That's dog. the green one, right? Yeah, That's the green one. Wow, was he a big guy? Yeah, pretty big guy. He he did the watch justice. Nice. Um, Look at how much bigger the lugs are end to end versus your Patek. Yeah. Oh, I got a wrist shot. Let me send you the wrist shot. Wait, that's that comical. Is a big wrist, right? Yeah. SOC2 compliance officer after a thorough five part audit review of the digital watch fault, uh, incorporated, uh, parentheses, the client. The findings concluded that the client is not in compliance due to the failure of providing tangible revenue streams. Oh, wow. Thank Damn. You. What the fuck? To me, uh, link for Rose. Wow. Oh, that's there. Never mind. That option was a big one. Huge. By the way, Buckley, I, I told I told the Sheen that like if you probably if you got uh, an offshore in uh, in in Italy, you you wouldn't have sold it, right? Yeah, I would have got it really cheap. Yeah, really cheap. Hey, Rosé, old day. All right. Rosé, welcome house. back. Here we go. Hey, so I've, been th I've been thinking about this for a while. I, I got a, I got a, I got, I got a chat with Buckley for a second. Uh oh. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Every week this guy comes on and comes after me. <laughs> no, no problem. Here you go. Great theater. Right. Take you want to chat a, with Buckley? Take, take, it as, take it as a compliment. You might be the smartest guy on the panel. Uh, so here, here, you're offending all the other panelists, then. I got to figure. I'm getting the. I'm getting the echo. What What am I doing wrong? I don't know. You got YouTube playing in the background. Well, now now somebody has to talk so that you can test it whether there's still an echo. All right, all right, all right. we'll see. Is there an echo? Because there's a thirty set. There's about a thirty second delay from yeah, yeah, when, yeah, yeah. from when we say things to when they air. No echo. I'm I'm watching and hearing the thirty second delay, and this is a no. It's no echo, but this is this is important because. You have to make that. You have to make the channel more approachable to new people, newbies like me. I actually, uh, th this is why we have the community channel. The community okay. channel is like where people go in and test yeah. everything. Like, yeah, guys, if okay. you want to join these panels, the community stream is where you really you go in. And it's you, actually you not that difficult. Things. You just you make sure YouTube is not playing. So yeah. close Ooh. YouTube. Rose's wearing a cookie monster. Oh, is he? Yeah. Shoot. Tell us. Close YouTube tab. Close YouTube now. All right. Close all YouTube tabs.
Just have the StreamYard seconds. in the browser. That's it. StreamYard open in your browser. In 30 seconds. I'll be back. But just make sure make sure Buckley doesn't leave. I got a, I got a beef for him. Okay. <laughs> He's got a beef for me? He's got beef with you? Hey, uh, is he going to walk up to you at watch time and say, Hi, my name's Paul. <laughs> oh, here's That's Paul. right. Here's my beef. He's got beef with me. What are the chances? League for Kelly's husband. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> what does that have to do with anything? Oh, no, nothing. It's completely unrelated. <laughs> <laughs> I love OC's dissatisfaction <laughs> shaking his head like a fucking disappointed parent <laughs> it's, you made it, it's just, it had nothing to do with what we were talking about i know oh my god oh fucking crazy stuff i had a crazy day today as well you know it's just how's this how's the sink going good the sink is fucking you want to see it it's dude i can see the ocean Holy smokes. Like that's how wow. clean it is. I can look down and I can literally see where whatever I flush down the the sink where it ends up. That's how clean the pipes are. No. What was that product you used again? Like Vloca <laughs> or Bruco? You uh, just have it laying around. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll show no. you. Drano? You're, just, you're just like throwing like random chemicals down the sink. Yeah, he said he used chemicals actually. But, yeah, he he had some like Ukrainian yeah. plumber come in and go, "Dreno, you don't want dreno." <laughs> so chemicals is a very broad term. <laughs> Tim said, "Is this legal?" He's like, "I don't know, probably not." <laughs> he just poured that shit down. Just makes mustard gas. I can't breathe with that stuff. Not in the U.S. Yeah, uh, Drano is no joke. Oh man, scary stuff. Clorox is bad enough when you're cleaning like your whole bathroom and you're in there for like 20 minutes. Oh man, like bleach, chlorine is actually yeah. if you've ever taken like a chemical like awareness course, uh, like chlorine is legitimately fucked. Like th that is actually this, very dude? dangerous. Watch this. Oh, oh look at that. Dude. That's amazing. Tim, I should have had you come look and fix my thing. You that know, at flow. Home Depot, Look. you can buy some. You can buy something that goes over that to protect air and stuff from. No, going no, no. I have it. I have it. I just. I didn't put them okay. in yet. See, I have these parts. I don't. I don't. Have, I don't know how to take them in. Yeah, Tim. <laughs> this is the good stuff. <laughs> oh no! Here we know. Now we know. Uh, cool, yeah. yeah. Where's the, the skull? skull? Heavy duty. Tim. Tim, where's the skull Tim. with the X? Where's the skull with the X? Nothing there. Oh, oh yeah, that that stuff will kill you. It's not like the yeah. the regular drain of stuff that you can dr that that's basically kids can drink as a oh, yeah, right. as a fucking uh, energy yeah. drink. Uh, but yeah, I, I I got this thing and it wasn't it wasn't working because the piping here is fucked up. Look how tight it is. I mean, how that. the hell is anyone supposed to get in there? You uh, know what Tim, I mean? Tim, I got a I leak underneath the dish. Yeah. I got a leak underneath the dishwasher, Tim. Can you come to Toronto and help fix it? Uh, yeah, yeah. No, okay. no, I can't. Right. I got the bottle. Right. I got the juice. Right. Oh, you got I'll the stuff. I'll ship it to you. I'll ship it to you, Dan. <laughs> it's the good stuff, guys. So, sorry. <laughs> Who did well, that? It's automatic. When someone when someone's full screen and someone leaves, it's just like oh, batter okay. up. Yeah, 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 right. Yeah. Looks like I missed a good show. I I was listening on the way home. I, I didn't know that was Steven talking. Because his voice sounds very young, right? Yeah, yeah. I thought he was in his thirties, then I came over. I thought it was the dude with his camera off talking. Yeah. When I got home, and I was like, "Oh shit!" Yeah, I was listening earlier, and Daniel—I I heard uh, Daniel on the panel, but it sounded like someone in their twenties. I had no <laughs> idea. <laughs> Man, I can't articulate. I said "rose" instead of "rose." I'm doing everything wrong for OC today. <laughs> no, but he knows Travis Kelsey. That's for sure. Yeah. 
Where's Rose right. Ball? Yeah, where's, yeah, where's yeah, yeah, Rose Ball? Come back. Easily figured out how to come back. It's supposed it's to come back. back. Buckley, don't leave. He's got something for you. Got some beef for you. <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't put that stopper back in. I would get one of those, like the like a little catcher or something, like from Home Depot, and just put it in there temporarily. Because yeah. he'll he'll never get around to putting that back. <laughs> it's like no, that. It's like that Seinfeld episode with the, uh, the the radish rose. What's it right where he's in the shower all the time and he has to get the garbage disposal installed in the shower. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so gross. <laughs> it's it's just pipes. It's pipes. <laughs> did you guys see someone like uh they drew the scheme the schematics for uh the apartments and like how they defy the laws of physics no, you mean uh, apartments on tv on seinfeld yeah like the uh, way that they're laid out like it doesn't work i guess I, i'd like to see that let me see if i can find it is the kenny rogers too close or what yeah, is it, it, no, here's here we go. Share tab. Because I was thinking about redoing the, the office yeah. here to look exactly like Seinfeld's apartment. It says uh Jerry's hallway cannot exist. Whoops, hold on. Technical difficulties. There we go. So like you know, he walks in here. Right, right, right. Yep. Yep. That makes sense. It's a physical impossibility. It's impossible. He always had the best snacks. Every time I watch, I'm like, fuck, I'm hungry. Yeah. And cereal. <laughs> yeah. Show's ruined. It's over now. Ruined. I'm shocked. That was good detective work. Who wasn't Jerry living out. on the set? Like, that wasn't an actual apartment. It was a set. What? Yeah. It, it wow. wasn't. It wasn't shot in his actual apartment. It was. Uh, Get the hell out of town! Are you Hollywood serious? Act. It wasn't <laughs> even in New York. It was in, in oh, like God. in California. Yeah. Tim, Tim, Get, you Get out of town! Friends, really? Yeah. You guys friends? didn't know this? No. Tim, are you? Holy are Tim, are you, shit! <laughs> Tim, are you saying it was a set up? <laughs> All right. <You> Kramer, <laughs> like Kramer, wasn't his good friend. No. All right, here's a here's a question oh, no. for the panel. If you yeah. had if you had the opportunity to live in any TV star's home, who would it be? Oh, Jerry. Oh, Jerry? Yeah, it's a perfect a apartment for me. Any TV star? Any TV yeah. star? So, I'll tell you mine. Charlie Sheen and Two and a Half Men. His home? Oh, yeah. Incredible. Oh my god. Beautiful. No, I'm going for Magnum PI. Well, it wasn't his house, Johnny. He was he was uh, yeah, you know true. squatting at someone else's place. Yeah, okay. that's true. Yeah, <laughs> I think, uh, Tony Stark's house get fucked. No, you go. Okay. Yeah, um, I'll uh, I'll do I'll do Fresh Prince of Bel Air. I knew you were going to say that. Nice. <laughs> Vivian, Rose, Jose. Hey. Hey. Oh. He's back. <laughs> he looks, he looks oh. like he's grounded. Why are you <laughs> upset, bro? What's happened, man? You, you look upset. I'm upset. So, Tim, you need to take 20 minutes every week. We can't hear you. Off night, on an off night, you. a Wednesday or something, whatever your lowest viewership is, yes. on a Wednesday or Tuesday, and take people who want to come on the stream and literally don't know what to do and tell them what to do. Okay. I'm, a, I'm a reasonably intelligent guy. And I'm now I'm on my iPhone streaming because I couldn't figure it out and everything like that. And I, I know everybody that tunes in and is on the panel regularly knows what to do and has everything. But like, it's not as easy. I'll as make it is. a video. I'll make a video. How's that yeah. sound? And, yeah. And and, and I don't want to be that guy that everybody yeah. rolls their eyes and says like, "Yo, turn your phone and whatever, whatever, yeah, whatever." Yeah. But if you want, if you're a man of the community. Mm course and my my personal opinion is that you should have a, a specific time where like newbies come on the stream and tell their story and everything and the yeah. precursor to that is is tell people how to do it what if tim makes a video and he pins it 
in the description of every live stream. And when he oh. starts the live stream, he says, if you want to join and you've never done it before, watch this yeah. video in the yeah. description. Yeah. I, I can, before the live stream yeah. starts, I can actually pin the link to the yeah. instruction video yeah. in, the, in the chat. Yeah. Boom. Okay. No, good. Do what, what, good. what do, do that'll what be ready in three years. Do It'll be ready in three years. No, I well, tomorrow I can't do it. I'll do it Sunday. Yeah, I'll make it Sunday. It's actually a very short, quick video. Well, and if you want to come on the community channel tomorrow morning, I'll be hosting a very enthralling uh, uh, talk about fountain penning. And tell yeah. Boston, I'm not six bottles deep, I'm one bottle deep. <laughs> you Tim, bottles, you could also show up. some amateur numbers. Holy. shit. You could also show Tim like how to change your camera, how to edit oh. your name, your audio audio uh, avatar. Oh, that that would be like an in-depth. Okay, first I'll, I'll start with like part. Like, oh, so there's like a courses how to join the panel courses part one, part two, part three. First, just yeah, just how to join. Yeah, just be like no, I I, look, yeah. I, I know it's lame, and I know everybody who's on the panel regularly is rolling their eyes at this stuff, but I'm not. Paul, the, 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 the great thing about like, the great thing about your community is that you mm. have people like you have bozos like me on and there there was a time believe it or not when i'm i was tech savvy and it it fucking gets away from you fast it oh, gets yeah. away Str from you really stream fast yard, stream yard is not the most intuitive platform and then all of a sudden you're the guy who's like doesn't know what to do and you feel like you're the jerk off and people want to participate in the community and no one's going to chime in, but there's a lot of people who just don't want to be that guy like me. Who's like, who, who everybody says, man, turn your, turn your camera, turn your phone. Stop. How would you like to, how would you like to participate? Don't put other me, than, don't full screen me. Don't full screen me. <laughs> how would you like to participate other don't. than saying that people should participate tonight? Is that your own, that's is that your participation or do you have other participation? Don't full screen, screen me, and I don't understand the question. What, what was it again? <laughs> Why are you are you on tonight for any reason other than to say that people should come on? No, I, I have a bunch of stuff to say. Oh, yeah. cool, cool, great, great. Yeah. Let's get to that. If you, <laughs> Rose, if you could live in any TV show or movie house, what would it be? <laughs> Oh, Dallas! <laughs> what? Oh, Fantasy Island. Dallas. What about Fantasy with Island? HR? With, with HR. So I, I, I want to start. Look, <laughs> I want to start with a conversation with Buckley, who I obviously love. I think he's. I guess I think most of what he said is right, but I thought a lot. I've been watching, I've been thinking a lot about our last conversation about AP. Mm -hmm. And I've been, I've been trying to understand why he's missing the plot. And I think I figured it out. No. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. And Boston, despite him trolling me, I think he's going to agree with me on this. Okay. The high, so take Rolex out of this conversation for a minute. Okay. The high, the high-end boutiques, the, the top-tier boutiques, they are fighting for staff, and the premium with staff is your ability to bring clientele, right? Okay. And so, what matters is bringing in new clientele, and and that is in New York's a great example of this issue, which is the biggest problem in New York is that the great collectors and the, the smart collectors and the expensive collectors, they're all known by everybody. So you actually, to bring in a new client to New York is really, really, really difficult because everybody knows everybody. And so the premium is not, and I think what Buckley, mis, what Buckley doesn't understand is at AP, let's take AP as an example, because it's, it's easier to talk specifics. What the sales associates there are mandated with is not selling watches. They're mandated with bringing in new clientele. And so at the point at which Buckley walked in and had already bought a watch, he was burned. Because 
nobody gets credit for any sales he's in the system and i don't know the specifics maybe they were lying maybe it was in the system and somebody was lying but the point is he walked in the second time and so at that point you're not new clientele so nobody has any vested interest in doing anything for you yeah right the the value is in bringing in new clientele and so maybe they pulled him up in the computer and saw like this isn't going to be my guy so i don't care and the thing they have to hoard over you is a royal oak obviously it's one thing and so if you're not new clientele you don't matter there and so he made the mistake of thinking i'm i'm going in with a brand you're not you're going into the brand with an individual and you need to go into the brand with the right individual because if you go into some other guy you're already in there and you're not new like those those sales people their incentives and their bonuses aren't based on how many watches they sell they're based on how many new clientele they bring into the brand okay um does that make sense so yeah. when he goes in there the second time you're burned it doesn't matter yeah I, I got that feeling i got that feeling but you know what it, you know what it comes down to i'm too fucking dumb to play these games so i choose <laughs> well there's so here's you the other thing. spreadsheet you need, it's just so much work <laughs> here's the thing here's the thing paul you know math is everybody <laughs> fights for ap's but you're on here two weeks in a row with a Rolex. Well, so there's two arguments happening at the same time, right? So there's the AP argument. You're gonna have that argument, and I'm not trying to push it AP. I'm just I'm I'm trying to explain to you why it didn't work out. I get it. I get it. So the second <laughs> argument is this, and I don't think anybody here. So at the end of the day, fucking all paths lead back to Rolex, right? Yeah. And so when you're 65, 75, whatever it is, and you hope to retire and you're on your beach or your porch or wh wherever, it, wherever it is you hope to retire to someday, and you look down on your wrist, what's on your wrist? Mm -hmm. Rolex. It's not a, look, I, I love the brand. It's not a fucking MBNF. Right. Right? It's not. It's not a it's not a complicated, it's not a long uh. At the end of the day, if you if you've done this and you're a seventy and you're if you've lived your life and you're wherever you want to be and you look down on your wrist, it's a scratched up no date sub. Right, right. All paths lead lead back to Rolex. So so you can either decide, so that's the journey. And I know where the end, end game is. So I don't want to, so fuck it. Just get, get the, get the, get the Rolex and move on with your life. Yep. Or take the journey. Yeah. Right. The journey. Yeah. Right. Highly but no one, no one would agree. Like I, I hope in 20, 25 years, when we're all shriveled up on the same live stream tonight, and we're sitting around. Yes. You mean like me? Well, <laughs> okay. Daniel, Daniel will Carry be on. dead and gone, but that's okay. We're all, we're all wearing no date, we're all wearing no date subs, right? Basically. Okay. okay. No. No, who said no? Mr. 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 N Beans. Okay. So Ooh. you're 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 wearing oh, no date Frank subs and beans. Unless if, if you're wearing if you're wearing pleated if you're wearing if we're, we're all seventy five, you're either wearing a no date sub and if you're wearing pleated slacks, you're wearing a day date, which is fine too. <laughs> but a day date thirty six on a forty, right? <laughs> right. Day date thirty eight point five. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> MJ five dollars. Tell, tell uh, how, Prada. Tell Prada. I don't know Prada. Tell him to take that off his name. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I hear what you're saying. I, I, you know, it's it's about it's 
about who you know. It's about working with the right people. And, uh, you know, I fucked up that brand, but hey, in the future. Yeah, yeah. There's always Patek Philippe. Uh, it's not about Patek. It's about Patek with Tiffany stamps. We can have that conversation another time. <laughs> and your audio is horrible. Which one? Tim. Me? Oh. You can barely hear him. Timmy. What's up? Sorry. Right. Paul. What's up, Paul? So, Mr. 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 N Beans is saying hi, Paul. No. <laughs> what, what does this mean? What does MJ mean? How do you get the beans above the Frank? What does that mean? Explain it to me. I, I don't get it. Got a long That's from uh, There's oh. Something About Mary. No. Mary? Oh. Well, at any rate, thank you for letting me on. Tim, sometimes I got a million, I got a million conversation topics for you if you want to get into it. Sure. Let's just send a, an email. An email yeah. to hello at timwright.com. No, no, <laughs> no. I don't need to email the conversation topics. I've been listening to. I look. I'm in the streams all week. I'm listening to everything. Everybody's talking about. I'm in the uh, the other the other uh, the the collectors. Uh, <laughs> the watch community. Yeah, great, great, great community. Great community. <laughs> the best people. Best people. Thank you for. I'm sorry. Prada. Prada, 38.5, oh. $20 super chat, big boy. Super chat, big boy. God damn. Prada, 38.5, $20 super chat. I love you, Paul. I'm sorry I'm not enough to be part of your secret club. Fucker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to fucking die. <laughs> <laughs> Thirty-eight point five. Yeah, hey, you know what? I'm 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 kind of a John Mayer guy. I'm Thirty-seven. Right. Thirty-seven. What? What? Thirty-seven so is a good size as well. Yeah, thirty. So can we can we talk about John Mayer? Yes. Uh -huh. All right. All right. All right. Here's here's the reason this was special. Yeah. When when a when a brand when a retailer calls you up and says we want to make a collection video, your collection, mm. fucking great, special. You think you're the shit. Most people don't have anything special to say about any of these watches. If you don't have something to say about a watch that hasn't already been said, shut the fuck up. We don't care. We don't care if if I have to listen to another fucker get up there and talk about Gerald Genta and Royal Oaks and how they saved people from the courts crisis and that's why they bought a Royal Oak and 39. Come on. And, and if you watch these collection videos, what they say is, you know, I... I I have this watch. I have a. I have a. I have a 5711. It's a great watch. It's a great sport. Like what they do is they they regurgitate back to you everything that's great about that watch. Nobody fucking cares. You have nothing new to say about that watch. You have nothing new to say about why that watch is special to you. If you don't have anything original to contribute to the conversation, please shut up. And this is one of the first videos where they actually said something new. They said something new about a couple of these pieces. And of course, they were saying new things because none of us have access to AP in the way they have access to AP. None of us are buying the Patek complicated pieces that they're buying. But still, they had something new to say. And if you listen to, if you listen to most of the collector videos out there, that have come out in the last year, my God, to listen to another person say about what's great about a Submariner, if you have nothing new to say about that watch, please shut the fuck up. We don't care. We don't care. 
stop stop regurgitating to, regurgitating to me about why a Submariner is great. Stop regurgitating. If I have to listen to another one of these numb nuts come on YouTube and explain to me steel sports watches and why why a Royal Oak is great and Gerald Gerald Genta listen to some jerk off tell me about how Gerald Genta took people through that took these brands through the court's crisis. Good Who's God. Gerald Genta? Nobody has nothing new to say. That, and, and that's who, who that's, is that? that, that's what are you talking Nobody about? Nobody has nothing to say. Who's Gerald Genta? Who is that? I think he started Grand Seiko. Yeah. Uh, Mem J five dollars super chat. Please bring back Steve and have him pinch, pinch hit for Rose. Who's Steve? We need to get Rose Paul on Hot Steve Tech Allen. Wednesdays on the community stream. Oh my yeah. God! Absolutely. Would you be willing to get drunk at noon this coming Wednesday? <laughs> <laughs> and join the stream every Wednesday. Uh, we can give you the keys. They're not. They're not hate. They're, they're not hot takes. This is just. I'm, I'm speaking the truth, man. You, you know, you all agree with me. No, but here's the thing. A lot of times, the truth can't be spoken because it might hurt people's feelings, right? Oh. So go in go a back, way. Go back. Go go it back is a hot through. Take. But go back through. Look, I love Watchbox. They're great. Go back and watch these Watchbox collector reviews, and ask yourself. What the fuck does this guy have to say about this watch that I haven't ever heard? Why the hell is this guy on TV? Wow. Come on. I have to listen to another numb nuts spouting <laughs> off, rambling and rambling about the watch. <laughs> I'm going to lose my mind. That's right. How many numb oh. nuts is, should we be forced to? To listen to Tim, it's just the, the, two mean, or three, but that's it. That's it. Yeah, that's it. There's Tim, a cap. Yeah. There's a cap of three. No, shouldn't it be two numb nuts? Why three? Uh, I, you know, a normal person world. should have two numb nuts. A num normal person should have yeah, two. Yeah, Tim, do you want to delete me now? Tim, do you want to delete me? No, <laughs> oh, Dan. Yeah, uh, so no, can't stand. Yeah, you watch, you watch these there. videos. You've watched, uh, like, even Hodinky did this. Buckley, Buckley had a theory, and I think. So here's the here's my other hot take. Let's let's get into why Hodinkee sucks. And kinda let's now do sort of doesn't suck. Let's do it, Paul. Go for it. Alright, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Don't full screen don't full screen me. That's not, not full screen. <laughs> don't full screen me. I'm not I don't get like it. it. I don't like this it. This is full either. screen. Oh, yeah, that's great. Yeah. That's, that's not full screen. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Put him back. I'm not gonna get it. No, put him in the center like this. No, yeah, no, it's all good. No, it's no, all good. No, Paul. no, no, it's, no, no. It's all good, Paul. Okay. So Ben Clymer, who I get that you love, I get it. So he sold Hodinkee. He's okay. So how did that sale go down? He didn't you, sell it. Whoever was in charge accepted. He accepted right. investors. He didn't sell it. No, it's an earn. It's an earn out. It's an earn out. Where was right? this announced? No. Do you know how do you know how service companies are sold? It's all a nerve and no. earnout. What's a burnout? Earnout. Burn burnout. Earn. Earn. E A R N. Earnout. Burnout. Earn how are you, how are you Earn. burning out? No, earn out. He said. E A R N. Earnout. Yeah, I heard you burn out. How? What does that mean? I'm not talking to America. I'm talking to Boston. He's talking about he's talking about Jean Erno. Earnout. It's earnout, but when you pronounce it, oh, I get it, I get it. Yeah, no. Sorry, yeah, John or no, yeah, not Arnaud. I like, not I like ben Clymer. Yeah, highly inebriated panelist in the chat. <laughs> I have four crates of rosé sitting in my garage right now. I was hoping to drink some with my date, but I never get past the bumble messaging. <laughs> so awesome, Paul. Thank you so much for two dollars super chat. Tim and Paul should have a beer pong face off. Uh, it's an earn. It's an earn. It's an earn. Let me let me let me explain to you how companies are sold. Okay, I'd love to hear this, please. I'd love for you to hear this. Yeah, yeah. me too. Yeah, yeah. Ask us to hear it. No, you got to ask. 
I, I want to know. Please tell me, Paul. Please. Okay. Okay. So the company is sold for X. Okay. Right. Twitter. And so X is F, X is based on. So what what was the so what was the number so when Ben sold Hodinkee, what was the number that everyone was floating around like thir- thirteen million? No, Ish. It was more. I thought it was more. Okay. So let's let, let let's make the math easy. Let's just say let's just say ten million. Let's make it easy. Right. Okay. Make the math easy. Who just no started? one, right? <laughs> Earl's five dollars super chat. Don't force Paul to stay long. He might miss his Waffle House reservation. <laughs> what? That that I don't understand. Oh, I'm, I'm, ex, I'm explaining. This. If you sell a company for ten million. Nobody writes a check for you for ten million, right? Right. They write a check for you for one million, and it's based on the ten million is based on a projection. If you can negotiate on either top line or bottom bottom line performance over the next roughly three years times X, and the negotiation is times X. Oh, okay. That's how companies like that are sold. So, and so okay. So he sold the company, and and I believe when it was sold, if you're smart, if you really know how to sell a company, you sell the earnout based on top line. Top line is revenue. Bottom line is profit. Right. <laughs> MJ five dollars super jet wrong wrong. Okay, so tell MJ to go fuck himself. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Right? So if it's top line, and I believe, I don't know this, I believe Hodinkee was sold based on top line projections, which is revenue. Right? And so that means as soon as you sell that company, the only thing that matters is sales. It's the only thing that matters. Mm-hmm. And so what did they do? As soon as Ben backed out of that, they started spruiking fucking watches. Hodinkee became an AD. Right? Because be, for three years, the only thing that matters is fucking top line sales, revenue. Sell as many fucking tags, whatever the shit they sell off their website. Mm-hmm. Rightly, I, I've, I've never bought a watch off the Hodinkee website. Seiko's, I don't, I don't know what they sell. What do they sell? Seiko's? 500 bucks? I don't know. What does Hodinkee sell? Hodinkee sells tag. What do they sell? I'll pull Doesn't, it up. I got some pretty well everything. Paul. Highly inebriated panelists. Sometimes I'll open a bottle of Prosecco if I'm feeling extra spicy. <laughs> yeah. Don't so, make me don't don't make me a meme. I'll go off they, camera. They sell me. okay. They sell some watches. Okay, they got yeah. actually. They have they have Rolex. Oh, pre-owned. Okay, this is not not pre-owned. New, new. Yeah, the yeah, margins new, are on new. New. New, 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 new. New watches. Okay. Omega. Oh, they sell Omega. Look at this. Grand Seiko. Okay, Omega. Omega. Where, where? Yeah. Blank Pond. Zenith. Bulgari. Basically, they sell everything that uh, right. Teddy Baldassar is selling. Yeah. So, Prada. Right. Thirty-eight right. point five twenty dollars. Super <clears throat> chat. Paul. Rumor is Rosé is already sold out at the Finger Lakes. Few bottles left, but on the gray dealer's hands, let me know if you need the plug. What do you think, Paul? Do I, do I need the super chat twenty dollars to tell Prada to go? <laughs> At any rate, the point the point I'm trying to make is he was in his earnout, his buyout. Yes. And during that time, the only thing that matters is revenue. Fucking sell revenue top line, sell as much as you can. And he backed out because he knew if we were going to do that, we're going to spruik tags and whatever, all this stuff. All this crap. Lim- limited edition Zodiacs or whatever the hell they're going to sell on everybody. And that's why he backed out. And do you know why he's do you know why he's back in the fray right now? 
Why? Because the earnout is expired. So that money's gone. It's yes. it's that calculation is done. It was a two or a three year earnout. That's happened. And so they've hired him back as an employee of his own company. And anyone on the street Is it possible to be paid in cheese? <laughs> Earl, five dollars super chat. Just imagine if Paul were Cam's tutor in college, along with being his physical trainer. Yeah, you don't know anything about business. He's it, it, this guy is living the, the best thing you could ever hope to do is to be an employee of the own co of the company that you've sold to somebody else. This is so genius. Ben is showing up. Yeah. As an employee of a company that he's already sold, so who the fuck cares? Showing up, making videos. They probably said, come back. We'll give you a piece of the action. It doesn't really matter. It's not his company anymore. He's living a life. Yeah. And then, and the company was failing for bankruptcy, so he probably got back in with some, you know, with a promise of some big, 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 big payout. Now everything you t you're right, Tim. It was, it, but that was during the earnout. It doesn't matter. He didn't own the company at that time. Hmm. And you can you can have revenue through the charts, and you can still file for bankrupt because your bottom line you can you can be selling off the charts, and your margins and your profit is the roof. Mm -hmm. Right. <clears throat> his deal, his buyout, was based on revenue. It's obvious. Man, look, at you, what the, look at what the brand did. They screwed it up. They they bought the what was it the Crown and Caliber, and they lost all the money. He doesn't give a shit. He doesn't care. Yeah, because he Ben doesn't Ben doesn't give a shit about Hodinky. He sold the company. It doesn't fucking matter to him. Yeah. He's got enough money for the rest of his life. He, he's just living the life doing stuff that he finds interesting, right? Well, I mean, if you're, if you're a single guy with no kids, it doesn't take that much money to be set. Yeah. So to, say, to say he's got enough money for the rest of his life, like, yeah, as long as he doesn't do anything. Yeah, maybe. I mean, uh, if he doesn't buy yachts and shit... Well, no, like, put a kid through college. That's a million bucks. He's got more than that. He was already, even before Hodinky, he was from a really super wealthy family, no? No, he's a kid from Rochester. After taxes, he's got three to five million dollars. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on. No, no, he has more than three to five million dollars. Yeah, Come on, Paul. Garbage. No, he doesn't. Paul. If he did, he would. No, if he did, he would dress better. Nah, you guys. That's just <laughs> you know what you're talking about. <laughs> this is the most this is the most succession y conversation I've ever had in my life. <laughs> I don't know if that's Man. a compliment. I just or hope all, I, I just hope Ben is watching this stuff. No, he's not. He's got nothing. He doesn't he fucking hates Odinky, dude. He's not watching. He doesn't yeah. fucking give a shit. He doesn't give a shit about any of this stuff. Time piece. John traffic. John Mayer is his friend. I can I can tell you. Yeah. John Mayer and Ben don't give a shit about the Hodinky brand. They these fuckers don't care about this. John, I, they want to sell G shocks. They don't fucking care. Damn. Yeah. You honestly think. Okay, so John Mayer was sold, there a time? So John was there a John time? Mayer sold three G shocks in gradations of gray, and so Ed Sheeran and Good God, I have watched. I haven't gotten through the video. It's a, it's a fucking hour long video. I've gotten through forty five minutes of this fucking video. It's a banger. It's a. I mean, <laughs> great so, hat. A couple of days ago, when everyone was asking you, when everyone was asking you, Tim, have you watched the video? You said no. no. You should have said because it's fucking three hours long. Yeah, don't, I know, right? Don't, I full don't, scream, fuck... don't full screen me. Don't full screen me. I, I, I'll be honest with you. I, I still haven't finished the video. It's so goddamn long. I was so watching goddamn it at 1.5 speed. 
because right. because I, I was busy you know i was fixing a sink i was fixing the fucking fraud attack right i, I was fixing a window for for a friend and I, yeah. i'm honest look i'm i'm 52 look i'll show you right now no I'm you're right minutes in. i was i was getting my mail it's an hour long yeah good god it takes you an hour to get your mail? Where's your mailbox? It's oppressively offensive that we need an hour to listen to John Mayer and Ed Sheeran spruik AP on us. And I How long I is your driveway? This, I posted this early I posted this earlier. I, I think I uh, I money chatted this. My my wife, who doesn't give a shit about watches. And I, and I had to ask her permission. I said, can I watch this video? I got to watch two jerk-offs talk about watches. Would you mind if I watch this? She said, yeah, yeah, we can watch it. So I watched the video. And even she turned to me. She didn't know anything about watches. And she said, that's a fucking ad for AP. Damn. Why does it take two people to collect all your mail? <laughs> we have a lot of mail. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely an ad for AP for sure. It's a fucking ad for AP, and and America, like Buckley touched on it. I don't think he went hard into it, but like this is a fucking sponsored ad for AP. That's that's what I think, but I think and everybody so. is fucking coming over the fact that like this is the return of Hodinky to Hodinky. Holy shit! It's a fucking ad for AP. It's an ad, for, and, and, and at, at worst, at best, it's an ad for AP. At worst, it's an ad for AP Concepts. You're Ooh. making Prada very sad. It's going to be Prada 37.5 pretty soon. That, that Prada. Oh. I'm selling my G-Shocks. No. <laughs> don't, don't sell. Look, G-Shock is still good. <laughs> She shot come back. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. Don't buy. Listen, I, I did I buy a John Mayer G Shock? I never bought one. The temptation was there, but I was never. I never wake up that early, so it, they always get anybody, sold out. Thank God. Let, let's oh, assume that God. Paul is right. And it is an brought, ad. Why would you hold buy on. a John it's Mayer? An ad, dude. Listen, hold on. Let's assume that he's right, and it's an ad for for AP. The G -Shock. It's a fucking ad for AP. It, it, the only reason Ed Sheeran is doing is because he's selling G Shocks that are in that video i mean he's gonna make like fucking uh a, maybe a hundred k which doesn't matter money. which doesn't what you make on a tour yeah doesn't it doesn't matter but like i you know i these no, guys they, they don't like it. do anything for free wait it, everybody everybody is in bed with everybody so that ad was an ap ad and the only reason he did that was to get more custom limit a like custom ap and the backside of spruiking some G-Shock. Fucking don't don't full screen me. Don't full screen Just, him, guys. Don't full screen me. Yeah. The, uh, yes. Good God. Don't full screen me. How? Hold on. These guys have always been fans of AP, right? Yes. Is it possible that maybe they're just talking about the brand that they like a lot? possible if it was an ad for ap does it matter if it was an entertaining video no how does it affect our lives it doesn't i sold my ap it I drives sold the mail. Sold the does, i'll mail. tell you I'll, diego i'll tell you how it it drives with the price for ap so ap knows what's going on the market ap is the, what what i have found all the arguments that i've had with diego about going to war is that AP okay. is more in tune with the market, I think, than any other brand. AP sees what happens. It sees what's happening. And this is, they're, they're trying to drive up the price. Of the retail yeah, or the secondary it. market? No, no, in the primary market. Primary. So retail. They, they're trying to also save the, the model, the, their business model of, building a purchase history because right now the market as, as the market is slowing down a lot of people are no longer willing to play the 
the, Diego, the Diego, tell pre-game. me this. You can't, you can't watch if you if you sit down for an if you invest a goddamn if you invest a goddamn hour and watch that video start to finish. Right. You can't come out on the back end of that video and not think that AP is cool. But um, let me let me rephrase it. Most people will come out of the back end of that video and they will take away that AP is cool and gold vintage Patek high complication is cool also, which which I can't get, so it doesn't fucking matter. I mean, if they're not free right? thinkers, sure. I didn't see that. When I saw a couple of guys yeah. who enjoyed watches talking about their collections yeah, and like, how much they that's enjoyed. Literally, collecting. all I thought that's when I saw I the video was like, it. "All right, these yeah. guys like a, a big variety of watches: AP, oh, fuck. Um, fuck. Patek." What, what was the you know, what was the watch? What was the watch in that video that you all identified with? What was the watch re- that Ed Sheeran put on his wrist that you all thought I'm going to be like him? He didn't put a sub on his wrist. What was the watch? I don't. I don't want to be Is, like him. I didn't identify him. With, uh, I don't no one's talking about how they all. talked about they talked about his Hublot for like thirty minutes. How about Hublot sales going up? And the, yeah, and the people subtext, appreciate people appreciate yeah, the, the story subtext, behind the that watch and subtext, how he got it. The, well, let's stop. The entire subtext of the Hublot conversation was that was fun, and then you moved on. It, it's great that you were a dipshit then. Now you've obviously no. moved on. No, that's no, totally the wrong. Chef, the entire the subtext. Chef, no, that's wrong. The, the entire brand. wrong, wrong, wrong. No, the entire no. subtext of that story was how he bought it with his friend. And he thinks about his friend and appreciates buying that watch with his friend. And his friend died. And he thinks about his oh. friend whenever he wears that watch. Oh, yeah, so Paul, America. America. Totally no, America. No, no, no. Okay, okay great. And we're never going to have that story. You're right. You're right. We're never going to have that story. Look at the back side of the Hublot that he bought. Come on, man. You're not buying Dude, who that cares? I didn't, pay that that close of, I didn't pay that close attention, to be honest with you. I just... You're not buying that watch in a second. Amer- look, look. Yes. Oh, my. So if, Amer- if, if America... Here, here's what we'll do. If America will buy a Hublot... I will subsidize his purchase. Oh, hold on a second. Okay. But what? what what's your 70, point? Not, not, not like why does Why does America have to buy? Hold on, Diego. Hold on, seventy-five twenty-five. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah. All right, deal. Let's. We're gonna do it next week. <laughs> and we'll sh- we get like we'll share the watch. Yeah, seventy-five twenty-five. You pay seventy-five. I'll pay twenty-five. No, you pay seventy-five. I'll pay twenty-five. No, that's not the deal you agreed to. Seventy-five twenty-five. <laughs> hey, Paul, I think you need I to go back and watch that. the video. It's actually a really don't good Don't go video. back. Don't go back in your deal, Paul. That's no, not it's good an advertisement. Manners. DC, it's an don't, advertisement. Don't reconstruct America. Don't reconstruct the deal. I will subsidize the twenty-five percent. It's all recorded, by the way. All right, I was, I'm going to watch from bed, Paul. Legend, keep on you. going on. Uh, guys, I have to go to sleep as well because I'm I'm waking up early tomorrow to go. Uh, so you guys keep keep running. Wait, wait a minute, you're waking up early to fix to come to Toronto to fix my dishwasher, right? No, no, I'm going. <laughs> Tim, 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 Tim. I'll be there at twelve. Yeah. Okay. okay. I'll see you there. I'll see you there. Buck. I got I, I got to go too. It's late, Paul. Rose nothing a. to do with you. You were. I'm, I'm only on here for the the exclusive private chat. That's mm-hmm. what I want to be in. Okay. Paul, I'll see guys, you later. later, Paul. I'll see you, Daniel. Peace. 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 We'll Everybody. see you next week, Paul. Yeah, yeah. Thank yeah. you for letting me on. Thank you for letting me on. Peace. Always. Out. Hey, don't awesome. don't leave yet. Uh, I'm gonna play the outro. Guys, good show, everybody. Uh, unfortunately, I do have to wrap it up because tomorrow I'm going to the London. Uh, what's it go? What's it go? London Jewelers watch show. It's gonna be fun. I'm gonna try to get some pics. live stream i don't know we'll see we'll see what happens i have to go pack i have to get some sleep and i'll see you guys tomorrow make sure to hit that upload button and you'll be transferred to the watch community channel where i highly recommend you subscribe okay bye everybody